Alright, hey everyone, it's GSTAR321 here again, and the AI is still fucked in this game as well, alright? In all three games on this, the AI is fucked. Um, however, on Mortal Kombat 2 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, the difficulty doesn't matter if you change it, okay? It's the same. So I don't know what the point of even having a difficulty select on those games is. I guess it's just to make you feel safe and secure that it's actually doing something when it isn't. But uh, for Mortal Kombat 1, the difficulty change does actually reflect in the game, okay? So if you put it on very easy, it actually is very easy. Um, if you put it on very hard, it is very hard, okay? But I've left it on medium, so it's still going to be bullshit. Uh, as is standard, you know, the first few fights will be relatively easy. But after that, it's just going to become fucked, alright? So let's go ahead and do it, alright? fucking back in 1991 or whenever it came out and I remember it came with an instruction booklet uh, sorry an instruction booklet and uh, in the instruction book fucking hell I can't even say booklet properly I'm saying bookslet the fuck is that some German word for it yes yeah, ridiculous fuck hell this is I'm really thinking about changing this to very easy because I don't know if I've got the patience to deal with this shit anymore, you know what I mean? Like... Fuck! Look at this shit! Get the fuck away! Yeah, I really don't know if I've got the patience to be doing... Fuck! Oh! If Scorpion beats me, I'm seriously gonna consider starting this again, okay? Yeah, fucking lucky you didn't, you fuck. Get that fucking head off you. Prick. Sub Zero wins fatality. But, uh, fucking AI wins. is fucked, okay? I've sort of burnt myself out after playing Mortal Kombat 2 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 playthroughs, you know? Just. I'm so burnt out now that I don't even think I have the energy to scream or rage anymore. Like, if I get. If I'm getting fucking destroyed, I don't know if I even care. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> Fuck, I love that fatality. Sub -Zero wins fatality. I've picked up. Yeah, so I've picked Sub Zero. He's the best character uh, for beating the AI in this game, alright? Fuck, that was bullshit. <clears throat> God! This game can still bring out the fucking rage in all of us, okay? <sighs> Fuck off. Every time I do the fucking freeze now, he's gonna s block it and spam a fucking... Oh no. God! You just fucking... Mm! Fuck! Can't uppercut him when he's... When I freeze him, crouch like that, okay? Fuck! Fuck! Yeah, you fuck! That was fucking so lucky that I decided to do that uh, ground slide there, or it would have fucked me up. But I mean, we'll see how it goes, alright? Fuck! Stop spamming that fucking. Oh, fuck you! Yeah, this is gonna fuck you up, man. Get the fuck out of here. A simple uppercut on the pit stage here. We'll uh, uppercut them into the pit. Doesn't say fatality for some reason, but gives a fuck. Mm. Oh. Uh, also with fuck, fuck, god damn it. Also with uh, the AI and in terms of their spamming their punches when they get close to you. That is extremely fucked in this one, okay? Mortal Kombat 1. I'm gonna die here. This is fucked. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can get a fly kick in. Come on. Yeah! Alright. Shit. Failed. What the fuck? Oh, shit, that was fucking lucky. God damn it! Fuck! Oh. Yeah, fuck you. 
try and do a fucking uppercut mid kick, you fuck. What if I fucking sp get out of the Oh no, it's fucking. Ah! So the AI is getting really fucked up now, okay? Like I'm talking. When I'm doing roundhouses, I'm getting instant sweeps and uh, all sorts of fucking horse shit, okay? Fuck! Jesus, mid fuck. I wonder if I can change the difficulty mid. I mean, if I'm really getting fucked up here, I'm gonna be doing that. If it allows me to do that, okay? Because this is just fucked. I don't know what to fucking do. I can't. Look at this. Roundhouse is. Fuck! No! I can't do anything! I can't do fucking anything! <sighs> it's either Sub Zero or. Fuck, I'm gonna pick Kano. Who gives a fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck off! That was bullshit, man. Oh no. Fuck! That punch! Bullshit! God! Yes! This game is so frustrating! The difficulty is unrelenting! This is on fucking medium. Who would play this shit on hard? What's the point? Like I've said in the other two games, you know, unless you develop your own software to counter this software, um... Fuck, I can't remember how to do his fatality. That's disappointing. Because I really like that one as well. You know, he rips their heart out. <sighs> Fuck, that's bullshit. Yes, get this fucking kick spam shit going, you fuck. Okay, I honestly don't know what the fuck I just pressed there, but, um... I mean, I... My controller, I think I pressed, like, back, down, forward, low punch. But, uh... I don't think that's the way to do it. Shit. Yeah, this is gonna be fucking bullshit, okay? Um, like I said, the endurance rounds are fucked on... Look at that! God. Scorpion is fucked on uh on this. He keeps spamming the spear into uppercut. Very, very damaging combo, okay. This is fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> Jesus You're kidding me, you're telling me this is all I have to fucking do to Oh no. Yeah, Scorpion, you prick. Mm. Oh no, that's it, yep. Alright, so that's really damaging. I mean, I'm guessing that spear into uppercut takes away... Uh, fucking... I'm willing to guess a quarter of your health, it's just bullshit, okay. Three endurance rounds, this is, this is way too much, man. Seriously, I don't have that much endurance to get through this, but... Fuck! Mm. God! Get the fuck out of here, okay? That was very lucky. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to replicate that this time. I got very lucky there. See what I mean? Like... It's like the first round is, you know, they sort of... Fuck, what the hell was that shit, man? Oh, fuck. God! Mm! Fuck, it's just good if you can get one uppercut in, because then you can just start going crazy with the jump kicks. Fuck! Oh, fuck this. Mm! God! Alright, maybe I can get the jump kicks going. Here we go. 
problem is uh, Scorpion now. Okay. Yep, that's uh. Yeah, you've really got to get a flawless victory basically on the first character to actually stand a chance of getting through this. Oops, I uh. Fuck, I meant to pick uh, Sub Zero. Oh well. Get the fuck out of here, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> You know, it's cheap, but I honestly could not give a fuck. This game is bullshit, okay? Come on, Johnny Cage, walk into me. Ah, oh, fucking punched instead. Ooh, you fuck, okay. Alright, I don't know what's going on here. The AI is scaring me a bit. Jump! Jump kick! Fuck! Oh! <laughs> oh man! All right, I'm really, I'm gonna have to change the difficulty here because this is um, this is impossible. Like, you know, look at that shit, man! Fucking sweep instant. Instant sweep off. Oh man, that's. Look, I'll give it one more go. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt here. I'll pick um, Sub Zero. If this doesn't work, then, you know, fuck it. There's still two more endurance rounds. That's fucking. That is fucked, man. It's very fucking disheartening. Fuck! Fuck! Oh, damn right! It's fucking in the corner! God! God! Win. Oh my fucking lord! Jesus Christ, this is fucked. Alright, let's go see if we can change it here. You're fucking kidding, I can't even change this shit mid game. <clears throat> that is fucked. That is fucked, man. Alright, look, I'm going to give it one more attempt. Um, if it fails, I'm going to restart, but I'm not going to record it. I'm just going to re start recording from the uh, endurance rounds, okay? Because this is fucked. It's like the first round is, you know, the... They're bearable, but you see what I mean? But like, the second round, they just start blocking everything, which is f blocking and countering all your moves, okay? It's fucking annoying. See what I mean? Like, I did a sweep, the AI. <sighs> What's also annoying is this. Fuck! Is you can't, um, do the. Like, when you do a jump kick, if you go too far behind them, it doesn't convert into the backwards jump kick, okay? just misses completely and it leaves you vulnerable for an attack. Alright, so the AI is out of control now, alright. It, it seems like they've got a time limit, you know, if you can... It's about 40 seconds and then the AI just starts kicking in full force into bullshit. Look, I'll show you. Johnny Cage will start uh, blocking all my shit now. Um, in a minute. Whoa. What the fuck? What is going on here? I'm, I'm slightly confused. What the fuck? Alright, I don't know what happened then, but um... <coughs> I barely took any damage, that was insane. Alright, we'll see how this goes, but... What the fuck, man? What? Oh, there we go. Fuck's sake. Mm! You try and jump away from Sub Zero to gain some fucking distance, but it just op just does the fucking freeze bullshit on ya. Cunt. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Alright. Ooh. 
Alright. Fuck you! Got very, very, very lucky there, alright? See if I can do this shit now. Fuck, I didn't mean to press the fucking button. Oh man, fuck this. I'm getting fucking angry at everything now. Wow, Luke Kang, man. See, look, look at this shit, look. There's no, there's no fatigue, alright? If he kept doing that, he could have killed me. And, I, and there's no, nothing I can do to counter it. Alright, so if they get you in the corner like that and you're crouch blocking, um, you're fucked, alright? You're just gonna have to accept, you're just gonna have to get hit and then jump out somehow, alright? Fuck, man. I just heard a, just heard a growl in the background there. That would have been Goro. What the fuck am I doing? He's fucking blocking everything. Nah, this is over. I've taken... yeah. Taken way too... You, oh, fucking hell, I hate it when they get in close to you like that and just spam the punches. If they made some sort of counter for that shit, you know, I'd be happy, but... The only counter is to just maintain dis distance from them, but sometimes they just gain ground on you. It's impossible to keep that much distance, you know what I mean? Stop fucking blocking that shit. There's really no point picking the other characters, you know, like Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, they're all shit. <sighs> Seriously, Kano's just got the best fly kick. <clears throat> I might pick Sub-Zero after this if I fail again. So, as long as I can beat them in, say... Fuck, wrong move! God! God, what are you doing, you fuck? Alright, there we go. Fuck, a f pretty disappointing. I've managed to do that fatality once, but... Alright, here we go. Oh, you're standing a bit too close to me, dude. Shang Tsung's... Shang Tsung is fucked from memory to, to beat in this. Fuck. How am I going to do this? Yeah, Alright. Fuck! That's the fucking problem there, okay? I'm not... <laughs> Alright, so basically all I've got to do is freeze him. Uppercut him. Um, I've got to time that freeze perfectly again so that it freezes him just as he's getting up. Uh, and while that happens, you know, he doesn't have time to do anything, so... That's really the only way to defeat Goro here, so... Up, timed it too late. You've got to be flawless. At Fuck, okay. Look, I've lost it now, you know. It's just taken too much damage off me, and he's gonna. Yep. Yeah, okay. There's really no room for error whatsoever, okay, in this sort of shit, so. It's just fucking annoying because, you know, like I've mentioned in the Ultimate World Combat 3 video, the Xbox 360 controller for fighting games is fucked, alright? And there is a cooldown for Sub-Zero's freeze. Um, which is fucking annoying as well. Fucking hell, do it! I'm defeated. I'm just... I can't believe this. This is just fucked. There's no other word to describe this shit, man. From memory, okay. Uh, there we go, he's fucked off, thank god. Um, yeah, Shang Tsung's gonna be fucked. I'm not really sure how to defeat him. Um, he's, he's very fast when he, he's, I think he's easy to defeat when he's in that form, like that. But he's extremely fast, and, um, yeah, it's just fucking annoying. See what I mean? You can't, you can't gain distance on him. He turns into fucking Goro as well, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> ah, okay. Wow. That wasn't... <laughs> that was uh, pretty easy, actually. Fuck. I, I just remember Shang Tsung being a fucking bitch to beat on this um, Mortal Kombat 1 arcade, but, you know, I guess it's dependent on who he morphs into, you know, Goro, and you can just spam that freezing bullshit on him if you get lucky, so...
Alright, hello everyone, my name's GSTAR321 and I'm gonna do a uh, playthrough here of Mortal Kombat 2. This game is fucking hard, okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is the direct arcade port, which is fucking brutal. Basically, you know, it came out in the arcade, so it was an arcade game. And you put your coins into the arcade and play it. And basically it was just designed to chew your coins up, okay? And what that means is the game's AI was programmed to beat you. No matter how good you are or how good you think you are, this game is going to kick your ass, okay? And it's going to fucking win. It's bullshit, alright? So, for example, if I do a roundhouse kick, the AI will sweep me. If I do an uppercut, the AI will throw me. If I do fucking a sweep, it'll jump. You know, the AI will jump and kick me. If I do Raiden's Torpedo, it'll throw me mid-air. So you're going to see all this bullshit here. I'm not going to leave anything out. And so let's just get started. Alright, this could be... Alright, it looks like the AI is starting to get a bit ball bag... Bullshittish. Ball... Ball baggery, whatever you want to fucking call it. Because, um... Yep, there we go. It's done the block and the uppercut. That means it's getting bullshit now. So I've got to start playing <clears throat> uh, careful now. Alright. Fuck! Oh, that was lucky. Shit! Alright, there we go. Fucking hat slice you for being a fucking arsehole. Jesus Christ. That was close. Once I get to Katana, there is going to be... Oh, shit. Katana... It's good to get Katana and Melina out of the way first because they are the hardest characters to beat in this game. The higher up you go, the harder the characters get, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna fucking <clears throat> cheat me, I'll fucking cheat you. This is getting, uh. <laughs> Fuck! So as you can see, I jumped and then the AI just did a fucking jump fireball, which is bullshit, okay? Not even a human being has that much reaction time. There you go, it's just done the, uh... Yep, just... Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Well, this is a fucking mess, this fight. Jesus Christ! Fuck! If you miss, they'll... Mm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I don't even know where he is now. Yep, there we go. It's fucking bullshit, man. Fuck this. Stop blocking! Fuck! Don't even bother freezing because it, it will never be successful. That was pointless there. Don't bother doing his freeze move because it's never it will never hit them, okay? I repeat, it will never, ever hit them. You can use it on Kentaro and you know maybe Shao Kahn if you want, but I've got a really easy method for getting for killing them. Okay, it's cheap, but they're fucking cheap, so. This is fucked! Jesus Christ! Fuck! Alright, I'm gonna pick fucking, I don't know, some character that I don't really care about. Shang Tsung. I mean, he can morph into everyone, but I don't know how to morph into anyone besides block, block, block. I think that's Katana, but I don't like Katana. Now, I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna beat Reptile here with bullshit, okay? I'm not even gonna do any special moves, I'm just gonna show you, see? This is all you need to do to beat this game, which is fucked, you know, because I'd rather. A bit of strategy, a bit of, you know... Obviously it's... Okay, this is fucked. God! Fuck you! Yeah, fucking... That throw... Jump! Alright, come on. Yes! There we go. There's some fireballs on ya. Fucking hell. 
Okay, I can see Katana now. That's not good. Baraka, you got to be careful at jumping into him because that's what he does every single time, okay? This is going to be a tough fight. Okay, he didn't do it there for some reason. It's just random, you know. 98% of the time they're going to do bullshit watch. Yeah, see? Alright, I'm going to be uh, resorting to bullshit now. Fuck! Not only do they do that for like when you're sweeping and kicking and whatever, but I mean, mid torpedo with Raiden, they throw me. Get fucked, you know? How is that possible? Whatever. Okay, this game's bullshit. So here we go, we'll pick Raiden. I like Raiden. Oh, fucking hell. He's not gonna let me jump to him. See how we go. Fuck! Come on! Fuck! To fight. No. Finish it. Fuck you, Karaka. Fucking asshole. Thought I'd give it a go, but you know, fucking relentless. Low kick, get the fuck out! Low kick, yeah, fuck, fuck you! <clears throat> Fuck! Alright, it's Jax now. He's He can be... you got to be careful with jump kicking him because... Uh, okay, he's just ducked uh, two of my roundhouses there in a row. That's fucked. Yep, that was going to happen. Okay, he's doing the punch spam. Low kick. High kick. Sweep. Follow up with a low kick. There we go. <clears throat> Fuck, he's got me in the fucking corner. Fuck! Fuck! Jesus! Christ. Fuck! Go! Fight! Come on! Low kick! Get the fuck! Don't um. Low kick failed there. It's bullshit. <sighs> Alright, I'll pick uh, Johnny Cage. Shit. Katana and Melina back to back. That's fucked. Seriously. Feeling slightly defeated at this point, you know. Just doesn't matter what I do, they're just gonna counter me. Yep. Okay, yeah, got one kick in there. Yep. Come on. Do it again. Come on. Fuck you. I'll beat fucking cheapness with cheapness, you prick. I should be following up with the um shadow kick after I do that, but I'm just I'm just lucky to be getting a fucking jump kick in, to be honest, you know. And uh. 99% of the time when you do the shadow kick they're gonna be they're gonna duck it and counter with an uppercut anyway. Yep, that's deserved. Fuck you. Down down forward forward low punch, that's how you do that fatality with Johnny Cage. Pretty good one, I like that. Here we go, this is I don't know what to do here, okay? I'm Katana and Melina. Actually, no, Melina is very easy to beat. I've got a really... Nah, she's easy. But this is fucked. There's no strategy for Katana, okay? Let's so keep doing that somehow. I don't think I'm going to get lucky there. Fuck! She's very fast, Katana and Melina, which makes her hell of a lot harder. Like, she closes ground on you very quickly. And that move's fucked, you know, as well. Her fans are damaging. She can do them in the air. 
She's overpowered. She's the best character in the game. But I hate her. I never play as her. Just because she's a chick, you know, and I don't like playing as the chicks in games. So, whatever. Point. Jesus Christ. Jump! Again! Just uh, when she gives me a break, I'll. I mean. Fuck! <laughs> Shit! Okay. Alright. Basically, when you do a jump kick, the AI is programmed to jump and do the side move. So I'll show you. And if you get in close enough while you're doing the jump kick, you can keep. As you can see, shit, I got hit there. That's all you need to do to defeat Melina, okay? Like I said, when you do the jump kick, the AI is programmed to do the jump side move. Take that to your advantage, use that to your advantage. And you know, if the AI is going to be a fucking cheap prick to you. I have no whim against using against them, you know, fuck them. So, not good, okay? Kung Lao, in my opinion, has the fastest. So, oh, Jesus, come on, man. It's a low kick. Fucking hell. You'll notice that I'm not utilizing any special moves because uh, they are point. Fuck! Off! Jump! Oh, this is fucked. Yeah, I'm not utilizing any special moves because it's unnecessary and they will dodge all of them, okay? So if I was to use Johnny Cage's force ball, then. The AI would have blocked it or jumped over and kicked me, okay? I don't like playing as the chicks, but I'll go Melina, who cares? Whatever. See how she goes. Okay, so teleport kick is off limits. That's off limits. Um, wait, what just happened? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, okay. Wow, Scorpion's proving to be a fucking... Alright, I gotta get serious here and start bullshitting it up. Bullshit moves galore. So you can sort of gamble there and do a jump kick to start the round off. I don't really like doing that because... Most of the time the AI just... Come on! What is that shit? Oh, jump! God! He's spamming the spear like there's no tomorrow. Fuck! Now I'm... Fuck, I don't know who to pick anymore. Whatever, it's all the same shit. Let's go, Reptile. Two fight. One time I decided to start the round off with a jump kick. He fucking jump kicks instead of spearing. That's fucked. Come on, man. Give me a fucking chance. In the pool, yep, there you go. Fatality. <clears throat> Alright, this is starting to piss me off a bit now. Um, I'm just gonna go raiding. Maybe spam the torpedo, see how he goes on that. Fight. Okay, torpedo is not good. Spear follow up move. Fuck! I can't do anything! Fuck! That roundhouse has to be timed so perfectly, it's not funny. One fraction of a second and you miss. Yep, yep. yep. Okay, let's go. I've got to stop jumping back. I think that's the problem here. I've got to stop pressing buttons on my control pad. That's pretty much the problem. Because as soon as I press down, forward, fucking low punch to do a lightning, the AI just is programmed to jump over me. It doesn't matter what fucking button I press. Fucking AI. Fuck this shit. Seriously. Oh, that was lucky. Fuck! I was about to do a fucking jump kick then. Fuck! Jump kick! Jump kick! Backward jump! Torpedo! Spear! Jump kick! Backward jump! Jump kick! Spear! Sweet! 
Sweet. No. Alright, I'm gonna... That's it. Okay, I'm not gonna try and uh, focus on this one. I'm gonna pick Kung Lao. And I'm just gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna fuck him up because this is fucked. Hell, you deserve this, you prick. Killed me like four times. Four continues. What a fucking joke. Get the fuck out of here. Oh no. I don't know how Raiden goes. I can't even remember. I think it's just going to be Torpedo Spam Fest from him. Just fuck off. On! Stop. Fuck. You gotta get that fucking sweep time so perfectly, one half of a fraction of a fucking second, and either they'll see. You've gotta fucking be godlike in this shit. You're a fucking human being, Jesus Christ. I'm not. I'm not programmed machine to fucking count, you know. I don't even know what I'm doing now. Just jumped around. Um, who should I pick against Raiden? Who's, uh, not really concerned. I just want to chop uh, Raiden's head off with Raka's fatality. If I can manage to do so. For being an asshole. Okay, can't duck that. Sometimes you can. I think it depends on which character you are. I gotta get out of this corner. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out. Oh, come on, man. How did that miss? Alright, come on. Oh, shit. Now I'm gonna pick Bracker again. This is insane, man. Seriously. Sweet, sweet throw. Uppercut, uppercut. Roundhouse duck. Block, block. Roundhouse. Christ, let me get one hit on you. All right, there you go. Ooh, what's going on here, Raid? You're slipping. You've, you've let me get a few hits on. What's going on? Oop, yep, now you're angry. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, it's over. There we go. I'm gonna block all my fucking jump kicks now. Spamming those fucking low punches. Oh my god. Come on. Oh shit. The throwing, the throwing the AI pulls off in this game is fucked. Like, the throwing is the worst. You know what I mean? Why do I do that? 
I just sat there telling you before that Sub-Zero's freeze never hits them, but I just did a freeze. I don't know. I guess there was some small glimmer of hope inside of me that the AI would just rest for half a second and let me get a hit in or something, but it's not to be. Oh my god. Walk into it! Jesus Christ! Fuck, I want to rip Kane off those chains in the background and get him to help me out in this fight. There's gotta be some code where I can pick fucking Kentaro or some shit here, I don't know. This fight is harder than Kentaro and Shao Kahn, I'm not fucking joking. Kentaro and Shao Kahn have uh, bullshit methods you can use on them, but fucking Raiden and most of the other characters don't. You have to rely on skill to beat them, but skill plays no part in Mortal Kombat 2 Arcade because, you know, you're versing the computer that just counters every single move you do, so it doesn't matter what you do. In Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, I remember the AI was pretty fucking brutal as well, like when you'd get up to the third or fourth character. Um, but after losing a few times on that third or fourth character in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, the AI would sort of, uh, sort of ease back a little bit. You know, it would stop pulling off throws mid-torpedoes, it would stop countering sweeps, it would stop, you know, ducking roundhouses and following up with instant uppercuts, and it would just let you get a few hits in, which was good, but in this game, it's like, no. It is just fucking relentless, okay? It doesn't care how many times it's fucking kicked your ass. It just wants to kick it some more. What is that shit, man? Seriously. Fatality. <sighs> fucking hell. Just needed to be an easy character like Kung Leo or something. Or oh, fuck, I don't know. Who else is easy? Fight. Reptile. <laughs> Stuck in the corner. Yep. Once you, once they've got you in the corner, the round's pretty much over. You've got no chance. Okay. So I'm just gonna have to accept this round as a loss. Oh, maybe you can come back if he keeps. If bullshit happens. Let's see. No. Nah, yeah. Uh, yep. So the AI just got pissed off then and thought I was doing too much damage to it. Whatever. Fucking hell, how is over half of my life gone already? Nothing happened. Jesus Christ. Oh, jump! 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 Fuck! Fuck, I should have just done a low kick there. Fuck! That's just fucking That's it. Fuck you. Oh, man. That's fucked. Do it! What the fuck am I supposed to do? Every move is fucking countered. Fuck! Jesus Christ! I was doing okay. Oh shit, I didn't mean to pick Kung Lao, but maybe that's a blessing in disguise. That uh, that down high kick move he's got in the air is a very good kick against AI. Fuck! I'm in the corner. Yep, he's gonna throw me. Jesus, I don't wanna do that. Nope, he's not. He's not responding. Fucking hell. Fight.
Fuck, I'm out of ideas here. I don't know what to do. Every move is getting countered. What the fuck am I supp- Look at that shit! Teleport in the fucking hat throw! What? Oh man. Oh my god. Fatality. Don't get me wrong, I love this game, you know, I've spent many, many times in the past playing it, but... Fucking hell. The difficulty is just fucked. Like, you know, some games are, are very, very difficult, but as long as you have the skill to get through it, you know, you'll you'll get through it. But there's no skill here. It's it's sort of luck that the AI doesn't respond in some instances to attacks. You know, like ooh, Baraka can duck the torpedo. You, Baraka is my new man against Raiden. Uppercut, no. Okay, I thought that. Let's try again, no. Mid throw, uppercut. Uppercut, mid throw. I love it. Come on, Raid. Roundhouse, no. Well, at least it's good that Baraka can duck torpedoes. I mean, this is who I'm going to be picking every time now against Raid. This is just bullshit, man. I'm not even. Look at this shit. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. I was gonna cut your head off, but sort of forgot how to do that fatality, so. I fucking deserve that. Should have impaled him in the fucking balls or something, I don't know. Alright, so here we go, Shang Tsung. There's gonna be more bullshit here. Especially if he torpedoes into Raid and then I'm fucked. Can't jump against Baraka or do that swiping it. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Did you see that? The AI swept me mid-sweep before I'd even fell to the ground. They followed up with a throw. How is that humanly possible? It isn't. What the fuck, man? <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we're on our way now, we're up to Kantaro. That fight with Raid, Jesus Christ, that was bullshit. Alright, so here it's just basically... I mean, it doesn't work every single time, but... Yeah, see, sometimes that shit happens. Bullshit. Shit! Fuck, I had it. Fuck me up at the start of the round there, you know, that was bullshit. What am I doing? It's taking a bit of damage off me, I'm a bit concerned at this point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna. I don't know, I might pick Raiden for these two fights. Just as a backup, you know, if that fails I can just do a torpedo. See, sometimes that shit happens. What the fuck is that shit, man? You gotta be careful with that, because sometimes it doesn't work and it just does some just blocking bullshit. See, when he stands there like that... Might pick up Baraka again. This is bullshit, man. Maybe Sub Zero, I don't know. Fuck, whatever. It's all the same. Fight. That. Jesus Christ, man. I've done about. F Jesus! Fuck! Jeez! Whoa! What the fight? Oh, he's blocking everything.
fucking over this now, seriously. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> Fuck you. Wins. Fucking asshole. Take that fucking Fight. spamming jump kick bullshit. <laughs> Take! Fuck hell. Just fucking take it. Fight. Sick of your fucking bullshit, man. Oh my god. Do a taunt or something, yeah. Give me some fucking. Give me a fucking chance. Fucking hell, I thought I had a solid strategy here for de defeating Kentaro, but it just appears that too much bullshit's just occurring. Oh, Jesus, come on, Torn or something, give me something. Give me something, there we go. I don't know what I'm doing now, seriously. Fuck you! Win. Fucking cunt. Jesus Christ. Alright, so Shao Kahn, I think, is a lot easier. I think once I die with Sub-Zero, I'll just pick Raid and spam torpedoes on him. That's all you need to do. Alright, I'm over this shit. Let's end the game right now. Raiden's Torpedo. Yeah, whatever. As you can see, there is absolutely no skill whatsoever in completing this game. Oh, I'm in the corner. Oh, oh, I got a little, little bit cocky there. I just went torpedo crazy. Yeah, yeah, feel the wrath of the balls. All right, let's say we finish him off with lightning. There we go. That was the first time I actually used Raiden's lightning move the whole game. Alright, so there we go. That was a Mortal Kombat 2 playthrough. It's possible to defeat it. You're going to get fucked up. You're going to have to continue, okay? But it's it's definitely doable. It's fucking annoying. Um, fantastic game, you know. I loved playing this back in the day, 1992. Whenever it came out, can't remember. And there we have it, Raiden's ending. Who fucking cares? Whatever. This game basically has no story anyway. Well, it did at the you know the first couple of games, Mortal Kombat one and two, but then they just sort of started going off the rails. You know, people were getting resurrected, pe characters were being made out of souls, and fucking I don't know know what happened. Then the newest Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 9, whatever, you know, it was just a rehash of this story. So they've just got nothing left, you know. Mortal Kombat vs DC was quite possibly the worst Mortal Kombat game I've ever played in my entire life. That was fucked, okay. Joker vs Sub-Zero, Batman vs Raiden, fucking Captain Crusade or Wonder Woman vs... Baraka, I mean, Jesus Christ, you know. They've really got to do something else or just let the game go, I don't know. Just let it go because, um, they're just milking it. But anyway, that's it, okay? Thanks for watching. That was my uh, Mortal Kombat 2 playthrough. I got a bit angry there, but, you know, this game is fucked. The AI is fucked. 
and fuck this. Goodbye. Alright, hello everyone, it's GSTAR321 here again, and today, as you can see, I'm playing Mortal Kombat 3. This is the arcade version, it came out back in 1995, a very long time ago. Mortal Kombat 3 here feels like a watered down version of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. So that's why I never played this game on my channel, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it to... You know, just to go through all the games in the series and add it to my library of Mortal Kombat videos. What can I say about this game? Look, this has gone back a fucking long time ago, alright? Back when... I mean, if you guys have watched my video of the Mortal Kombat 2 SNES playthrough, you'll know the Christmas story. Just to briefly go into it, I begged my parents, well... I wrote a letter to Santa, I should say, for a period of three years, asking for Mortal Kombat 2 and a Super Nintendo. I never got it. At the end of three years, I ended up getting a Sega Mega Drive with Sonic the Hedgehog. So it scarred me. I'm fucked up now. And basically, that's all I wanted as a kid, a Super Nintendo and Mortal Kombat 2. I never got it, so I was deprived. And every single opportunity I had to play this game, sorry, to play Mortal Kombat 2, I did. Whenever I went to friends' houses, I played the game. I didn't speak to my friends, I didn't associate with the parents, nothing. I went straight to the Super Nintendo console, put Mortal Kombat 2 in, and played that fucker until I was dragged away, literally, by my parents when they came to pick me up. My reason for existence back then was Mortal Kombat 2 on the Super Nintendo. No one could get in my way. Whenever I went to the arcades, I'd play Mortal Kombat 2. Whenever I'd go to video game stores with my parents, I'd be sta I wouldn't even look at games. Because, see, back then I had... This is before I even got the Sega Mega Drive. I had an Amiga, Amiga 500 and Amiga 600, and they were still selling games back then in the early 90s for it. So we'd go to the video game stores and uh, have a look around. I wouldn't, though, okay? But... You know, my family would sort of look at the um, Amiga games for sale. I would go straight to the display Super Nintendo console, which had Mortal Kombat 2 in it, and I'd stand there playing it for however long we were in the store for. 20 minutes, half an hour. I wasn't interested in anything else. This is no bullshit, okay? This is exactly what I did as a kid. I was fucking obsessed with Mortal Kombat 2. Why am I talking about Mortal Kombat 2? Well, this is leading into what I'm going to say. So, um, and you know, I actually, when I went to friends' houses to play Mortal Kombat 2, I'd verse them, and I'd get my fucking ass handed to me. I was so bad at the game, and looking back now, I can see why. It's because they had the game, okay? They had a Super Nintendo with Mortal Kombat 2. They could practice as long as they wanted. I, I barely got to play the game. You know, unless I went to video game stores, arcades, or the houses. So, naturally, I was shit at the game. I never got to play it. I never practiced it. And it used to frustrate the hell out of me when I'd get kicked, when I'd get my ass kicked by my friends back then. I was, it, it really burnt me, and I thought to myself, why am I so shit at this? But now, I know why, okay? It's because I never got to play it. Anyway, I then heard that Mortal Kombat 3 was being released and <laughs> I cannot even begin to tell you guys the level of excitement I had it was unbelievable it came out and you know honestly Mortal Kombat 3 is a vague it's a vague and almost forgotten memory in my mind I don't really I can't even remember. The only things I can remember, uh, I went to... See, back then there was no internet. You couldn't just go online and open up YouTube and watch video footage of Mortal Kombat 3. I had to go to the arcades or 
wherever video game stores and if it was on display there then see it but a lot of the time we'd go to the video store and rent games on the on the Mega Drive and I think yeah I think I rented it straight up on the Mega Drive and oh no sorry I went to the arcades first and saw it I watched someone playing it and I was really impressed it was just it was great you know the first yeah that's right the first thing I remember seeing was someone doing Cabal's Fatality, where he rips off the mask and he's got that freaky looking face. That scared the living shit out of me. And uh, yeah, I had to go after that person finished playing and I chose Shang Tsung, I don't know why. And I think I got destroyed on the first fight. You know, naturally it's an arcade game, so it just wanted my coins. And it, and it successfully did that. It took my coins and I walked away pissed off after having no money left. You know, I'm playing for like, 20 seconds. <laughs> it was terrible. But yeah, then I rented it for the Mega Drive. And I just remember the Mega Drive version being... You know, the ports... Both. You know, the Mega Drive port and the Super Nintendo port are shit. I don't like them. Okay, the sounds are all fucked up and the graphics aren't, aren't as crisp. But that's why I'm playing the arcade version here today. There's also... PC versions of this game, by the way, which I have. I've only got, sorry, I've only got the DOS version. There was a DOS version and a Windows version. I've got the DOS version and it's pretty much arcade perfect, except for the graphics. The graphics are still great, but it's not as crisp as, you know, the arcade version, of course. I haven't played the Windows version and there was also a PlayStation version as well. And I think that's pretty good in terms of the port being close to the arcade, okay? So yeah, they were my memories of Mortal Kombat 3. Vague and somewhat forgettable. I didn't really... I, I spent a lot of time playing this. I remember I used to like playing as Sector and Cyrax. But see, the thing with this game that pissed me off the most was the fact that they didn't include any ninja characters. That was, I remember this being like the thing that used to burn me the most as a kid. Where was Sub-Zero? Where was, okay, Sub-Zero's in the game but he doesn't have his fucking mask on, okay? Disgusting. How can you put a ninja character in a Mortal Kombat game without their mask? That is completely unacceptable. I'm sorry. And yeah, where was Scorpion? Where's Reptile? Where, where's all the cool characters? Raiden wasn't in here. It just, I don't know, it was a strange direction for the series, but yeah, look, I liked it, and I played it for the Mega Drive, I used to rent it a fair bit and play it, Sector and Cyrax I always used to play as, there's Sector on the screen now, they were sort of like the replacement ninjas, so to speak, for me, when I played it back then as a kid, they were pretty cool. So yeah, I think I've raved on for quite a bit now, guys. Um, but here on the arcade version, the difficulty is based on what tower you select. So it's like no novice, warrior, and master. I'll be playing on the master tower. I owe it to myself to do so. And yeah, that's uh, basically it. That's all I wanted to say, I think. So let's uh, press start here and commence the playthrough of Mortal Kombat 3, the arcade version. So look at the characters, okay? There's no ninjas. It's, it's looking at it now, it's quite a bland and gray sort of looking character select screen. Yeah, I didn't really get much time to spend there because the game You've only got like 20 seconds or so to choose your character. And I'm going to be playing on the Master Tower. I'm using Shiva straight off the bat. Because she's a character I don't really use too much. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? That's a bad fucking start. Okay, there I go through the stage. Now, it's bullshit, the AI, but it's not as brutal as I'd imagined. Okay. Yeah, like, it's not as bad as, say, Mortal Kombat Trilogy on very hard. Okay, God, let me just focus here, hang on. 
<laughs> okay, I've lost the first fight. That's... Oh my fucking god. Fucking... Look at that! It's... All the memories are coming flooding back right now, playing this sh... It's not shit, but... The AI is fucking shit, okay? Running is running in and trying to start combos is virtually off limits as is standard. You know, no wonder why I couldn't do anything as a kid back in the arcades. Look at this. And it used to burn me so much because I thought I was so bad. I used to think I was just so terrible at this game, but now I realize that it was just programmed this way so you couldn't fucking win. That's a really good combo with Shiva, That's, that does a lot of damage. She jumps, okay. Let's go, Sonya. Fuck you, I'm doing my animality. Here we go. Yeah, so Shiva turns into a scorpion. It's a bit weird. A scorpion should have that, and he should be in this game. I don't really like doing this move to the AI because they always tend to... Oh god, that's right. AI Shiva loves spamming it. Yeah, whenever you press down up to do Shiva's... Gosh, she got it first. Hang on. They always move out of the way, basically. See? They run out of the way. They're programmed to do that. And then run straight back in and do a combo on you. Now there's one other aspect of this game, which is... When I started playing it the other day to get back into it... It actually really annoyed me, okay? And in Mortal Kombat 3, you can't jump in and start combos that way. Like, if you jump in and do a high punch, and then press high punch again, it does nothing. So that's a big... That sucks. Okay, and I didn't even realize that until just the other day. Because I'm so used to playing Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and Mortal Kombat Trilogy. But yeah, I just didn't even know you couldn't jump in and start combos that way. So you've always got to run in and start a combo that way. So it makes fighting the AI even harder here. Oh god. Damn. Didn't get to see much of the Soul Chamber. That's my favorite stage in this game. Get out of here. Okay. Whoop! Fuck! God, you've only got like two or three seconds to do a fatality here. It is so short. It's absolutely. If you don't get it the first go, you might as well just put the controller down because you will not have enough time to give it a second attempt. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Fucking. I'm doing it. I'm doing the skin rip fatality. Damn it. You shouldn't be allowed to uppercut your opponent out of the soul chamber. It's a great stage. You should be forced to play on it. But you know, I can't help uppercutting. Fuck. Okay. It's not too bad. Like... Believe it or not, the AI is not too bad. I mean, it's it's fucking atrocious. You can't really do anything, but... See, I'm comparing it to Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Like, here you can actually sometimes, even though it's very... <laughs> no, I will miss the uppercut. I mean, sometimes you can actually run in and do combos. For some reason, especially after you kill... See? Look at that. I'm telling you guys, in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and Mortal Kombat Trilogy, you will not be able to do that. At all. Not once. The AI is so... Oh, it's just so unforgiving, you know? It's like the game fucking hates you and wants you to die. It's just bullshit. I got a... I got a, um... Flawless... Fucking flawless victory on the first round. 
Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Nightwolf's mouth. Ah, oh, didn't get enough time on the ground. It was like open so wide. Look at Sub Zero. Where's the mask? You know that. He's a really good character in this game, of course, because it's Sub Zero with the freeze and the ice clone and all that. But God, I was so disappointed that he didn't have the mask on back then, and it's still so disappointing now. He just looks like a typical generic character, just like Striker or Kano or Liu Kang, just another one of the other guys. The fatalities in this game are actually, they're really good, you know, compared to some of the garbage in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and Trilogy where they were just, you could tell they were really scraping for time to get some of those fatalities out, like, if you remember, I think it's Rain, one of Rain's fatalities where he uppercuts them and, like, they go flying up and then they come back down, upside down, with all the body parts realigned. It's just terrible. Oh, that missed. Bullshit. <gasps> okay. Oh, God. Get me out of this corner. <gasps> okay, he's blocking the cannonball a lot. Fuck. Would have been worth it if he did the stage fatality. Because I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do one of Kano's fatalities on Sub Zero. Grab him! That's such a. I hate this move. It, yeah. I don't, I don't like that move. It's the only thing I hate about Kano in this game. Otherwise, I really like him. He's a great character here. I didn't really give a shit about him in MK1, but here. I like him. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Yep. I think it's just the way he looks here. Might just spam cannonball. Ugh. No! He's getting smart. Fuck! Fuck! God. Kano is a bad character to use in terms of fighting the AI here. He's he doesn't have any moves you can sort of like spam and abuse like I'm guessing with Sub Zero you can spam his ice clone. I mean you can do a bit of cannonball spamming if you get lucky, but Okay, I'm just gonna have to Lightning fucking fast reflexes. Okay, I might have to um, pick Cyrax to defeat Sub Zero here because this isn't going too well. Yep, run in, throw. Oh, okay, got lucky. Oh my god. Christ. That's... that is... That's fucked. Well done. Fucking hell! Look at this shit! Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more go. And then if I can't beat him as Kano... Are we even halfway through the tower yet? What's going on here? Come on! Okay. Come here, let's go. <gasps> here we go. I love this one. A giant spider. <laughs> It'd be cool if they turned red and then like exploded as well. Signifying venom getting injected into them, but that's fine. Okay, striker. 
Nope. Fucking stop throwing those damn grenades. Christ. Ooh. Oh yeah. That's a pretty boring fatality actually. I prefer his other one where he straps the bomb to you and jumps away and you explode. Fire! Lots and lots of blocking going on. Awesome, got him with the bomb. Get in the bomb. See how when you try and sweep, they just jump away? That's that's really annoying. Fuck, I, I can't... Wow. Okay, you got a flawless victory on me. That was fucking incredible. Yeah, it's just disgraceful. Okay. Get away. Ah, okay. Here we go. Jaws. That's awesome. I love that animality. That's fantastic. Animality. Learned that the hard way. Okay, Shang Tsung is going to be a bit of a bitch, I presume, here. And I like, um... Cyrax has a ridiculous friendship. But in order to do the friendships and babalities in this game, and I've confirmed it, it's true. You are not allowed to block throughout the whole match. So tell me how that's possible, fighting the AI on the Master Tower. It's, you can't, it's ridiculous. So I, I might just show it at the end of the video. Ah, oh, shit. It's Mataro. Now, I can usually defeat him with Shiva most of the time, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it with Cyrax here. I'll try. Very, very aggressive Mataro in Mortal Kombat 3 compared to Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and Trilogy, I find. <gasps> They're so dangerous, those fireballs. <gasps> Oh! See how I went to hit him, and then it missed? That's really annoying. I'm going to try that again with Cyrax. I think I can do it with him. Fuck, okay, if I fail this time, I'll just pick Shiva. What the hell? He can just interrupt your combo? What the hell is that? See, see how it misses? What is that? Tell me. That better not be a glitch. Or I just have to wait. Is there like a cooldown after he jumps? That must be what it is. Fuck out. That's, that's got so much rip. Nah. That's it. I'm done. What the hell's going on? Why isn't he fighting? Oh! I guess it doesn't really matter who I pick from this point on. But yeah. Because Shao Kahn is the easiest opponent to defeat in this game. Yeah, that's just such a great combo Shiva has. Back off, Motaro. <gasps> One fly kick. Gah! Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Got him. I didn't think... Okay, so this is easy. All you do is... That's right. Laugh it up, Shao Kahn. 
There we go. See? Told ya. I'm very confident on that fight. See, in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, I mean, he can still do it here, but you just got to be careful. He can get a bit too out of control with the side shoulder barges. And if he does that, you, you know, you might as well just put the controller down. I mean, he's done it to me like six or seven times in a row before, and I've just died. He started the round off doing it, and that's all he did. So that's it, guys. That is the end of my playthrough of Mortal Kombat 3. Overall, it's a largely forgotten Mortal Kombat game for me because, see, in my eyes, this is how it goes. It goes Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 2, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Mortal Kombat 3 is skipped because everything you see in this game here, characters, stages, music, fatalities, everything in this game is in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and more. There's more in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. You can play as Scorpion, Reptile, Katana and so on. There's, you know, new fatalities for them and animalities and so on. It's just much better. You can jump in and start combos with High Punch or... Um, yeah, with High Punch, whereas you can't in this game, so... But, you know, this was an important game in the series. It basically allowed for Ultimate... It was like a prototype for Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. So yeah, it's it's a really good game and... I think that is all I want to say about the game, guys. So, thanks for watching. Oh, but that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out. I've already done uh, Mortal Kombat 2. That was fucking brutal. The AI in that game is fucked. Uh, this one is not as bad, okay? However, it's still going to be bullshit. Um, you've got to be really good at the combos in this game to actually stand a chance of getting through it. Once again, selecting difficulty doesn't matter. You know, very easy, easy, medium, hard, very hard. It's all the same. It makes zero difference, okay? But the online play in this is fucked, okay? It lags like a bitch. Um, it is completely unplayable. Alright, you, you cannot play this, alright? So, alright, anyway, let's get it started. Here we go. <clears throat> Fuck, do your fucking fatality, man. Jesus. Can never do the fatality with him. Back, 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 down, high punch. I don't know how far you got to be standing away to do it, though. Um, who gives a fuck, anyway? Um, the AI may look like they're stupid right now, but trust me. It's going to get a lot harder, alright. Fuck! Oh, damn. Fuck. This could be the uh, moment where it gets uh, bullshit, but we'll see. Yeah, okay. So see how... Yep. Whenever I'm running into them now, they're performing the throw or either a combo. Oh, okay. Got lucky there. Yeah. So... You know, the AI, AI in this game is fucked. It's fucked in Mortal Kombat 2 as well. It's You can't beat it unless it... See? See what I mean? You just run into them and they throw you. You don't really have much chance. You've got to be flawless with pulling off your combos and shit in this game. Fuck! 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 Oh! God damn! But, uh, trust me, this is nowhere near as bad as Mortal Kombat 2, okay? After you lose a couple of rounds, um, on that heart, like this character here, Jade, after you lose a couple of rounds of the bullshit, you know, the AI going crazy, it will start to cool off and the AI will become dumb again. Well, human, maybe, is the proper word there. Look at this! It's bullshit. Fuck! Jesus Christ, man. Fuck! What the fuck, man? Get out of here. Oh, no. Alright, so it looks like the AI is getting a bit out of control now. Fuck! 
Oh god. Round two. Fight. Come on, Jesus, stop fucking countering everything. Yeah, okay, with uh with Cyrex you can't really get it get the distance going with that combo, you've just gotta follow up with the bat and throw straight away. Doesn't matter anyway, I'm fucking dead, who cares? Um, let's go... Should I pick... Kung Leo? No, I'll just get destroyed if I pick him. Not really good. He's a, he's a good character. His combos are a little bit harder to pull off. Um, go Liu Kang, hey? Oh no, he's in, got me in the fucking corner. Fuck! Right. Fuck! God! Fuck! If you get in close, the fucking AI is just throw fucking crazy, you know? It was the same in part two. The AI is just fucking obsessed with throwing. They throw you at every fucking chance, you know? Luckily, Raiden's not in this game, because I'd be screaming if they started throwing me mid torpedo again. You know? Fucking bullshit. Alright, let's go... Cyborg with Cyborg. Pick Sector. See how Sector goes. Alright, the Endurance rounds are fucked on this. Oh no, it's Jade. The most fucking overpowered character next to Striker in this game. Fucking hell, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I can't do anything, alright? Every move will be countered. I might have to uh, pick Sub Zero or something just to get freeze happening. Fuck! Mm. All right, there's there's nothing you can do. Okay, don't think you're bad at this game for when the AI is doing that to you. It's not you. The AI has been programmed to counter every move you input, okay? <laughs> that was funny. Oh no, I forgot about that fucking bullshit. Alright, so subs. Fuck! That combo! Fuck! No! God! <sighs> this is fucking bullshit, man. Yeah, wow, it fucking froze you for once. Oh my god. I've only got fucking whoever's next, Kano, or whoever the second fucking person to fight is. <sighs> fuck this, man. I don't know what the fuck to do. Scorpion. Oh, it's Reptile. Reptile's pretty easy if I can fucking just get up to him. Fuck! That throw! Fuck! Fuck! No! That throw is fucked! The f Fuck! It's either a fucking throw or a fucking combo. Their moves take priority over yours. It doesn't, even, it doesn't even matter if I press the button 10 seconds in advance. Fuck this, man. Fuck this shit. Fucking Jade on the endurance round. Get the fuck out of here. That's bullshit. They should have just put in fucking Jade and Striker and just made it impossible. <sighs> Choose a uh, Cyborg Smoke. Cyborg Smoke is a bullshit character, okay? He's got Sector and Scorpion's moves. And if I can fucking do something here, like a fly kick... No. Okay, she's gonna be blocking everything. Yep. So, yeah, okay. Good on ya. Fucking hell! Oh, that was lucky. I didn't mean to do that. Forgot about his air throw. 
be good if I could spam that somehow, but I don't think uh, Jade is going to let me do that here. Fuck! Hell. Fuck! Jesus! Fucking stop! Oh my... Fuck! God! Round two. Fight. <sighs> Fuck you! Oh my fucking god, every move is being countered. Fucking relent. Stop it. This shouldn't be happening. This is going on for too long. <sighs> Fuck, it doesn't even matter. Let's, let's go Cyrax. Maybe if I can spam the net somehow, I can trigger some glitch on her or something. I don't fucking know. Fucking, I can't even do his punch on her. Look at... Alright, there we go. Fuck, okay. One error can pretty much cost you the fight. You've got to be flawless at executing, see what I mean? You've got to be absolutely flawless at doing these combos, alright? Few errors and it's... Fuck you up. Stop blocking everything! Fucking hell. Shit. Oh no. Oh, uh, yes, there we go, that was lucky. Luckily he didn't block that fly kick. Fuck! <clears throat> Thought I'd try something different, do an uppercut, but, you know. Thought I'd try, like, play like a human being instead of spamming combos. Like a cheap fuck, but it's the only way to defeat this, alright? So, fuck this, Nightwolf all the way now, from Montaro to Shao Kahn. Fuck off, man. Mm. What the f fuck? <sighs> fuck off. Jesus Christ. Round two. Fight. Mm. Shit! So after doing that uh, axe, it sort of leaves you vulnerable for a second, which is fucking annoying. What the fuck, man? Fuck! Just fuck off! Jeez. God damn! <sighs> Shit! Alright, Shao Kahn is the easiest character to defeat in this game. Fuck, this is not... Just playing a bit sloppy here, okay? I'll probably have to do it again, yeah. Alright. I was just missing a few of the combos there and opportunities to hit him, so... Um... He's got some really good combos. Kung Lao's got some... He's got a pretty good combo. Might just use him. Oh my god, that was bullshit. Alright. I'm gonna pick Kung Lao again. Seriously, that first round was just horse shit, okay? All he did was spam. The side shoulder barge there. Fucking bullshit. Com Fuck! Fucking hell! Kung Lao's combos is slightly difficult to pull off because it's... It's sort of a weird one. It's like high punch, low punch, high punch, low punch. And it's just bizarre pressing it. I don't know. It doesn't feel natural. But if you can pull it off, it's one of the most damaging combos in the whole game, okay? So I'm gonna keep picking him until I win. I'm getting fucking unlucky here with this this shoulder barge bullshit, okay? Fucking over it. <laughs> oh that was fun. that was funny. <laughs> he 
gave up and just did a top. Oh man. Fuck! I'm not fucking doing good with these combos, man. It's a problem. Might have to pick a different character. This is fucking horse shit. Fuck! Oh man, this is just fucked. I'm seriously getting pissed off with this fucking shit right now. <sighs> fucking hell. I need someone with a fucking combo that's just like high punch, high punch, high punch, high punch, high punch. No fucking room for error. <sighs> I don't fucking know, man. Who's got a big combo? Liu Kang? Liu Kang's combo's sort of easy to pull off. We'll just do him. Ha! Ah! Fuck! I am shit! Oh my god! Don't make me laugh. Okay, fucking hell. So I got very lucky there, alright? It's just missing these. This, seriously, this control pad, the Xbox control pad, is not made for fighting games. It is fucked, alright? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yes! Fucking hell, I thought he was going to do a fifth fucking shoulder barge there for a second and fuck me up again, but... <clears throat> Thank fucking God, Jesus Christ. I suppose it could have just picked Sub Zero, you know, and spammed Freeze and done that, done it like that. But look, the, I could have beat him in one go. The problem is, I'm just the, pulling off the combos is just fucked on this control pad, whatever. And I was just trying to talk while playing, whatever, and fuck it, whatever who cares. All right, so there you go. That was the uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 playthrough. I don't think it took as long as my Mortal Kombat 2 playthrough. It, it's really dependent on if you're good at pulling off the combos in this game. You know, you've got to be pretty flawless at doing that. Um, I was just making a lot of mistakes there and I haven't played this game for a while. But um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'm out. See you. Bye. Alright, hello everyone. It's GSTAR321 here. And today I'm doing another Mortal Kombat playthrough, this time of the game called Ultimate Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Okay, another Mugen Mortal Kombat game. This game is fucking hard, okay? You know, you'd think with all these Mugen Mortal Kombat games, <laughs> it just shits me how, you know, they add all these cool new moves, fatalities, animalities, and all that type of stuff, but they still neglect to fix the AI, okay? The AI is still totally fucked in this game. It just blows my mind why someone has not fixed it, okay, and made it playable. I want to play a playable version of Mortal Kombat for once in my life, okay? I'm sick of getting fucked up by bullshit AI counter moves that I have no control over whatsoever, okay? It doesn't matter how good you are at this game, the AI will counter you, okay? I'm playing it on the easiest difficulty, no fucking around, okay? I just can't take it anymore, you know what I mean? It's still hard. It's oh, look, I'm just pressing start. I'm losing it already. Go to options. Blood on level. Put that shit on easiest, okay? Don't fuck around. All the rest doesn't matter. What the hell is that? I can't even see what that is. I I never even noticed that when I played it before. I'm really temp I'm really tempted to select that. What the fuck? This could just be a random select, but um, but I want to. What the? What the hell is that? All right, choose your des destiny. No fucking around. We're going on the easiest, okay, novice. My blood is boiling already just thinking about the AI in this game. All right. What is that? Look at it. Oh, it must just be a random. What the fuck? I didn't even press any button and I died. What the hell? 
What? What is that? I, I just lost to continue. <sighs> what? Fuck this game. <sighs> okay, well that was a mistake. I'm not pressing that shit again. <sighs> Alright, let's go Reptile. I can do this. Four continues. What the hell? Endurance? I didn't even know... Oh my... Was that there before? I th Round one. <laughs> this game is fucking ass. Look at this. Oh, Christ. Combos are fucking... You know, Reptile Mortal Kombat 1 has terrible moves. He's only got fucking three moves. Alright, I'm playing really tight here. Get off me. The problem with endurance rounds is there's sometimes like fucking five or six characters, okay? Ah, yeah. Ooh, ah. Get out. Okay, cheap. Time for cheapness. Get out. Oh. Oh. Okay. Look at this! They're countering everything already! Come off it! It's the first fucking character. Look at it! Oh Christ, almost had it. What I mean. Let's turn invisible. Oh, that was pointless. Fuck off! Get out! Jesus Christ. Alright, I'll probably lose soon because... The AI will start getting fucking bullshit now. Sonya. She looks terrible, look at that. That's the worst digitized animation for a character ever. Fuck! God! <laughs> Some of the fatalities in this game are hilarious. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. Alright, I might just purposely lose here because I want to pick Scorpion. Yep, just kill me, whatever. Oh no, it's going to do the bullshit where you try and kill it and it just fucking doesn't do anything. One going to be used on Scorpion, Mortal Kombat 2, and the other two will be... Kintaro. Trust me, you have to use Kintaro to fight the bosses and get through endurance rounds in this game. It's fucking ass otherwise, okay? Alright. Mm. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. The reason I wanted to pick Scorpion is because the AI rarely ever counters his spear. I mean, it might look like I'm being a bit of a cheap ass here, but trust me, you know, if I was trying to just fight normally, mix it up, impossible, okay? I'm gonna... Okay, because Cabal's being nice to him, I'm gonna give him a friendship. How does that sound? Alright. There we go. You've been good to me, Cabal, so I'll give you a scorpion doll. <laughs> Again. Ooh. Oh shit, damn it, I did a... Mm. Got a bit too out of control there with the combos. That's alright. You can do fatalities on bosses, so... If I manage to defeat Motaro here with Scorpion, I'll... The funny thing is with Motaro, this is all you really need to do to defeat him. Okay, just stand there and just do high punches. He'll walk into it like a fucking dumbass, okay? It's a joke. In Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, you couldn't do this, okay? He'd fucking... Like, see how he's blocking like that? If you just kept doing this in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, he would never stop blocking, okay? But in this game, he actually does, and he walks forward every now and again, which is pretty funny, see? He just walks straight into your punches. Fucking terrible. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
love these Mortal Kombat games. It's all about knowing the AI, how to exploit it. Zero skill required. Just hilarious. Alright, now I want to do a fatality on you. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so I don't know what happens there at the end. It's a bit disappointing. You don't get to see it. The screen just goes black. And you just hear shit going on. It doesn't even say... Well, it said fatality, but you don't see it come up on the screen in red text, which sucks. Alright, this fight is impossible unless you pick Kantaro. God damn it. Look at that, the spear just goes... How can you block... <sighs> you see that? I hit him with a couple of hits in my combo and then he just blocks and counters mid my combo. How can you do that, okay? Look at that, come on! Ah, oh, fuck, whatever. What a shit fatality as well. Just charged me and my head got decapitated. Oh shit. You fucking asshole! Let me just do it here. Okay. Wow. Wow. Fuck me. Oh, fucking asshole. Oh, what the hell? That went right through him. Get out. Mm, Look at that. The uppercut just goes through him. Come off it. Okay, I think... Mm. I've only got one continue. I've got to do it. Fuck. Fucking asshole. Why do you only get five continues? That's just fucking shit. For a hard game, fuck, you should have unlimited continues, really. Come off it. It's no excuse. Yeah, so look, the trick is, you gotta just block, wait till he's, he's got you in the corner, uppercut, and then immediately follow up with a fireball, which to do is just pressing down high kick, that's it. You can't spam fireball and win, otherwise you just get... Just trust me, okay? Fuck now, this is bullshit. Fuck this! You suck, you fucking asshole. Get off me. Okay, you're done, come off it. That's it, you're done. Get out, there we go. <sighs> Fuck, you have no... I'm stressing hard here. Big time. What the hell? Just be patient. You can do this. Be patient. You're gonna fatality his ass and get it, get your revenge on him. Okay, we're going good. You... <sighs> Grab me, that's not... <sighs> patient. Oh! Yeah! Fucking eat that shit. What a great way to finish off the game. Finish off Shao Kahn. With a fatality from Kantaro. Beautiful. Alright, and as is standard with, you know, Mortal Kombat 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, the ending's the same. Alright? Where Shao Kahn just explodes like this. Nothing special, Kantaro wins. Fuck, that was stressful, man. Mainly because I only had five continues. God damn. Let's go the three. Fatality demonstration, cool. What? Do I... What the f... Oh, I've got to do shit. Well, I don't know. What, how the fuck am I supposed to know what the fatalities are? Are you kidding me? What? Well, I remember that fatality from Nightwolf. Fucking hell! I remember that one from Striker. 
Oh, this is ass, really. Come on. Oh, I got no idea. What? Oh! <laughs> I think I just held block and pressed up, up, down or some shit. Up, up, down, down. I don't know how I did that animality. Down, down. Oh, fuck. It's not giving me enough time. What? Oh, chameleon. I thought I was Melina. Yeah, I got no idea. Whatever. Forward, forward, down, down, low kick. Can't remember that fatality. I don't know. <laughs> Shang Tsung was having a fit there. What? Fuck this! Look at this! Come on! Oh, I don't care. I'm just... I'm just running in there and uppercutting or whatever. Just end it. I don't care. Whatever. S just stop. How many characters is it going to go through? What the hell? My t the bosses as well? You fucking kidding me? Look at this! Well, I just did that one before. So I can remember that. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A fatality demonstration where it doesn't even demonstrate the fatalities. You have to do them. What kind of shit is that? Alright, so look, that's basically in the game, okay? Wow. My god. That went through every single character in the game and it was expecting me to input the fatality commands. I've never seen such a thing. That's fucked. My god. Um, the AI is still bullshit, okay? It's exactly the same as Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, the AI, so... You know, the first couple of fights will be relatively easy, but once you hit that third or fourth character, the AI just goes into overdrive and just becomes fucking bullshit, okay? Starts countering all your moves, and... You know, I will deal with that for a few times, like maybe four or five times, but if I realize that the AI isn't going to relent, the great thing about this game is you can actually select boss characters, okay? Like Goro, Kentaro, Shao Kahn, and Motaro. So, you know, the good thing about this is, this is if the AI is pissing you off that much, select a boss character and just fuck them up, okay? Which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick Kentaro. He's awesome in this. If the AI treats me like shit, I'm going to treat it like shit, okay? So let's go ahead and press start here. Um, I remember playing Mortal Kombat 2 on the Amiga 600, okay? This was a fucking long time ago, I'm talking like 1992. And with the Amiga... Fuck! There we go. Yeah, with the Amiga 600, okay, Mortal Kombat 2 was actually on three discs. And every time you'd go to do a fatality, it would stop and say, please insert disc 2. So that was really f fucking bullshit, okay? But thank god you don't have to... There we go. Yeah, you know, thank god it doesn't say fucking loading every time I go to do a fatality here in Mortal Kombat Trilogy. It only loads for the fights. Jesus Christ! Okay. So the AI is becoming a bit fucking bullshit now. Fuck! Mm. Fuck! Okay, come on, come on, come on, fuck you. Alright, so I have to do mercy, hold, run, down, 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 release it. Okay, now I've got to fuck him up. 
Here we go. Score. <laughs> <laughs> that is, without a doubt, without equivocation, the best animality in Mortal Kombat history. Actually, no, I lie. Reptile. Fuck, I should have done that, but whatever. Yeah, 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 freeze. Look at that head on the fucking spike. Screaming in pain. Shit. So the AI actually hasn't been too bad so far. Maybe because I've just selected novice difficulty. Fuck if I know. Oh, shit, I spoke too soon. Yep, yep. Okay, sector is uh. Yeah. <laughs> so sector's going fucking out of control here. Shit. God oh, damn it. Fuck, can't do that. Oh shit, here we go. <laughs> oh, I guess it was worth it just to see that. Mortal Kombat Trilogy introduced brutalities. Just fucking crazy. It's just like an endless comma combo you do on your character. Oh, come on. For fuck's sake. Mm. Fuck! Fucking AI is just fucking bitch in these games. I want to do a couple of Raiden's Mortal Kombat 2 Raiden's combos. He's got some awesome ones. It's disappointing I can't fucking show you because every time I run into the character, it just throws me. Fucking hell. Fuck. Fuck! Wins. Fuck! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Wins. The AI in these old Mortal Kombat games, man, it's just fucked. You know, use both hands with both control pads. Fucking annoying. Just Jesus Christ! What just happened? <laughs> yep, and holy shit, a double. Fuck, he must. Sector must have a double teleport uppercut. In Mortal Kombat Trilogy, holy shit. Or oh, the AI is just fucking bullshit. Which I'd probably go with. And it's good because they can't duck it. Yeah. Fuck you. Look at that shit, eh? Yeah. Fucking AI. Fuck! Wins. I hate how you have to fucking aim the hat to do that fatality. It's just such bullshit. <sighs> I should have just done his hat slice fatality. That would have been much better. Endurance round. Johnny Cage. What the hell? Did you see that? No. That was... Oh my... Man. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck. Yeah, 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 whatever. There we go, the throw. I always found Johnny Cage's digitized movements to be a bit what is oh man fuck that's fucking bullshit you saw that again I ducked his teleport kick and 
fucking. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, stage fatality, fuck off, whatever. Oh. Jesus Christ. Fatality. Not even on the fucking spikes properly, that's lazy game animation, game design. It's gonna Oh that's bullshit. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Wins. Oh bullshit. <clears throat> What? And he wasn't jumping that time, I don't know what happened there. Loki, 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 that's all you have to fucking do. So, you know, because the AI is bullshit in, in this and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, at least in this one, it gives you crazy characters like Noob Sabot and bosses to, to counter the bullshit, you know what I mean? Um, fucking hell. He's a lot faster in this Shao Kahn, I think. Hell of a lot faster than in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Ah! Fucking those shoulder barges, you fuck. I guess it would have been cool if they put a different boss instead of Shao Kahn in this one because it's just Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, you know what I mean? Why, what was the point of making Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 then? They should have just went Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3, and then just this, you know what I mean? Um, there wasn't really any point to Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 at all. Um, you dirty fuck, you've wasted over my, half of my health. Jesus! Oh, God, oh, those fucking shoulder barges. You can get really unlucky if you keep spamming that shit. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh my god. Fucking hell. So this, this shit happened in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 as well, where I kept fucking dying on him because... On some of the rounds, he just goes absolutely mental with those side shoulder charges, okay? It's real. It's just fucking bullshit, you know? It's really unfair. Um, but, you know, on that first round, I, I tore him up, as you saw, you know what I mean? Fucking just tore the shit out of him. And that's because he wasn't doing any of the side shoulder barges. He was just doing the airborne ones, which is what I fucking want him to do. If I die, if I die with Raiden, I'm picking Kentaro. I'm over it, fucking over it. All right, concentrate. Oh, you dirty fuck! Christ! Oh man! Those side shoulder barges are fucked. <sighs> Alright, but it's okay. I'm picking Kentaro and I'm done. What the hell? Baraka shows mercy. What the fuck just happened? Flawless victory. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe he wants me to show him mercy. Because I'm picking a fucking boss character. Fuck off! Jesus, he's still kicking my ass. What's with this fucked up music playing now as well? It's off-putting me. It's like pre 
preempting your win, so to speak. It feels like there we go. Anyway, fuck off. I'm done. Shao Kahn, pretty much the same death scene as Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Kentaro wins. I doubt there's going to be any text describing Kentaro's, uh, you know, what happens. Like, you know, if you win the game with Liu Kang, it says some bullshit like Liu Kang killed Shao Kahn, blah blah. Fuck off. So I'm probably going to kick Chameleon's ass here, but if you're playing as a normal character, against him you'll have no fucking chance okay he's just this is the AI in fucking overdrive okay <laughs> and it would be nice if you could do finish hims with the boss character you know characters fatalities and so on but you can't but that's okay so there we go that is the end of Mortal Kombat trilogy Pretty much the same as Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, just a few more characters and you know, like I said, what was the point of having Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3? They should have just went straight to this one. Guess it was just to squeeze more money out of everyone. So that's exactly what you're going to get, okay? I'm going to put this on very hard and I'm going to play it on the champion ladder, okay? So basically the most fucking sadistic and hardest setting that you can put this game on. That's what we're going to do here, alright? So let's get straight into it. No fucking around, because, you know, honestly, I'm not sure if this is even possible. I have never played the game myself on very hard, so I have no idea how this is going to go, okay? Yeah, you know, I have no idea how this is going to go. <sighs> I don't even know if it's possible. You know, I'm not going to select any boss characters either, so that's just going to make it even more fucking harder. I'm actually defeated already, and I haven't even chose my character yet. I just, I just don't know about this, okay? Alright, so... Oh my god, look, there are two endurance rounds. Fuck, that's, that's sadistic, okay? One endurance round is enough, but having two, my god. That is just... Fuck, there was Noob Sabot... Jade, oh my god, this is gonna be insane. <sighs> okay. Okay, so the AI doesn't appear to be fucking around. They're going straight in for full combos. Shit! Mm. Oh, that's... I can't... Fuck. Ow, oh, my god. Pretty un unrelenting already. I'm noticing that I'm getting insta-thrown as soon as I run in like so. Try and do it. Look, I'll try it again. See? So running into them is basically off limits. I cannot do a combo. I might have to just jump in and try the combo like that. Okay, but they're fucking blocking it. Jesus. That is the most ridiculous fatality in Mortal Kombat, okay? I've ever seen. You know, they were really running out of ideas. They were scraping the barrel when they came up with that one. That's just fucking pathetic. I guess I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, you know, there are that many characters in this game that coming up with original fatalities for all of them, okay, and two fatalities each per character, you know, by the end of it you can just imagine the developer sitting around the table, yeah, just fucking, who cares, just uppercut him upside down and make all the body parts realign, who cares, it's like the game developers even fucking gave up on this. Ooh. Uh, I'm trying to avoid my hardest into running into the character because I know I'm just going to get thrown. So I'm just trying to. S I'm actually being a cheap bastard, okay? I'll try and stop it for a second. Oh my god, how aggressive is she? Look at this! Wow! Alright. Fuck, instant thrown. That is just fucked. Oh my god, I can't do anything. Look at this. I Fuck, I jump and they just jump kick me. What am I supposed to do? Tell me. Okay, obviously this move is just... It appears that this move I can just fucking spam for the whole game and probably win by doing this, but... Who wants to play the game like this, you know? That's, that is pathetic. But it's forcing me to. There's nothing else I can do here. At least I can jump into her and start the combo with the high punch that way. 
Okay, in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, you couldn't do that. Oh, whatever, I'm just gonna fucking spam. God damn it! Fuck. I was just gonna finish her off by spamming that Force Ball move. But I died, so I guess I'll pick another character. I mean, it's not gonna hit him all the time because it's just random, but. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I have to play the game like this. This is pathetic. But it, it doesn't appear there's any other way. Okay, look, I'll try and run into her. See what I mean? I get instant comboed. Oh my god, the second punch... Missed. I don't know what happened there. So that was pretty cheap there, but you know what? There was no other way to fucking defeat her. It's just total bullshit. The fuck off me, god damn it. Eh. Ah shit, I'm pan ah! Random cannonball. Oof. Wins. Shit, I'm not doing too bad here with Kano, he's going alright. Oh you fucking asshole. Mm. God damn it. Just gonna what the hell? I went off the screen there for a second. Alright, so he fucking destroyed me pretty good there. Shit. There we go. Alright, what the hell was... What the hell was that weird sound? Fucking... Crackling audio or some bullshit. This game is a bit of a glitchy mess, you know. It's just... Fucked. It's broken, it's glitchy. You know. Look at this! I'm controlling the AI. When I press forward it goes back, when I press back he comes forward. What game can you do this? Look at this! This is this is proving that the AI responds to your every input, okay? This is a fucking joke. If I did this for the next 58 seconds the round would be over and it would be a tie. Oh my god. This is amazing, but if I hold forward too far He'll run into me, see? And do a throw or a combo or some shit. Such fucking bullshit. Oh my god, I can't even fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. Wins, wins. Wins, wins. Yeah, fucking glitchy fucking bullshit. Yeah, okay, just. Oh no. Oh, this is alright. He won't do anything as long as I keep. If he does that cloud to you. Don't worry too much, just keep doing this until it disappears and then continue fighting him, okay? Fucking hell, this is insane. Alright, let's try... Alright, so yep, he's done that. We'll just wait a bit till I can attack and... Just fucking... Just die. Here we go. Oh no, Sindel. I'm just going to show you, okay? I'm going to try and run into... This is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to run into the character and try and do a combo. That's it. Okay. Throne. Comboed. Throne. Oh my god, I actually... What the hell? Fuck. So, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time you're either going to get thrown or comboed. Or if you get extremely lucky like I just did there. Okay, so the... Alright, so his Shadow Kick is completely off limits. She's just gonna block everything. I don't know. Run into her, get thrown, thrown. Oh my god, and jump into her to try and start the combo and she just does that. Alright, so Johnny Cage is hopeless against her. He doesn't have any bullshit moves to use. So that was pretty... I, I don't even know why I bothered choosing him just then. That was fucking pointless. Remember, I'll see if I can... Fuck off, get the hell away from... God, that move is so annoying! What? Block and uppercut. Block and uppercut. Block and uppercut. Just wanted to show you guys there how bullshit that is, okay? That... 
doing the teleport punch 99% of the time will result in that happening. Oh my god, I jumped into him and did the axe. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this, there is nothing I can do, okay? You have to use cheap spam moves to win, okay? This is impossible. Fucking hell. You know, I don't remember this game coming out in the arcade. Why did they make the AI, you know, to be arcade difficult, to be just total bullshit? Mortal Kombat 1, 2 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 I can understand, you know, because it did come out in the arcade and, you know, it wanted your coins, so it kicked your ass. But this didn't, so why make it so hard? I don't get it. Fucking hell, they were just lazy, they couldn't be bothered changing the, the program code for it, I guess. Fucking hell. Oh my god. I can't even freeze him! Come on, this is just... Oh god, what am I... Nightwolf is horrible. Look at this. There is Nightwolf wins. <sighs> Just try and calm down. We'll pick a character with a cheap spam move. It's okay. We will choose. I know I wouldn't mind picking Mortal Kombat 2 Kung Lao. But I have a feeling he's torpedo. You know, Nightwolf will be able to duck it, so. Oh my god, he's just gonna block that. Look at this! Oh, this is impossible! How can anyone play this legit? Look at this, why. Tell me why would somebody play this game on very hard? What is the point? You can't do anything. Okay. Eh. Ah, I'm fucking. No! What happened? I was going so good. Ah. Get, get these. Eh. Oh, man! Yep. Brutality. Nightwolf is really hard. He is destroying me here. I don't know what to do against him, alright? <sighs> Fucking hell. I'm trying to hold off from picking Noob Sabot as long as possible, you know? Because I know that by spamming that down forward low punch cloud move, the, you know, I'll be able to win the game. But I'm just trying to hold off from that at the moment. Um, okay. Mortal Kombat 2 Kung Lao. And I'm just going to spam Torpedo. See how that goes. I don't know what to do. Fuck! Okay, as long as he doesn't block it. I mean, duck it. Look at that! Man! Oh my god. Look at this. What am I supposed to do? Fatality. I, that's not even working. Oh, fuck. I don't even know if I can do this. I want to turn this off right now. I've, I've had it, okay? Alright, I'm going to try and spam Force Ball bullshit. That seemed to be really effective initially when I was using him, so... We'll see if that works. If it doesn't, I've really got no idea what to do, okay? Alright, it's looking good. Oh shit! Get the f 
Get off me! Alright, beautiful. Oh my god, you fucking asshole. It's down, down, back, forward, high kick to do his fatality, his other one. Just outside sweep. Alright, don't know why he didn't do it there. That was fucking bullshit. I tried on Kung Lao here. Alright, we'll give the first round a go using normal methods, but if it doesn't work, okay, I'd fucking give up. Okay, get insta comboed. Instant thrown. Alright, I, I can feel bullshit happen. Look at this! Oh my god! So aggressive, just. This is what. Look at the, Look at what I'm doing, okay? If you want to play the game on very hard and champion ladder, this is what you have to do to win. Why would you want to do that, okay? Who wants to play a game like this? How boring is this? This is what you have to do, though. This is fucked, okay? This is absolutely ridiculous. What the hell, a bit of lag there. God, do it! Fuck! Hell! Even doing the fatalities is horrible. God. Nothing fucking works. This game is broken. I'm trying to hold off from using that force ball move because I know it's just fucking cheap bullshit. Unfortunately, it's the only way to beat this game, man. I think I take back what I said before in the previous video about Noob Sabot being the most powerful character. I think it's Rain, okay? What? Three characters? No. Oh my god. This, okay. This has to be just force ball the whole way. This is impossible doing it normally. Oh my god. Just, just calm down. It's alright. You know what? I, I, for someone watching, okay, I dare you to play this game like I am now, okay, very hard and champion ladder, and get through an endurance round with three characters playing normally, okay? I want to see someone do that without resorting to this type of bullshit, okay? Fuck, if you can do that, then, you know, my hat goes off to you, but I don't think you can, okay? I know you can't, because the AI... Oh, God, i got to get out of this fucking corner, get... <laughs> You have to get that uppercut timed perfectly, okay? If you miss, the AI will throw you. Okay, I'm just going to do a high kick here. What? What? Four... Four characters. Yeah. What? Four characters in an endurance round? What is going on? What? No, that can't. That nah. That must have just been a glitch. Okay, that's not. That isn't possible. I don't believe that. Okay, unless I see that again. This is ridiculous, man. Oh shit! I. Oh my god, there is! Oh no, 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 no. You're not... If a fifth character comes out, I'm turning this game off. I'm serious, okay? I'm fucking done. That's disgusting if that happens. What?! No! God, and it's noob support, man. 
No! <laughs> Is this a glitch? What's going on? I've never seen this happen before, okay? Oh my god! That is... What is... Look at... I'm speechless! No, I really am speechless. That is... That is... That has just done me, okay? Five characters for an endurance round. Were they mad when they were programming this game? Who came up with this idea? Not only is the AI impossible to beat by normal means, and look, it's even hard enough doing this. I'm probably there's a chance that I could still die if I miss an upper. Look, see, see, if I miss an uppercut, they'll just get an attack in. You know, whoever came up with this idea, fucking hell, they should be forced to play this without using spam moves, okay? And they're not allowed to leave the chair until they win. Okay, they'll be there fucking for the next 20 years trying to do this shit. Could be a form of fucking torture. You know, I find it funny how the last character is Noob Sabot as well. One of the most powerful characters in the game, just to fuck you up even more. What a joke. Oh my god, that went right through him. And you know what? There's still another endurance round to go. It's not like this is it. <laughs> fucking hell. Finally, fucking did his fatality. Has to be outside sweep though. I was probably a little bit too close the last couple of times I tried to do it, okay? That that is a joke, okay, seriously. That is Uh, I'm just laughing though because it's just totally fucked. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Fuck off! Jesus Christ! I wonder if the force ball move will work against the bosses. Let's try it. You know what will make it eat? Oh my. What the fuck, man? You're gonna. S it doesn't work too well against the bosses. Fucking hell. This game is just... It's a mess, okay? This game is a, a broken, glitchy, fucked up mess, okay? F I still can't get over that there were five characters on the fucking endurance round. That is That is absolutely disgusting, okay? I, there is absolutely no way that you can complete that by normal means, okay? You have to resort to cheap bullshit moves, which is what I was doing with Rain. And actually, I'm going to try and do that here. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, damn The thing is, they don't get high enough. Got it. You got to... Okay, so... Alright, that's it. What the hell? That went through him again. That is... Oh, my God. What is wrong with this game? What a joke. Okay, I, I think I've just discovered a game-breaking glitch. If you can do this to Mataro and Shao Kahn as well... Oh, shit, I've got... No, 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 I've got to focus. Sorry, I've got to... Goro's hard. Yeah, okay. As I was saying, if you can do this to Mataro and Shao Kahn... This game is just broken beyond belief, okay? This is just... They didn't test any of this shit beforehand, and I don't think they cared. They just wanted more money. They're like, okay, let's put every character in a Mortal Kombat game. People will buy that shit. Okay, and they did, and I bought it, and I fucking loved it back in the day. But like I said, I never played the game on anything higher than medium. Alright? So, I don't recall having to resort to this kind of bullshit to beat the game, okay? And I always just played the novice ladder, okay? Because anything higher was just fucked. All right. So let's test this. Let's see if I can... Oh my god. You... Oh shit. What the fuck? He's got me in the corner. What the hell? It's just reflecting off him. Can't do this move? 
wins. Maybe when he jumps, I just can't do it. Let's just try it again here. Fight. Oh, fucking hell, he's so fast. Oh my god. Well, you know what? If you can do this to Shao Kahn, Rain is the most powerful character in the game. Forget Noob Sabot, forget any other boss characters. It's Rain. I've just fucking discovered this now. Rain is the most powerful character in the game. And you know what? This is actually boring. I'm not even enjoying this. It's just... It's just fucked, like... God, if you... Alright, so... Wins. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You've... The problem with Mataro is he just fucking jumps all over the place and... Obviously the force ball wasn't working then when he jumped, so you gotta try and get him in a... Get him, get him in a rhythm like I did that second round. Okay. <clears throat> but I guess if this doesn't work, I'll just have to fucking resort to that bullshit, okay? Finish the game with rain. Can you actually torpedo him? Oh, you can. Oh my god! No! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this is actually easier than doing rain's fucking... This game is a mess. Fucking hell. Raiden's Torpedo, I didn't know I could spam that shit against Montaro. There's probably so many other game breaking glitches that, you know, you can just discover so many yourself. I've discovered a few already for the first time just playing it here, okay? Ah, you fucking piece of shit. Could have beat the game there with Raiden. That would have been cool. You know what? I, I reckon you can do that force wall spam shit on Shao Kahn as well. I'm not going to bother though. I'm just going to try and do it sort of legit here. Okay. Finish the game with someone that I want to finish it with. Uh, <laughs> Johnny Cage. Um... Might do Mortal Kombat 1 raid, actually. Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god. Fuck, that round was a bit of a mess there. Holy shit. Alright. Fuck you, you piece of... Fuck, his defense is so good, Shao Kahn. My god, you have to do so many hits just to kill him. Such fucking bullshit. Jade? Let's try Jade. I haven't played as her yet. Oh, you fuck. God damn, those side shoulder barges are just fucking horse shit. I don't think he was even taking chip damage from that. Let me just... No, only for the first hit, but for the remaining hits of the combo, he doesn't take any chip damage. What kind of sadistic shit is that? Gotcha. Oh, you... Oh, I'm, it's, this is really making me want to just pick rain and end it. You know what? I think I'm just going to do it. I don't care anymore. I've fucking had it. I can't be bothered waiting for Shao Kahn to stop doing those damn side shoulder barges. Just fucking... I'm ending the game now. This is it. Picking rain, the most powerful character. Even more powerful than the bosses and Noob Sabot. Fuck, what a startling discovery this has been. Just this force ball move just owns the entire game. Fucking unbelievable. Oh, wait, can I do it? Yep. This game is over, okay? Look at this. 
What a joke. Shit. One one error can just get you destroyed, okay? Make sure you get that roundhouse in. Make sure he's high enough in the air to go flying back as well. Alright, he's done. Get out of here, there we go. So that is it guys, you requested Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the hardest difficulty, okay, very hard. We played on the champion ladder. My opinion, okay, I think it's absolutely impossible to, to complete using normal by normal means, you know, trying to run in there, do combos and, and all that type of stuff, mixing up your moves. This can only be completed by using cheap bullshit. I don't know, Raiden? Fatality Demonstration 3, your reward is the opportunity to witness the many what Fuck, I couldn't even read it quick enough. God, even the text goes so fast in this game. Okay, so that was it. Alright, so there we go guys, you've seen my playthrough of Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the hardest difficulty setting, okay, very hard. And on the champion ladder, total fucking bullshit, okay, impossible to defeat by normal means. I would really love to watch a video of someone playing this on, you know, very hard and champion ladder, trying to defeat it normally. Especially an endurance round with five characters to defeat and noob support as the fifth character. What is going on? What? Oh my god. They were, they were on fucking crack when they programmed that shit, okay? That is just insanity. Absolutely mad, okay? I didn't actually enjoy doing this at all, okay? This was actually frustrating because... All I, all I was doing was Reigns, Force Ball and Roundhouse Kick, okay? It was just pissing me off. I can't believe that's all you have to do to defeat this game. What a fucking joke, okay? I mean, you can probably spam Noob Sabots cloud and just finish the game that way or or some other bullshit glitchy move that I didn't discover yet but you know there's probably heaps out there that you can figure out on your own but forget trying to run in and doing combos because you just get thrown or comboed yourself 99.9% .9 of the time okay fucking impossible but that's it guys thanks for watching my second playthrough of Mortal Kombat Trilogy I'm out So it's a bit weird, but let's go into options. I'm setting it to easy one, okay, because the AI is fucking atrocious in this game. It's horrible, okay? If you just pick this game up, start playing it, you're gonna get fucking destroyed, okay? You've gotta play it a little bit, learn how the AI responds to your inputs, you know? Pretty much like every Mortal Kombat game, just fucking bullshit, okay? Even with these Mugen games, which is just fucked. Okay, so you've really got to learn the AI pattern in order to win. It looks fucking great. God damn it, get the fuck off me. Oh my god. Oh. The AI is fucking atrocious in this game, okay? Terrible, terrible AI. You can't s sort of just crouch and block, they'll just run in and throw you, look, see? You've got to be on the move the whole fucking time, okay? You've got to... <clears throat> Get off me! Take it, there we go. Oh! Get off me! Ah! Okay. What's the point of choosing this guy? Fuck off! Damn it, you fuck. Oh. There we go. Get off! Fucking hell, they're blocking everything. Bullshit. Okay, that was a weird move you just did then. Gotcha. What the hell? Ace. Another ninja with freeze moves. God, don't you think we've got enough? Look at this, I couldn't even move! How fucking aggressive is he? What the fuck? Oh my god, alright. Oh god. God, you fucking aggressive fuck. Fucking take
take that shit. Damn it! What the fuck? Get off me! Fuck! Jesus Christ, he just got a flawless victory on me. Fuck. Hell. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna leave it on easy one because the AI is fucking atrocious in this game. Seriously. No joke. Okay. Let me just say something, alright? The AI in this game is harder than Mortal Kombat 2 Arcade and Mortal Kombat Trilogy combined. It is disgusting, okay? Now, obviously if you pick a certain character and just spam, you know, a bullshit move over and over again, you can win the game. Or, the AI in this game is sort of vulnerable to sweeps. You can just keep sweeping them over and over again, which is pathetic, okay? I'll show you, and I'll talk more about it as we get playing. But just take note that the AI in this game is fucking disgusting, okay? It's... Oh man, it's just, it's fucked, okay? That's all I can say. Oh fuck, I'm fighting Jade, are you kidding me? For the first, oh my god, that's just... I'm defeated already just think, thinking about this fight. Look at... Okay, don't even try running into these characters and doing combos, it's... Whoa, what the fuck, that was a new mover. She just flawless victoried my ass. What a piece of shit. I'm going to show you guys that you cannot run into them and do a combo. Okay, look, I might have to pick Raiden or someone for this fight because... Seriously, who thought to put Jade as the first character and make the fight? Look, I couldn't... Fuck it, I'm going to do it. Sorry, I'm just going to focus for this because it's just bullshit. Oh my god, this is just fucking ass. Alright. Fatality your ass, there we go. Love that shit. Fatality. That's actually an ass of a fatality, okay? I remember as a kid back in the day, that fatality used to piss me off because nothing happens, you know what I mean? He just does a spin kick and then an uppercut. There's no decapitation. I don't know. It's just... I don't know, whatever. Stop blocking everything, you fuck! Get the hell out! Take this! Get out! Oh, no, no, can't lose! Mm. What the hell is going on here? Look at this! What, look, look at this screen, it's a mess! Look! And I'm not even dying, what the hell is going on here? Man, this game's pretty fucking glitchy. Why am I s Finish him. <laughs> the fuck? Oh my god, what a mess. Great, he's gonna fucking block every move. Look at this, I can't do anything. Night spirits win. Night spirits. That was like he was about to say night wolf there. Problem is you get too close, yeah, you see? Alright, fuck whatever. Hell, what is wrong with this game? You know, look, I've played through the game multiple times. This is the first time this has ever happened. I don't know what is going on. I can move, I can fight. I can't do... Oh yeah, there we go. I just did a special move. Okay, finish me. Now what? I can't hit this guy! I cannot hit this guy! There we go. Okay, we're both done. Like, got no life left. Oh my fucking god, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, now... What? What the fuck? 
I don't even know what to say. I've got no idea what is going on. The game is just making its own fucking rules now. The AI is fucked and now it's just deciding, okay, like round four? I don't know. Why? Okay, now what? I didn't think that was even going to work for a second, but it did. I'm still disgusted by that fight against Night Spirits. Wow, the game just glitched beyond belief there. It's fucking atrocious. Piece of shit. Mm. Mm. You fuck, that never hits them. Such bullshit. Hell, you cheap fuck. Round three. Fight. Mm. Oh, fuck this. When you get in close, it's like a fucking sweep war, you know what I mean? You sweep, they sweep, it's just such bullshit. Nice, that looked pretty good. Fuck off, see what I mean? The sweep shit. Can't stand that shit. Fuck you. Yes! What the fuck is that shit sound? It sounds like a fatality is about to happen. You know what? Fuck this. Let's get out. Get out! Off! Oh. I need to get on the other side. This is fucked. His attacks are so weak. Oh, maybe because I'm an ultimate character. Like, ultimate raid. I don't know. Just get out. Jesus fuck. Do his other fatality. Head decapitation. That was a real glitchy fight, okay, but at least nowhere near as glitchy as that fucking night spirits fight. What a piece of shit that was. Fuck off! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I actually managed to pull off two full super combos with Dark Raiden and he still kicked my ass. That's fucked. That's actually disheartening. Fucking... My morale has just been fucking destroyed. Mm! Asshole. <sighs> One more hit. Mm! You fucking you fuck. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Ultimate raid. Get the fuck out. No time for bullshit. What the? <laughs> this. Fuck. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Awesome. Fuck off. Jesus. Fuck me. Okay. Look. I, I can't move. Like, she's running into me. I get... I cannot move, okay? Just give me... Okay, there we go. What the hell? This music, are you kidding me? <laughs> ah, shit. What? She's dead. What the hell? Get out. Oh no, it's fucking glitching like that Night Spirits fight. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to end this fight? Look, I've probably killed her like seven times over now. This is fucked, man. This game is glitched beyond belief, like I'm not joking. This is the worst I've seen it, you know, and I've played through the game many times prior to, prior to doing this run through. Maybe if she kills me. What the fuck? I had to let her win? Get out! This is just, oh, this is horse shit. That's just dirty. I don't like that at all. 
Wow. 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 Mm. Jesus. Fuck. Oh, you fuck. Get the fuck off me. Any other character would have been dead by now. What a horrible fight. Get out. I'm done. Alright. Rain. Mm. Jesus, you fuck. I can't even move. Get out. Stop blocking everything. Get the fuck off me! Oh my god, he's gonna kill me! He killed me! He killed Ultim- Oh, um, that's just- Fuck off! Mm. God damn it, I'm just- I'm losing my focus now, you know what I mean? It's just so much fucking bullshit going on, it's ridiculous. There we go. Get the fuck out. Done. Alright, so the game is on easy one. You can go ahead and put it on hard eight if you want, that is the highest difficulty. Why you would want to do that though is fucking beyond me, because on easy one, Man, the AI is still hard as shit. It is fucking unbelievable. Putting the game on hard 8, it's like getting a plate and just fucking smashing it over your head, you know? You're cut, you're bleeding, you're screaming. It accomplishes nothing except pain and suffering. That is the equivalent of selecting hard 8 in this game. Don't do it, alright? Put it on easy 1. You're still going to get fucked up, but at least it's not going to be that bad. Wow, I just ran in and did a combo. You have no idea how rare it is to do that shit. Oh no, okay, I think it's getting real bullshit now. Yeah, it's gonna block everything. You watch, every move I try and do will be blocked. That's blocked. Got lucky there. Blocked, of course. Fuck, I'm freaking out. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow, it's got a fucking scythe. Crazy. Fuck. Leave me alone. <laughs> fucking that cloud bullshit. When he gets you with that, you can't do anything. Your attacks will not hit your opponent. It looks like I'm getting, you know... It looks like I'm playing like shit, but you've got no idea. I am trying my ass off here. Wins. Third fight and the AI is just out of control already. I think I should be thankful. Usually it's out of control, even at the first fight. And it does not stop, okay? There is no rest for this AI. It's just fucking sickening. Okay. Okay, that's one thing I haven't mentioned yet. If you're running, and you jump while you're running, you will go way high in the air. I fucking hate that move. I wish they didn't put that in the game. It's just so disorienting, you know. You go flying way up out of view, you don't know where you are. And it's just... I don't know, I don't know what purpose it serves. It's never... It's not really beneficial at all. Fucking hell, stop jumping over the ice clone, you fucking sucker. Get in there! Wow! Get in it! Oh shit, I did that. Oh no, 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 Scorpion, okay, I'm fucking done. Scorpion's got a super move in this game. 
and he can also cancel that super move into something called a dream cancel. You'll see. Alright. <laughs> what a terrible fatality. Does like a spin kick or some shit and decapitates his opponent. Fucking terrible. His other one is even worse. It's just... You could tell it was an unfinished fatality. It's just a glitch. It's fucked. I'll show ya. Alright, so here's his other fatality. Oh no. What? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. That looked awful. Oh, that was his, like, hat throw animation. That's fucked. That was just awful looking. I feel cheap for doing this combo, but then I have to remind myself I'm fighting MK AI. Fuck off. So I don't feel cheap at all. Okay. Look at this fatality. You can tell that was unfinished, you know. What just happened there? It's like he teleported into midair and went to pull out his scorpion doll, you know, the friendship. But then the opponent is on fire and turns into a charred skeleton. You know, that's just fucking glitchy. I got no idea what happens there. Liu Kang is a cocksucker in this game. I fucking hate him. He is so hard to beat. Blocks everything and fucking does those fast fly kicks. So ha look at him. Of course you'll block that. And that too. Wow. Look at this fucking AI is just fucked. You know, I'm so tired of how it's programmed. It's just awful. You know what? I fucking had it. Get out. Alright, forward, forward, low punch to do Raiden's Fatality. He had that fatality in Mortal Kombat Chaotic, as well as Mortal Kombat Project 4.9.3. They must like it if they keep it in all of them. Fuck! Wow! Fucking hell! I... Wow! I was trying so hard there, it is not funny. And look how much damage I did to him. That's a problem, you know. If you're trying your ass off... Okay, there we go. <clears throat> I don't know why I did that. What the hell? What happened? Oh no, are you fucking kidding me? This shit happened in Mortal Kombat Chaotic as well. Fucking hell. I don't think it's gonna end unless I die. Alright, go, kill me. What a fucking broken mess of a game. Seriously, look at this. What a joke, I have to fucking lose. That's fucked. Stole the victory off me, fucking asshole. Stop blocking every fucking move, you asshole. Finally, there we go. Of course you're blocking it, of course. How about a combo, super combo? There we go. What the fuck? Fucking glitch like crazy there. Now, just fuck off, I'm done with you. Eng Sung is fucking horrible. Every time you go to do a move, he does Sub Zero's freeze. <laughs> oh, this just proves that the AI is fucking dog shit in these games. Look at that. Now watch when I move. Of course, jumps away. I can't even move, man. Look at this. It's just got... See what I mean? Every time you try and do a move, it's like Sub-Zero's 
freeze has been programmed to respond. God, just get me out. There we go. Fuck, I just froze myself. Take that fucking kick. Alright, that's it. No! Eat the big one. There you go. Wow, I can actually do a fatality on him. Too bad I don't know how to do infernos. Well, I do, but like I said, they don't fucking work because the game's broken. You can see that the game is on easy one difficulty setting. You can go all the way up to hard eight if you want. Why you would want to do that is beyond me. The game is near impossible on easy one. It is... Man, it is disgraceful. I can only beat this game with Sub-Zero. Now look, there's actually four characters you can play as. I know it's not a lot, but remember this is the demo version. The other characters, you know, Scorpion, Sector and Cyrax, I have got no chance whatsoever of finishing this game with them. It is impossible. They don't have any bullshit moves I can spam. Man. Look, I know back in the day it came out on the arcade, you know, the Mortal Kombat game, so they wanted your coins, they wanted to take as much money from you as possible, so they made the AI fucking bullshit. I understand, I get it, I know. But why hasn't someone fixed it? Why? That is the biggest problem with these old school Mortal Kombat games, you know? It's bullshit. <sighs> okay. Just let me calm down. Alright, alright, we're good. Easy one, trust me. All the rest, yep, is good. Return to main menu. Look at him, just get off me! Fucking hell, piss off! Oh god, don't even try running into the characters and comboing that way. It's him. Oh wow, he just did an air throw as soon as I jumped. That is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, forget about... Wow, look at him, he's gone crazy! Oh, that was bad, I just went into the bomb. Yeah, trying to run in and do combos will never work. In Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, it would work sometimes, but in this game, it works 0% of the time. You cannot run in and do combos. That is completely off limits. The AI will throw you or combo you themselves. This is just really giving me the shits now. I figured you out. You're just gonna keep doing that net bullshit. Net? Oh fuck. Fuck! Oh, I got him. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh! This is intense, my goodness. So much concentration required here. Alright, get out. That's it. There we go. It says you can see a bit of spikes. Bang, just throws him into it. So that is basically Shang Tsung's fatality from Mortal Kombat 3, and to do it, it's exactly the same. How much fucking damage do I have to do to him to kill him? It's bullshit. Ridiculous. I cannot even begin to express how much focus is required for these fights. You've got no idea. Fuck. What a combo. He's flying all over the place. Oh no, no! Fuck! He's doing a good job of keeping me out. Hell, I just can't get in there. That homing missile is really annoying. I have to do this. Fucking hell. Have to. Oh. 
Fuck! I can't lose to him. Alright, just keep it simple. Non-stop combos. Freeze. Maybe the freeze will keep working. Oh, I fucked up the combo. Alright, we're going good. Oh god. Oh, he's going crazy. Oh, what the hell? That didn't... I didn't want to do that. Yes, that's it. Take the chip damage. Out. Done. Stage fatality. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Just froze for a second there, that's weird. So there you go, up into the spikes. Awesome. So before I get started, let me go into options. Now, the first thing I want to mention here is the game's AI. This might actually shock you guys, so make sure you're sitting down for this. Actually, no, make sure you're lying down, alright? The AI in this game is acceptable. It's playable. You can actually beat the AI in this game. I was actually shocked. The first time I played through this game, I couldn't fucking believe it. I was actually throwing my opponent, I was running in doing combos. I was jump kicking them, you know, I wasn't getting instantly countered. I was absolutely shocked beyond belief. I could not... I'm sp I was speechless, you know, it was fucking unbelievable. But, keep in mind though, that I've only played this game on easy one. I'm not sure how it is if you set it on one of the harder difficulties. I don't even dare, because I know from experience playing Mortal Kombat Mugen games, that it is absolutely fucking horrendous. So, easy one is what I'll be playing it on, and like I said, it's actually acceptable. I'll talk a bit more about it as we get playing. There's a few things I want to say. Fuck! The hell's going? Look at that! Who am I? What the fuck am I talking about? The AI is acceptable. Look at this! It's fucking disgusting. What was I? Th some I don't know, man. Sometimes when I play this game, I, I can really fucking kick the AI's ass. You know what I mean? It's just weird. Fuck! I let go of block for one second, and he did his teleport uppercut. Get out of here! Come on. Ooh, failed. Mm. Fuck! Hell! Bad. Oh, goodness. Oh! Fuck! I haven't even hit him once! What the fuck? He just got a flawless victory! How did that happen, though? What the fuck? <sighs> it's amazing how much stress Mortal Kombat games cause. It's fucking unbelievable. Fuck! Hell, her combos are taking priority! What the fuck's going on here? This is actually giving me the shits. This is really... I don't know what's going on. Sometimes when I play this game, the AI is dog shit and does nothing, but here it's just really... This is unacceptable. Alright, let's do... a fatality. <laughs> I always loved that fatality from Jade. Impales him with her bow. Worked there. Okay, going good so far. Fucking hell! Melina is fucking disgusting. I'm getting real tired of her. Fuck! Mm. Alright, he got me. That's okay. I'm sorry, but the AI is fucking disgusting in this game. There we go, finally. Alright. Let's do... Oh, what? I thought he was dead! 
No? Ah! Oh! No! Smoke wins. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. It's alright. Fuck! Look at that! I'm look. I'm okay. That's it. Look, I'm gonna show you. Fuck! I'm sick of this shit. I'm hold. I'm holding down and fucking block. This is what happens. Okay, smoke is running in and throwing me now. Or is just doing that. Let's just let's just try and do this the whole fight. See if I can win by just holding down and block. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this. It's just it was just the same pattern. Like he'd go invisible, throw me. Wins. Do his teleport up, cut horse shit move. Round one. Wow, that spear comes out so fast. You gonna throw me? No, do the teleport shit. Fuck. Win. Round two. Fight. This is... Look at it! It's fucking pissing me off, this game. Fuck! Jesus. <sighs> Fuck you, Shao Kahn. Alright, let's go into the options first. There's nothing really new to say. I mean, of course, leave it on easy one. You're a fucking maniac if you put it on any higher than that, because easy one is still, it's absolutely brutal. It is unbelievable. You know, the, you have to really work out how to defeat the AI in these Mugen games. And for chaotic, what you really need to do, I'll just quickly tell you, basically, it's, it's near impossible to run in and do a combo, run in and throw and so on. I always say that. So what you need to do for Chaotic here is always do some sort of move like um, Sub-Zero's uh, Ice Clone Decoy and they will run into it. This Mugen Mortal Kombat game, they always run into the Ice Clone. Or you've got to do like Raiden's Backwards Lightning so that when it hits them it sends the your opponent towards you and you can do a combo. You've got to do moves like that. You can't just do, for example, Sub-Zero's regular freeze. That will, you know, it, it rarely hits, basically. So, oh, look, I don't even know what I'm talking about. This game is just, this game will be throwing everything at me, okay? I don't think uh, I can fully prepare myself, that's for sure. Look at the sprite. Look at this. It's Sagat's upper half. And Johnny Cage's lower half. Look how stupid this looks. Look at him. Does this even look like fucking Dagon? What the hell is going on? Look at it. This is it's terrible. Okay, and he's basically just got Johnny Cage's moves. Can, oh my god. And yep. Dagon wins. That's not Dagon game. What the hell? That's Sagat's and Johnny Cage's love child. That's who it is. This is actually the best fatality in the game. You ready for it, guys? Watch. Check it out. Wait. Just wait. There you go. How awesome was that? And look, the game is just so shocked by it, it doesn't even say fatality. That is amazing. Absolutely sensational. Perfect fatality game. Well done. Bravo! A round of fucking applause, shall we? Yeah, okay. Yep. So, this character Dagon sucks. If you haven't already deduced that. But... Just look at this sprite. It's, a, it's just terrible. Look at it. Let's do a high, look at that, the high force ball. Gotta love that move. Ooh, it actually hit him. Bloody hell, nah, that's it. Okay, so now I'm gonna use... Su Hao. It's about time, and look at his character sprite, alright, watch. 
Who is that? That's Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat 2. That's poor. There you go. I just did one combo and I def and I absolutely just took out Inferno. Su Hao is a monster in this game. That's all you need to do. You can What's going on? Finish him. Wow. Fuck, okay. Su Hao versus Su Hao, this really happens. Oh, that could have that that was it. Oh that was it. What is he saying when he runs? Fuck! Oh wow. Just did it. Look look at that. Why does Hornbuckle come out? It's so fucking messy, you know, it's broken. That was a shit fatality as well. You know, all the fatality, not all of them, but I reckon at least 85% of the fatalities in this game just involve head decapitations. It's so unoriginal. But it sort of makes sense, I mean, with this many characters, can you really expect them to come up with original creative fatalities? for everyone. There we go. Alright, let's try... Yeah, that one never fucking works. Forward, forward, down, low, punch, close. Probably a good thing we didn't see it anyway. It's just a disgraceful... Another disgraceful fatality. You know what? I'm getting sick of playing as Su Hao. I want to use someone else. Who's this? Frozen Sub-Zero MK1. Kill me. That sound- that sounded like- did he say Frozen or Fronzen? Kill me. Do it. Do it. There we go. They rarely ever do fatalities. The AI. Victory. Oh no, it's Kenshi. Drawn in paint. Awesome. Let's go. Look at that. Friendship. Okay, fuck it. I'll just do his fatality instead. A head decapitation fatality. Yeah, man, it's good. It's fucking good. I thought that was smoke, but no, it's freeze. Let me guess, he's got a freeze move. Like pretty much 90% of the fucking ninja characters in this game. It's so frustrating not being able to run in and do combos. I can't even... Oh wow, he's got freeze moves. How the fuck did I know? Yeah, it's just... I just want to run in. Look look at this. That's the biggest thing that pisses me off about Mortal Kombat AI. The fact that you can't run in and do combos. You can get lucky sometimes. 90% of the time... It doesn't fucking work. I'm gonna show that damn friendship. I'm gonna do it. I am gonna do it. If I don't do it for this fight, then fuck you, game. I'm done playing as Red Scorpion. MK3. He's not just Red Scorpion, he's Red Scorpion MK3. To distinguish him from Red Scorpion MK2, MK1 and... All the others. MK4. Alright. Fucking what the fuck? Okay, that's it, I'm done. It's a pretty... Uh, it's not a special friendship, it's just, um... I don't know. I think it. it's actually reminding... It reminds me of Cabal's. I think in... Mortal Kombat 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, Cabal stuck a marshmallow on his hook sword. 
and roasted it. It's similar. <gasps> Shit! God, I'm gonna die. Fuck you, Cabal. I'm gonna have to start using some of the good characters soon, like, um... Tremor Ultimate and Ryuki. Round one. My patience is wearing thin already of these. Out! Get in that damn big uh, Good. He says Fronzen! I'm telling you, that sounds like Fronzen. It's not Frozen. It's bullshit. What can I do? Sub -Zero. <laughs> <laughs> when I went into this guy's. See, so you can go into the characters folder of this game and check out the moves list for each character. When I looked, was learning how to play as this character, I mean, it had all these fatalities listed there, but I just could not get any of them to work, you know. That is the only finisher I can do with this character, his babality. And it's not even a babality, you saw what happened, it just... It didn't even turn my opponent into a baby, and then... For the game to actually continue, register as the babality being complete, I had to freeze my opponent. Oh, it's so fucked up. The shit you have to do with these Mugen games sometime, sometimes. Wins. That announced oh, it's Fronzen. Like I get it. The guy that made this game probably just recorded his voice, okay, to make some of the announcements. But at least get off the toilet and stop taking a shit when you say it. You know, just say it naturally. Fronzen. You don't have to fucking sound like you're taking a shit when you say it. Fronzen. Fronzen. Fronza! Fronza! God! Get out! Okay, I'm gonna do it now. Yeah, there you go. There goes your wins. Fatality. He didn't even shatter. Look at that, he just became unfrozen. The hell? That sucks. Glitchy music, yeah, I love it. Glitch the fuck out of this game, man. Just glitch. Oh, 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 oh. I love it. It's music to my ears. Who needs Mortal Kombat X when you've got this, right? It's fantastic. Let's do the other fatality. Oh no, he's going to do a Harakiri. Is he? What's going on? Uh, I can't even move. Like, what the fuck? Don't... Fucking tell me the game's frozen. Oh, that's... See, because the thing is, this is a big uh, tower to get through. There's like 20 characters to beat. At least. Look, the time is not even going down, so it's never going to fucking end. Okay, I'll give it a... F um... What if I press player 2 button or something? I'm now trying to press every button on my keyboard. Uh, spacebar. I know escape will go back to the main menu, but then that'll... I'm pretty sure that'll cancel out my progress in the ladder if I do that. So don't... 
fuck this. I'm gonna have to. This is a fucking disgrace. Hang on, did the timer change to 99 now? I thought that said 69. Fucking come on! Fix yourself up! I'm mashing the buttons like crazy here. Keyboard. Every button. Press, press, go, go, go. Fucking fuck you. Okay. There we go. I pressed the fucking escape button, you piece of shit game. Couldn't even show off bare sub zeros of a fatality. I guess once I win this fight, if I win, I'll have to show his amazing head decap head decapitation fatality. Fucking god. Blocked it. When you block it, it doesn't make any. Fuck you. Okay, you know what? Purple hit three stage with pumpkins in the background. Why? Is this Halloween? What the hell's going on? Kill me, Frost. It's gonna take a while, I know. Just do it. Well, I thought that Shang Tsung we fought earlier on would have been the... You know, I thought there would have only been like another five, six, seven fights after that, but... Because that's, what's you, cause that's what usually happens when you get to Shang Tsung, but... Yeah, I think it was just a random Shang Tsung we fought, so... It looks like the game did start again, the whole tower. Piece of shit. That's so frustrating, you know, like... It's glitches like that that really... make this game... unrecommendable, but I still do recommend it. If you can push through the bullshit. He's got a kick-ass fatality, Raptor. I'm gonna do it. So... it is... Oops. Fuck! God damn it! It's okay, I'll do it on this fight. If I win. How can they just not let you do a combo? At all, like... Okay, fuck off, take that. Here we go. I don't know what happens there, but... It's a head decapitation fatality with a twist. It's like he throws a grenade at their head. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know what happens. Ooh. Mr. Bean thinks. Wow. No combos. Okay. This isn't a good pick. I don't know anything about this monk. <laughs> Got the cannonball going. Can I spam that? I think it's good if it hits, but yeah, it's, it leaves me vulnerable if it doesn't. Okay, so that monk was a bad choice. Who else have we got? <laughs> Didn't even say shadow. Why is it priests? What's with the plural? There's only one. Round one. What the f See how fast Reptile came towards me? What the hell happened there? Kill me. Man, this game. I'm telling you, it goes on for too long. Too many characters. Wow, she's just going in combo crazy here. Okay. Am I gonna die or...? Don't even know what to say anymore.
<laughs> what the fuck was that? I forgot about that terrible announcement. Sensei! Sensei! Come on, this shit has to be done on purpose. They can't be serious when doing this voice acting for the game. What the hell? Finish that combo. <laughs> Come on! How many fucking characters are there? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna skip it to when we get to the, sh the main Shang Tsung. Fuck this, I'll see you then. I've had enough. Of the glitches and the bullshit. And as you can see, I'm using Kentaro now because I just don't give a fuck. Fuck this game. It's so fucked. Like, I actually, I'm actually starting to really not like it now because of the game, severe game breaking glitches and bugs that are, it's rendering it almost unplayable to me now. Still, if it works, it's good fun. But, ooh, Blaze. Damn, that looks terrible. Look at that sprite. It's just Goro, but he's like flashing. Oh my god. All you gotta do is get them in the corner with Kentaro and press high punch. Look, watch. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Look! How many hits can this go up to? It was like a 12 hit combo. Flawless victory. No game physics, everything's just fucked. It's broken. Round one. This character is a mess as well. Fusion. Oh my god. No! Yes, you know. Yes! Phenomenal! <gasps> I could die. I think I... Fuck you, Shinnok. I'm literally just shaking my head now. It's just... This game is... is literally leaving me speechless. What can you even say to that? I don't even know. Fuck! What the fuck? Okay! Fucking hell. Again? Look at that, it's just a head decapitation fatality and I come back to life. Unspeakable. Reprehensible. All I gotta do though is just spam high punch by the looks of it. Say the name, you stupid announcer, it's Pantherk. Panther K or Pantherk. Or if you wanna follow tradition. Pantherk! However the announcer says it. Get that combo happening. Do it, Panther. It's all you now. You're going to be the Mortal Kombat champion. Whoever the fuck you are. You altered beast clone you. Do it. Why isn't Shinnok dead? The music has stopped. Okay, there we go. I don't think he has any fatalities either. Oh, it said it. It said it. I didn't hear it though. I was talking. I think they said Pantherk. Pantherk, you're gonna do it. You're gonna be the supreme champion of Mortal Kombat. I didn't hear anything. Maybe they only say it on the second round. Is that special? I don't know. Raw Pantherk. Show Shao Kahn. Yeah! Take the uppercut. I'm not gonna lose now to Shao Kahn. Fuck! Ah! Mm! 
fucking I'm doing it. I'm doing it with Panther K. Panther. He's gonna be the supreme champion of Mortal Kombat. To show how fucked up this game is. No, I am something. I am fucking Panther K. Whoever the hell this character is. Block and uppercut. Let's do it. Block and uppercut. Let's do it. Block, uppercut. Again. And one more time. Hell yeah. No, still no announcement. Maybe it has to be the second round. You can do a charge punch. Forward, forward, low punch. Okay, fuck it. It's block and uppercut, it's the only way. Block and uppercut. Block uppercut. Block uppercut. Block uppercut. Raw. Raw. I've got to stop, okay. <laughs> this is so bad. It's just so bad. He's gonna do a final roar before he takes care of Shao Kahn. A couple of roars, maybe one more. Three roars. Let me get that third. Okay, he's not gonna let me. Fuck you. One more. A kick? It said it, it said it. Panther. It's Panther. There you go. So there we have it, guys. That is. Uh, God. Imperial Shao Kahn is no more. You are the Mortal Kombat Chaotic Champion. Fuck this game. Mr. Bean in the middle there. Mark my words, guys. I am never, I never want to play this game ever again. I, I fucking hate it now. I actually hate this game. It's fucked. It's so broken. It's so glitchy. The AI is unspeakable. The characters are bullshit. You know, what's the, what's the deal with some of the characters? Like, I showed you um Dagon, which is like half Sagat and half Johnny Cage. It looks so fucking stupid. Why are they butchering characters like that? Panther? Like, who is this? Who are these characters? And why are they in this game? Nothing in this game makes any sense. It's a fucking disgrace. Now look, the difficulty... What can I say? It's on easy one. Fuck playing this on hard eight. It's disgusting. You can't do anything. Look, maybe you can do it if you know how to exploit the AI. I can't be bothered spending days and days and weeks and weeks on end figuring out that, you know, in order to get the AI to run towards me, I've got to do a neutral jump, then a high kick, when the, and then the AI will run into me, the high kick will land, then I can go into a combo, then I've got to do a sweep that will trigger the AI to run to, you know, fuck that. I just want to play this game, have fun. And I tried putting it on the middle, difficulty medium four and I was getting through it okay but then I came to about the fifth or sixth character and I just couldn't beat it you know it was Jade by the way maybe that was why I was getting fucked up but look in any event I want to have fun playing this I don't want stress anymore it's on easy one but I'm gonna show you who I will be using for this playthrough I'm gonna use about five different characters the first one will be this character here Aqua. <laughs> this character. This character is fucked. Okay? This character is bullshit. I love this character. Why? Well, I don't. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain this character. Look, I had to actually download this character separately and put it into this game. In this character slot here, which I'm hovering over, where Aqua, where Aqua is, 
you know, originally it was actually Mortal Kombat 1 Johnny Cage, but I fucked him off and downloaded this character separately and put it into this game because I simply must show this character. You can think of this character as Daffy Duck becoming a ninja, alright? Look at that mask. That looks like a yellow ninja mask, yeah? Wrong. That is actually a duck's beak, okay? <laughs> okay? Literally, that is a duck's beak. I don't want to talk anymore, fuck. <laughs> I'm losing it already. This is just... This character's fucked, okay? So let's go on to the next one. Now, the final character I'm going to show... I simply must showcase this character. <laughs> look, look at it! Look at it! <laughs> Cobra! This is the first time I've seen Cobra in a Mugen Mortal Kombat game. God damn. All I'll need to see now is Bo Rai Cho and then my life will be complete. Cobra, what can I say? Uh, you know, one of the most disgusting characters in Mortal Kombat history. Not even, doesn't even belong in the Mortal Kombat universe. It's Ken from Street Fighter. I know I always say that, but whoever made this is a genius because, oh, look. Enough talk, guys. I'm going to show you all the bullshit as we get started. So, I'll play as... Daffy Duck Ninja or Aqua straight off the bat. Let's do it. And yep, we'll go single course. Now, why is this character the Daffy Duck? A Daffy Duck Ninja? I'll show you. Look, look at this move. <laughs> okay, it has the same properties as. Okay, let's do a fatality. And he's got like falcon talons on his hands or some shit, I don't know. He's only got three moves. You can actually press start and it will bring up the moves list for each character. But this is the move that sets him apart. This is why... Look at that move! Why does he quack? Why the fuck does it sound like a duck? What the hell's going on? <laughs> it's... I don't know what to say. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Look at that! That's his friendship. Plays the model. <laughs> it's. Oh, I I don't know what's going on. Whoever created this character is an absolute genius. You know, I if. I want to see this character in Mortal Kombat 11. Just give him some new moves. Keep that. That is essential. Fuck. Look at this. Okay. It's an easy one, but it's still fucked. Get the hell out of here. Uh, I guess I have to. Let's do Cobra. Show me what you've got, Ken. Surprisingly, he's actually not a bad character, but if you look at Cobra's sprite closely and you've played the Street Fighter the movie fighting game, you will know that his character sprite is basically Ken, okay, from that game. This is quite literally Ken from Street Fighter. I love it. Absolute genius, whoever's done this. Fucking look at that! I can't even get in! Fuck's sake! Alright. This character's pissing me off. Kind of not. I mean, both of them are, but. Yeah, do a fireball, Cobra. Look at that. He's quite slow and clunky to play as. It's hard to explain, you won't know. Unless you've played as him yourself. Jesus. Just gonna have to cheap it up here and... Oh my god. Yes. Oh! Mm. Mm. I 
Okay. Uh... So, yep, as you can see, his friendship, he actually turns into Ken from Street Fighter. That is amazing. You know, if I created a Mugen Mortal Kombat game, this is pretty much how I'd envision Cobra. Plays like shit. You know, he's not bad, he's got some combos and decent moves and stuff, but... Oh, just look at him. It's just terrible. This whole character needs to be wiped off. The Mortal Kombat friend. He's fucked. Okay, let's do... A crappy fatality. Flawless victory. Fate. Boring fatality. His other fatalities, he rips out his opponent's heart. Just a, a Kano rip-off. Nothing special there. Alright, I'll play one more match as Cobra, and then that will do it. Mm, do that flip kick, Cobra, look at that. Hell yeah. Look at, look at this move. <laughs> Like, this is, it's fun, but it's just, it's so bad, you know. Alright. Let's do his other fatality. Rip that heart out. I didn't know cyber sort of characters even had a heart, but there you go. You learn something new every day playing Mortal Kombat. Okay, so now I'm going to die on Reiko. And the animalities, I mean, for Cobra it sucks. I should have done it for Aqua, Daffy Duck Ninja though. What do you what do you think he turns into for his animality? Of course, it's a fucking duck. And it quacks. Yeah, so look, he's got a teleport down up. Look look at this. I just can't fucking do it. It works when it wants to, you know? Disgraceful. Needs a bit of work this game, but it's really fun. I like it. Jesus. Okay, looks like I'm not going to be able to run in and... That's a cool move. Gee, yep, I knew I was going to die there. Ah, oh, fuck. It's Jade. Why is Jade so fucked? Look at this. Okay, that wasn't... Look at that! She hasn't changed a bit. The throw as soon as you run in or a combo. Fucking hell. I love Jade. She's a great character, but man, she is a pain in the ass to fight against. This is going to be a tough fight. Look... Man. On the contrary, look at Shinnok's teleport. You can go crazy with it. Look how fast he goes. The AI is so confused. <laughs> Whereas trying to do that with Sang, even though it's just the same down up, just doesn't work. I don't get it. Alright, here we go. Looks like I've just discovered a glitch, right? Okay, let's just leave him there, see what happens. What other moves does... Yeah, I've pretty much showed all of Shinnok's moves. Get down. So, I'd like to finish the game with one of the asinine characters instead. So I'll finish the game with Cobra. That sounds fitting, doesn't it? Or Daffy Duck Ninja Aqua? I don't know. Got to think about it. Now, check out this fatality. 
Well, it's actually an animality, according to the game. But as you can see, that's uh, one of those things from that game portal. Weird. Good night. Good night. Now watch, look. Animality. What the hell? How is that an animality? Very bizarre game. Very bizarre. Okay, Sheng Sung. Hit me. Hit me. Fuck you. God. Yeah, that was terrible. Okay, Cyrex is probably a bad choice, maybe. Fuck! Damn it! Fucking look at that! <laughs> Try again. What the fuck was that? What is that? I'm holding back and run. What does that do? Never seen that before. Okay, that's... Yep. I wonder if she can do it as... The other cyborg characters. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. Why am I back as Sector? Okay, no, he's gonna block it. Good on ya, Shang Tsung. Well done. Let's go. Enough fucking around. Okay, so... Aqua or Cobra? What do you reckon? Let's make Cobra the champion of Mortal Kombat. And I'm gonna choose him in a crappy ass cut. Look at that. Purple. Fuck you, Cobra. And that's it, guys. Cobra wins. Unfortunately, there's no ending. So I might have to make up my own ending for Cobra. Alright, hey guys, it's GSTAR321 here, and today we are playing Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub Zero for the PlayStation. <sighs> I don't even know where to start with this game, okay? When it first came out, it received very, very negative reviews from game websites which basically said that this game sucked ass. Mortal Kombat fans said that this game sucked ass. And for the most part, I agree with them, okay? This game does suck ass. They also made Mortal Kombat Special Forces, which is just one of the worst games I've ever played in my entire life, okay? I will not even play that in terms of doing like a review or quick playthrough. I'm just not even going near that, okay? Because I'm afraid if I do, I'll just be screaming into the microphone the whole time, okay? Just getting so angry, so I'm not even going to touch that. But we'll focus on this one, okay? Mortal Kombat Mythologies. Like I said, it received very, very negative reviews. I think it's okay, all right? Mortal Kombat fans seem to, you know, the, the hardcore Mortal Kombat fans seem to like this game, okay? Because of the story. Personally, I couldn't give a fuck about the story, all right? After Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, the story just went to, to shit for me, okay? I, I totally lost interest. I didn't care what was happening, you know? People kept getting resurrected, you know? Souls were being put together and, you know, fucking Ermac was... Wasn't wasn't Ermac like a combination of all dead souls or some bullshit? Like, you know, it was just getting out of control for me. I prefer stories that are just simple and straight to the point, okay? Probably if I actually focused a bit more, you know, paid attention, I, I could probably enjoy the story of this game a little bit more, alright? I Honestly, I don't even know what's going on, okay? It's something about Quan Chi and P Portals and Shinnok and some other bullshit, okay? It's a very short game, 
and it's hard as fuck, okay? This game is hard as shit. It's just, oh man, I'm going to go crazy playing this game, okay? I, I, I'm already getting angry. I'm just about to like punch my sofa chair just thinking about some of the shit that goes on in this game, okay? The pitfalls are just unforgiving and just fucking bullshit, okay? I played it through once, that's it, okay? I'm done. I'm going to play it through one more time just for you guys, but after that, I will probably never ever play this game again, okay? And that's the thing, there's no replay value. Once you play it, there's nothing left to do, okay? You've seen everything, that's it. There's, there's no reason to go back through it again, okay? So, it's it's short, it's a short game, okay, there's eight levels, and they're all quite short once you know how to get through them. Obviously, what makes the game last longer is the fact that you will constantly die multiple, multiple fucking times each level, and you will continue over and over and over again, okay? It's just, each level is just a test of your patience, trial and error, and unforgiving pitfall bullshit, okay? I'm getting angry. I'm fucking... Oh, alright. You will fail. <laughs> <laughs> Love that intro, okay? You just somersault into the fucking temple. Scorpion's there and says you will fail. Those words couldn't be more true when playing this game, okay? You are gonna fail and fail and fail at everything. Pitfalls, getting fucked up by enemies, trying to figure out what to do and just getting stuck for hours on end and being forced to look up walkthroughs to get through it, okay? This game is going to kick your ass, alright? And you're going to see it all happening here. Now, because this is a Mortal Kombat game, I want to show you something, alright? I'm going to round, roundhouse kick this monk. Just watch what he does. I'll do it again. Watch again. Try it again. Alright? Wait till he stops. Try it again. Okay, so the AI is just fucking bullshit in this. What the hell? Where'd this monk come from? There's two. Oh, I'm gonna die. This is fucking ridiculous. It's okay. I'm just explaining shit. Now, one of the most frustrating aspects of this whole game is the fact that. Okay, look, there's a monk to my left there, okay? If I jump over him, you see how Sub Zero doesn't turn to look to his right? Look. Okay, I'll jump over him again. He doesn't automatically turn, okay, unless you get hit like that. See how he f keeps facing this way, even though there is a monk to the left to fight, okay? In order to face the monk, okay, you have to manually press the L2 button, which actually turns him around, okay? So if I press it, see? You have no idea how frustrating this is in the midst of battle, okay? It is just fucked. You know, you'll jump over a monk and you'll be fa like, say the monk's to my right. I'll be doing this, you know, and the monk is to my right. And I have to quickly stop and press left trigger to turn and then start. And, you know, by the time I've done all that, the monk's already uppercutted me and wasted fucking a quarter of my health. So that is my most major pet hate with this game, okay? The L2 button in terms of turning him around like this. You can make him do a cool dance if you keep pressing it fast enough, but it doesn't serve much of a purpose anyway. Get under that thing. Oops. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Fuck off, where are these monks coming from? Get get in that... There we go. If you get stuck in the middle of those two... These two things, okay? See how you get flung back when it hits you? The pro problem is... If it flings you back, you'll get squashed by the other one, okay? The first time I tried this, you have no idea how many times I died. Alright, I must have spent fucking 20 minutes trying to get past that shit alone. Fucking bullshit. Oh god, okay. Fly kicks are basically off limits. You see what it... Mm! God, this fucking AI. God, it wasn't, it wasn't enough that they had to make the games hard enough, you know, the AI in MK1, 2 and 3. They had to make it fucking bullshit in this game as well. So like I said, roundhouse kicks are off limits because they'll just sweep you immediately. Jump kicks for the most part are totally off limits because they'll just jump kick you instead. You know, so that's another thing that's sort of disappointing about this game. You have to just kill these monks via a fixed pattern of just the six hit combo bullshit. Or run in and do the throw or something, you know. 
And a lot of the bosses are like that as well, you know, they just have vulnerabilities that you exploit, okay, that they're... You know, they'll be weak to, say for example, just spamming roundhouse kick over and over and over again, okay? It's just ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Now this is the level that almost broke me the first time I played this game, okay? This level has some of the most unforgiving and unholy jumps I've ever seen in a video game before in my life, okay? It's fucking bullshit. I can't even explain it, alright? It's something that you just have to see as we get playing here. Straight off the bat, this monk is just going ape shit. Take care of him. Six hit combo, his ass. Another one. Fuck out of here. Ugh, don't knock me off already, okay? This, okay, this level I expect to lose a shitload of lives and maybe even a few continues, okay? I've got four lives. You think that's enough? Well, you're wrong, okay? And you're gonna see why in a minute. Okay, here we go. We've just got a checkpoint, and for good fucking reason, okay? This part, the first time I played it, okay, I must have died, no joke, about 15, 16 times, okay? And all my continues were gone. I think I... Oh, I can't even... You know... God, I just want to fucking shoot that fucking windmill shit. Blow it up or some shit, okay? So many bad memories coming from this shit. Okay, look, I'm just going to try and be calm and do this, alright? As you can see, we've got this rotating wooden fucking piece of shit going around, okay? We need to jump onto it at the specific moment that it comes past us. In order to do that, you need to jump just the fraction second before it passes you, okay? So let's try and do it here. Wait, oh, fuck him. <laughs> I was going to fuck up already. Okay, I like to just do a... I'll show you what I'm going to do, okay? For this one, I like to just jump, press up like that, and then hold forward, okay? And sort of work my, my way onto it. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Now. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's just try it again. Fuck! I hate this level! Ugh. Punch it! Shit! Okay, let's just, uh... Okay, good. Alright. Oh, fuck, that was close. I almost died. <sighs> okay, we got through that. That isn't even the hard part of this level, okay? If this is your first time playing, and, you know, you have no idea how to do that. I pretty much just explain how to do it, alright? Which should make it a bit easier for you guys. But if you're playing that for the first time, alright, and you try and get past those windmill spinning things there, you are going to die so many times, okay? And you are going to lose all your continues. You'll have to restart the fucking game or load your save game, put in the password, whatever. Okay. And the monks go down. Oh! Got it. Oh no! Oh, 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 shit. This is tight, okay? Ah! No! God. No, and these checkpoints, I mean, look, it's not that far, but. I just wish they had some checkpoints a bit closer to where you were, you know what I mean? I mean, here it's not too bad, but trust me, later on when we progress through the game, later levels, there will be certain sections where you just wish there were checkpoints, okay? Trust me. It's gonna drive you fucking mad. <sighs> Alright. Okay, phew, checkpoint. Alright, so we've got more of this windmill bullshit, okay, with the rotating wooden stick thing. It's like a big fucking wooden spoon that just rotates around. I have no idea how to describe that, okay? Alright. That's okay, we got a checkpoint there, okay? I'm not too worried about that. Alright. 
Okay. There's another one. Got to time the jump as soon as I see the stick on the right. Ah! Oh my god! Okay, well there goes a fucking continue. That's okay, we still get the checkpoint there. Oh god, look, I'm not even... Alright, focus, focus. You, you've really got to focus for this shit, okay? Alright, here we go. Okay, so within the first few seconds of the level, you're greeted by this hole here, okay? These holes are the main pitfalls you'll be encountering throughout this level. Alright, they constantly open and close like that. What happens if you go down? You get fucked up by that spike there, okay, and you die. So straight away upon starting this level, okay, you learn that those holes are bad and to be avoided at all costs. Alright? Okay, so there's another hole that's appeared, okay? Naturally, after falling through the first hole and dying, you realize that they're bad, so you'll jump over and continually progress to the right, okay? However, if you go down this hole, have a look. There's three fucking items here to pick up, okay? <sighs> Let me just pick them up first. <sighs> so, you know, why would the game do that? Upon the first three seconds of the game, you fall down a hole and you die, okay? Then you come to another hole another three seconds later, and it's got items down there. So what? what is the game trying to tell me, okay? Are the holes safe or unsafe? You don't know, okay? And the only way to find out is to go down every single fucking hole that you encounter, okay? Trial and error bullshit. It's just unacceptable. Why would a game make you do that, okay? Have some sort of camera where I can, you know, move the camera around and maybe have a look down the hole, see if it's safe that way, as opposed to jumping down, dying, okay? Starting back at the beginning, coming back, jumping over this hole, and you know, say if there was a hole here, falling down that one and dying again, starting back at the fucking beginning. You know, it's just, that's why this level, okay, the first time I went through it, I died so many times. And it's not because this level's hard, this is actually, I'd probably say this is the easiest level in the game, okay, or one of the easiest, next to level one that is, alright? It's only hard because of these holes, okay? <sighs> anyway, we'll continue on here. We need to get the key first, okay? And to get that, we go to the right. Fuck! Damn it, you fuck! <sighs> this fucking monk again? Oh my god. Take care of him. Mmm! Damn, it's got this fucking stick, I hate that shit. Alright. Another crusher, jump through that. Oh, you don't... <laughs> Fuck. This is the fourth time I've encountered this monk, I'm sick of seeing him. God, get the fuck out. Just stay dead, you piece of shit. Mm, sweeps. Spamming the sweeps. Fuck, ow. Let's use the key. Alright, and we can go through the door. There'll be a couple of monks along here, so we'll take care of them. Oh, God, the sweeping bullshit with the stick. I hate that. Do a different fucking move. Look at him. He's just... Look at that. That's all he does. He just sweeps me. Fucking cheap fuck. These monks with the sticks are horrible. The fuck out. Die. Just get out. Alright. Now this is real fucking tight here, okay? I gotta jump in there, try and grab the one up and get out before it crushes me. Actually, I might get on the other side and do it because it's a bit awkward there. God. Mmm! Oh, yeah. God, what the fuck? Get in there, you fuck. Mm! Look at this, how am I... Oh, God. Oh! I didn't just walk. Why can't I just walk over it and collect it? Why do I have to fucking press the L1 button? It's such shit. Oh! 
Oh, I survived. I survived. It's okay. Oh god, I have no idea how I survived that. My god. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. We've got to do it. We have to do it. Oh god. All right. So it's a gentle jump. All right. Got to do it at the specific moment. Oh, I could have done it there if I just. Look at this. This is horrible! Why make so little time to collect this? Okay, good. Hold left when you fall down this hole. Now this level to me is the most boring level in the whole game, okay? And the most fucking confusing. <sighs> As you can see, we're in some sort of sewers area, okay? If you go to the right, there's a rope which you can go down and that will take you to the lower levels. Why is it boring? Okay, well look at this, okay? Just take note of this screen, and if I go to the right, take note of this screen. Now, I've just showed you this whole level in its entirety, okay? This is all it looks like. Just the same shit over and over again, okay? These fucking ropes which just take you down and up, you know, different levels of the sewer, and just going through sort of, you know, running along these metal gratings and shit. That's all it is. That's the whole level, okay? They got real fucking lazy when they were developing this level. It just looks like shit. And it's very confusing, okay? Because it looks the same everywhere. You don't know where you've been. You don't know where to go, okay? It's a mess, alright? And this is sort of where I wish they implemented some sort of map system. You know, just so you know where you've been and you're not fucking backtracking the same area ten times over. Getting totally lost, okay? Hate that shit. You know, imagine trying to play Castlevania Symphony of the Night without a map. Exactly. It's just fucking bullshit, okay? So let's take care of this fucker. Let's get the fuck out, you... Fuck off, you AI program jump kick bullshit! Look at that! Oh god, get the fuck out. Oh god, so... Oh, for f how do I get up there if he's just pro- Look at this! I've got an eel zapping my ass. I try to jump and he just- Oh man. What am I supposed to do, okay? How do you counter the AI? Do I do a jump freeze? Or try that. This eel here is just pissing me off. Okay, I got him. Get your ass down in that fucking eel. Take that shit. Yeah, take it. What the hell? What the fuck is going on? I don't know. I don't know what just happened there. Okay, that was real weird. Some sort of glitch bullshit. Oh, get How much damage does that shit take away? Oh my god. This game is a piece of shit. Well, look. At least I've got that fucking item. So. I don't need to go down that way again. I'm probably just going to use the urns, okay? I don't really give a fuck. Alright, so here's the first key. We'll pick that up. And there's a monk there. Alright. What the fuck? Oh my god, you fucking asshole. God damn it. What the f... I hate this shit. You try and jump and... Look at this, okay? You try and jump and they just jump kick you. So what you gotta do is go over here on the absolute edge, do a freeze. All right, now you can go over. Fucking asshole! The hell out! How many monks are there? And what are they doing in sewers? Okay, shouldn't they be in the fucking Shaolin Temple? You know they really need a map system for this level. This is bullshit. It all looks the same. Just these fucking ropes and. Sewer areas. Look at this. That's a fucking dead end as well. It's just confusing, okay? This level took me so fucking long the first time I did it. Just fucking bullshit. Okay, so no. I think down. Oh, God! God, I. Okay, alright. Alright, so, I think this is the way. Yep, this looks right. 
What am I talking about? Yep, this looks looks right. It all looks the fucking same. How do I know? Okay, I think it's... Where, where the fucking... Oh my god! I didn't even press to fucking jump off. This rope bullshit is so sensitive, okay? One tap of either left or right on the D-pad will send you flying. And you gotta go do all this shit again. Just give me a checkpoint so I don't have to keep doing this. Fuck this. Look at it. Oh, just get down there, you fuck. Oh. Fucking monks again, okay? Yep, yeah, we'll just take care of you for the 50th time. How many fucking combos do they take? Three combos now to take down. Two and a half. Get your ass off the edge. Oh shit, fuck, I almost ran off. Oh, you fuck, get out. What the hell? Where are they coming from? What the f get off! You fucking assholes! Oh, God! <laughs> Why? This game is fucked. Why am I playing this? I don't know. Okay, let's go left. I'm not even gonna take care of the monks, I'm done. I've already fought them fucking ten times each. They can kiss my ass. Alright, now what you gotta do here is just jump on this thing, okay? And the water will begin to rise like that, okay? And you just sort of wait. You can amuse yourself by doing this ridiculous dance if you want, okay? I don't know, just keep tapping the L2 button. All you do here is just wait for this fucking slow as shit thing. Oh, God. Get over there. Alright, so we jump over to the left here and bang, there's the triangle key. Checkpoint, thank fucking god. Damn. Needed a checkpoint badly. If I, if I died again and had to go down all those ropes again, fuck, I think I would have just turned the game off, okay? I think that would have been it for me. End the fucking walkthrough videos right here. This game can go to hell. Alright, so, where? Look at Look how quick their spawn time is. It's fucking bullshit. They just, you kill them, they just come, you know, if you move fucking two inches to the right, they just respawn again. What is that shit? If I kill him, he should just fucking stay dead, okay? And like I said, what the fuck are monks doing down in the sewers anyway? Alright, and that is once again over. L look at him, he's chasing me! Okay, I've taken care of this monk, I fucking think about 20 times now. Let's see if he spawns again. Just, just look at this, okay? I run to the right and go back to the left. Oh, okay, so he's not going to spawn now. He just spawns when he wants to. Or when he knows I'm pissed off, okay? The game must have a fucking pissed off sensor. It just knows when I'm getting the shits. And they spawn monks. Alright, so I think it's... God. Whatever. I've got a checkpoint there, so I don't care. Alright, so we go down here now. Oh, okay, this is real bullshit, okay? Sometimes you can jump over... Over... Fucking eels, get off me! Try and explain something, you fucks. Yeah, sometimes you can uh, jump over those middle poles, and sometimes you can't. It's fucking weird like that, okay? It's really inconsistent. But for the most part, this platform's just gonna keep going left and right, okay? So... Your best bet is probably just to wait for this thing, okay, and play it safe. As opposed to trying to... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you fucking ass fuck. Now, I have to use a fucking herb. Oh, and I've got to wait. Can't I just grab it midair? What is this? Oh, fuck. 
Alright, so I've got to wait for this fucking platform to go back because I've got to pick up the item manually by pressing the L1 button as opposed to just jumping over it. Okay, let me guess. You're going to fucking jump kick? Oh, okay, well, you didn't. Oh, God, you fucking asshole. Get off the edge, you fucking. Damn it. Oh, God, whatever. Let's see if we can. Okay, so I'm still getting fucked up. What the hell? I got. That was fucking stupid. What happened? I didn't even turn invisible. Or is it as soon as you hit someone, you lose the invisibility? I don't know. Fuck, whatever. Oh, God. Fucking ass. Fuck. Alright, i got to focus for this shit, okay? It's just running hit, six hit combo spam bullshit to take care of this guy. And that, that move's real fucking annoying if you get caught in it, okay? What the hell? How many times are you doing that? Look at this! I think I can see the guy's dick there as well. That's not cool. Fucking hell, this is a horrible boss fight. Visually and mechanically. Get the fuck out. Oh, you fuck. What else have I got? Item-wise. Oh, I've got a shield. You know what? I might just use that. I just don't give a fuck. Fuck, I hate that move. <laughs> to heal. Look at him! Get off me, you fuck! Look at this. What the fuck? Just fuck off, I'm done with you. Yes, there we go. Damn it. Alright, so shitty ass, bland boss fight, but he's taken care of. And that's it for this level. And we can go up here. Ooh! God, you're gonna have... I might try and take care of this fucker without healing. I'm gonna risk it, because I think when you go into the boss... Like, if I was to go into the boss fight now, I think your health replenishes. I'm not sure about that. Ooh. But I'm gonna... Oh, you fucking cock. Get the... <clears throat> oh! <clears throat> yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's, okay. it's only one life, it's okay. Alright. Oh, God, fucking... Get the fuck out. Oh, okay, just block everything. There goes my whole meter, I can't even do another freeze. I'm gonna have to take care of this guy. Through normal combos and shit. Oh, fuck's sake. Yes! Get- Oh shit, what the hell? You see how long this- Get off me! <laughs> and he's like the big monks from the previous level. Can't duck the freeze. Suck shit. But yeah, as you can see, okay, they take a beating to go down. Alright, if you watched my video of level 2, okay, remember the Fujin boss fight, alright? When you actually drain all of his energy, all of his life, he goes into the middle of the screen and starts sucking you in with his wind attack, alright? And the only way to escape it was by running all the way to the right and ducking, okay, at, at the very edge of the platform. And like I said, how the fuck are you supposed to know to do that shit, okay? This level contains another similar cryptic horseshit moment that is just impossible to figure out on your own, okay? I actually got stuck playing through it the first time because of that moment. I had no idea how to progress, okay? So I was forced to go online and look up a walkthrough. And you know what? If I didn't look up that walkthrough, I would never have gotten past this level, okay? I repeat, I would never have gotten past this level. It is just fucking bullshit, okay? It is quite possibly the most fucked up shit I've ever seen in a video game, period, alright? 
This moment takes the cake and makes you wish you never played this game in the first place. You thought that Fujin shit was bad? Well wait till you see this. Uh, look, I'm trying to control myself here because I am going to talk about it later in this video and I'm probably going to go fucking crazy and just lose my shit, alright? So let me just go progress here, alright? Calm down. Alright. So these enemies... Oh shit, what am I doing? Double freeze shit. Mm, get off me. These fucking big oafs. Oh. Look at him, what the fuck is that? Executioner type enemy or some shit, I don't know. They're quite strong as well. I don't have my... My freeze meter is a bit... Shit at this point, so... Oh my god, three... Th three of those six hit combos. Fuck. That was about four of those six hit combos to take that fucker down. God damn. I've really got to fucking just chill for a bit and regenerate my freeze meter. But I'm just gonna... Oh wow, he's dead already. Okay, that didn't take too long. Oh fuck, I didn't pick up that... Mm, damn. There was a herb there, I missed it. Now this music, I fucking love this shit, okay? Oh, shh. Be careful here, okay, because these soldier enemies have got fucking... Oh! <laughs> Damn! I was getting a bit too carried away there. Alright, so... This lift, okay, look at this, alright? This is actually a lift that goes up, alright? G means, I think that means we're on the ground floor. 1 means level 1, which is up there, okay? So, naturally, alright, you'll probably navigate to your key, alright? Level 1 key. This key gives its user access to level 1. So, look what happens when I try to use it, okay, to go up the lift. Absolutely nothing, okay? So, I was, I didn't know if I was doing something wrong here, you know? Like, why isn't it allowing me to use the key? Do I have to stand over here and use it? Alright, no, that doesn't work. I actually ran to the lift all the way to the left as well. There's actually another lift back there, okay? And tried it there, it didn't work. I tried pressing up because that's sort of your natural instinct, you know, to go up the lift. That wasn't working. I was totally fucking stuck, okay? I had no idea how to progress here. I must have ran through the level ten times over, back and forward, trying to work out how to get up this fucking lift, okay? I was jump... you know, I started just doing this, just jumping down, okay, because I thought there might be some cryptic hidden fucking lower ledge somewhere. Unfortunately, that was not the case, okay? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I gotta fucking focus here, alright. What the hell? Oh my god. Just jump over there, you f I'm tr <laughs> It's because of this fucker over there. Oh my... <sighs> Look, I'm not going to get angry at this point because... Mm! Okay, good. Good up. Get up there. Oh, don't you fucking knock me off after all that. That was... That was terrible, okay? Now back to what I was saying about this horrible lift, okay? <sighs> I had to use a walkthrough to continue. I was 100% stuck. I could not go any further. Alright, you want to know how to get up that lift? Take a guess. Just just guess, alright? Do you think it's up? No. Do you think it's using the key, like I said? No. Oh, fuck, I just used an urn there, okay? I'm just going crazy at this point, whatever. This is how you do it, okay? You press the use button and which is L1, alright, and high kick at the same time. <sighs> Does that... And look, to go back down, you press L1 and low punch at the same time. How the fuck are you supposed to figure that out on your own? It doesn't tell you to do that. Look, you go to the item here, all it says is it's a level 1 key card, that's it. How are you supposed to know? Tell me, alright? Was, is it in the manual or something? I don't know. I don't have the manual. You shouldn't have to refer to the manual just to 
just do some basic fucking thing in the game like going up or down a lift seriously that is quite possibly the most fucked up shit I've ever seen in the game okay when I figured out that that's what you have to do you know what I actually just laughed to myself because it's ridiculous how do, how do you know to do that oh, this is just fucking ass take care of this fucking soldier before I lose my shit you know that's like let me just pause this shit, okay, because I'm losing it. That's like at the start of the game, right, where it says start and options. And in order to start the game, you don't press start or fucking X. You know what you press? You press up, up, down, down, right, 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 up, 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 down, down, L1, 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 R1, L1, R1, down, 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 right, up, down, right. And then that starts the game, okay? That's what it's like. I know that's a bit of an extreme analogy, but that's what I fucking feel like, okay? That's what it fucking feels like. There's the level 2 key card. We've got a checkpoint. Fucking over this level. That's that's quite possibly the worst shit I've ever seen, okay? Who the fuck programmed that control anyway? They should be fired immediately and never allowed to work on another Mortal Kombat game. Ever. That is just totally unacceptable. And we'll go up the lift by pressing L1 and high kick at the same time. Take care of this fucker. Alright. So we will need that item, like I said, to complete this level. Do not forget it, okay? Alright, now we can continue back to the right. Oh. <sighs> Fuck. That's okay. Mission objective, cross the bridge of immortality to reach Shinnok's fortress. Now this level's fucking bullshit, okay? Like a lot of levels in this game, I got stuck playing this, okay? I had no idea where to go, what to do, I was forced to go online and look up a fucking walkthrough. I don't even know why I bother keep playing this game, okay? After the second and third level, I was fucking done, okay? This game broke me. I don't know why I keep playing it, or why I'm playing it now, okay? But this level just contains so... Look at that! How did that guy just appear there, alright? I walked two meters to the right. This level contains more cryptic horse shit, okay? Like I said, I got stuck the first time playing it. This is the only level in the game that does not contain a boss fight. The same enemies as you can see. Let me just... Mm, this damn freeze meter, just get up there. Hate this level. God, just hurry up! Well, at least he was waiting patiently to die. Alright, there we go. So we'll run to the right here, okay? And the first thing you encounter is this jump. So within the first five seconds of the game, alright, this is where the game fucks you over. Now, naturally, you'll think to go to the right here, alright? Wrong! Don't do that! What do you have to do? Well, of course! Jump down here and find this ledge here. How the fuck are you supposed to know this, okay? The first time I went through this level, I completely bypassed this, okay? And once you get all the way to the end, you reach a door, okay? This level, you got to pick up three keys, and when you get to that end door, you have to use those three keys on the door, okay? I only had two keys out of three, and I could not backtrack to this area. I had to start the fucking level over again, okay? Why is there so much cryptic shit in this game, okay? Just look at this. Hang on, look. Let me go up here for a second, okay? You saw, when we dropped down there, okay, there was no indication whatsoever that we could fall down there safely, okay? Like I said, why not just give us a camera angle view where we can look down, okay? But if we go here, look, there's these lights or some shit to the left indicating we can go there. And same here, look, there's a light, okay, indicating, okay, maybe there's something there. Let's jump. Why is it so cryptic at the beginning, but then they make it easier later on, okay? This game is a joke. You know, in the first video, I actually said that I thought this game was pretty decent. Man, I have changed my mind since then, okay? This game is fucking ass, and it stinks, alright? <sighs> alright, so we've got this fucking dinosaur, alright? Like I said, all the bosses have vulnerabilities to exploit. 
with the dinosaur, you just keep jump kicking that fucker, okay? You'll take hits every now and again when he does his ram attack, but for the most part... Oh, shit. Okay, you should... Oh, at least there's a checkpoint here, okay? And this level, I don't know, just looks so bland as well. But man, wait till you see the last level, okay? They got real fucking lazy with that level, okay? It looks the same, it looks like shit. It looks worse than level 4 in the sewers, okay? At least in the sewers it had shit there, so it made sense, but the last level is a joke, alright? There is no strategy whatsoever, okay? Who the fuck programmed this game? You know, if this was not a Mortal Kombat game, okay? Let me just grab this fucking key. Another checkpoint as well. And heal. Yeah, you know, if this was not a Mortal Kombat game, who the fuck would play this? You know, imagine if you're just playing as some totally unknown character. Would you care about this game? I sure as fuck wouldn't. I probably wouldn't even play it for more than five minutes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so this guy's a bit harder, he's got a machine gun. I don't know, whatever. Oh, fuck off, you... Whatever, just herbs. Stop knocking me into that force field, I've got to keep manually turning around by pressing L2. It's so fucking annoying. This game is horrible! <laughs> so if you progress all the way to the right... Okay. Let me just kill this fucking ass fuck first. Hang on. Get out! Okay, now if you just keep going all the way to the right, naturally, you'll only have two keys, okay, because there's no more bosses, sub-bosses to take care of to the right. What you need to do, once again, is fall down here. <laughs> you know what, that's probably the best result. I'd rather fucking die than keep playing this shit. But yeah, you gotta fall down there, okay? Whatever, I missed the jump. I don't even care about these soldiers anymore. I don't care about this game anymore. There we go. What the fuck? Look at this, I can't move! Are you telling me I'm going to have to wait till my health depletes all the way before I can keep going? Just give me a suicide button or something. Look at this. How did this happen? This game is a broken, fucked up mess, okay? Look at this shit. The only time I want to actually die quickly, it's taken fucking forever. This game is absolutely fucking terrible. Alright, so basically you gotta jump down from the second platform, okay, to avoid this fucking bullshit happening. Look, I can't even move. I can't even move left. I can't move right to sort of just navigate my way to a different area. Run, block, punch buttons, kick buttons, they all do nothing. Uh, 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 this is not. Uh, okay, yep. What's going on? I'm dead. Look at this. Look at this. Fuck. I don't want to do this level again. Alright, well look, the game's obviously glitched, I have to get out, okay, and go back to the menu and start this shit again. <sighs> I'm only going to continue from this point on, okay? Alright, so we're back.
and we're at the same area. Don't drop down this first platform, okay? I made that fucking mistake. I glitched myself to death. Oh, I didn't even die. Just fucking cryptic bullshit. That's all this game is, okay? How the hell is anyone supposed to play this game without using a fucking guide? Seriously. Seriously, thinking about it now, I've used a walkthrough about four or five times just to get through this game, okay? And it's not because I suck at the game, it's because this game is just fucked, okay? <sighs> Whatever, I don't even care if I get hit by these things. You know, there was a point where I was playing where I expected up to just duck and down to jump, you know? Who, who knows, that could have happened, you know, they just changed the control scheme throughout mid-game. Ah, oh, whatever, I don't care. Yep, just go. This is it, I'm done, just keep going. Alright, so here's the door, and what we need to do is use all three keys. Bang. Oh, okay, I just used a fucking herb! That's great! Oh, I just, I, I tapped down once! Why did it go down twice? Fuck this game! Oh, this game is just... Okay, just use the keys, just use them. One, two, and went down twice again. Why? Okay, just let's just try this again. Key, one. Look at this! Why is it going down twice? Okay, let's try up then. We'll start on this key. One. Okay, finally. So there goes an urn wasted. It probably would have been good for the next level, okay? But this is the end. We'll go through this door. There's no final boss. Let's get the fuck out of this hellhole. This level sucks, okay? It's pretty much like level... F oh, God, look. Look at this. I don't even have time to... Look at this! <sighs> okay? This level is... Get off! I'm gonna die within the first five... I can. Get out! Where's the next one? Come. Hurry up. Okay, so you don't want to come... Okay, there you are. Okay. Look at this! How many are there?! Get off me! I... God, I don't have my freeze meter! I... Look at this! I've died twice within the first 20 seconds of this level. <laughs> Look at this! This game is a mess. I can't even freeze this. Okay, look, obviously these guys are fucked. Now, let me just talk about this level, okay? This level is fucked, okay? If you watch my video on level 4, the sewers, okay? I raged about that because the environment looks exactly the same throughout the entire level. You don't know where you've been. You don't know where to go. It's confusing to navigate. You know, it needed a fucking map system. You know what? That's exactly the same as this level, okay? <clears throat> All the same fucking problems are here. You don't know where you've been, you don't know where to go, it all looks the same. It's a fucking mess, okay? Let me just continue on to the right here. I'm not even bothering with any of these enemies, okay? Fuck them. So, all this level entails is going up these lifts, okay? By pressing L1 and high kick. Remember that shit? Fucking, I'm sure you do, okay? That's cryptic in itself, okay? But that's nothing compared to the bullshit you're going to see in this level. So look at this, it all looks the same, okay? There's all these lifts that go up and down, and you know, you don't know... You don't know which lift you've been, okay? There's like three or four levels of each of these fucking towers. It's a mess, okay? But basically the goal of this level is to go through these big-ass doors, and you've got to take care of Quan Chi's bodyguards here, okay? Those three chicks. Let me check what move I got. Freeze on contact. Down, forward, forward, high punch. Allows Sub-Zero to freeze an enemy on contact when running. A fucking ass of a move, okay? It takes up way too much of your meter. Look, I can't even do it. It needs to be virtually full. 
Look at that. What a piece of shit, okay? And it barely ever hits them anyway. He doesn't run far. So that can kiss my fucking ass, that move. I'm never going to be using that shit. When you reach all the way to the top, okay, you'll reach these sort of areas. Okay, this is where you need to use the crystals or the keys, okay? I can't use this one because it, it either may not be the correct crystal to put here, but more than likely, I have to use this key in a different portal first, then come back to this one and put the other crystal in here. So look, let me, let me paint the picture, okay? If I had all three keys in my inventory right now, okay, all three of them, and I went like this, okay, trying to use all of them, alright, it would not allow me to do so because I need to go to the other Quan Chi's teleporter, whatever the fuck this area is, okay, I need to go to another one of these areas first and use the key in that one and then come back and use the fucking key. Why does it have to be put in such a specific order, okay? Look, if I had all three of them, why not just let me put it here? It is... You have no idea how annoying it is, okay? Because you need to keep making... Because the first time you play this level, you don't know which portal you need to go to first, okay? I know, so I'm not gonna... spend too much time on this shit, okay? But the first time you go through this level, you will have no idea which... Quan Chi teleport you need to go to first to use the crystal, okay? That's fucking bullshit. This level is just ass. Look at this, it all looks the same. Seriously, how would you know where to go if this is your first time playing this level, okay? What a mess. Look, I, I'm even lost, okay? Do I go up? I'm gonna try the left first, okay? Just give me a map so I know where to go. Look at this, this is horrible. Okay, I'm just a bit nervous because if I get killed by one of these axes, I lose my checkpoint. Alright, here's a checkpoint, good. Every time you take care of one of his minions, his bodyguards, you get a checkpoint. Actually, I'm just going to die on purpose. Okay, because... just kill me. Go, kill me. Kill me! Fuck! There we go. <laughs> that made you kill me doing a roundhouse, okay? instant AI program to sweep. Alright, so let's take care of her. You just gotta put the damn keys in the correct... Oh, I'm lost already. Okay. Put the damn keys in the... Ter Blah. Put the fucking keys, the crystals, in the correct teleporters, okay? You have to put it in a specific teleporter first, then another one after that, okay? And then the final one. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, checkpoint. Fuck, thank God. Got lucky with that shit. Alright, just kill me. Whatever. I want to just try and do this fight with full health. I'm just trying to save all my herbs and shit for the boss fight against Quan Chi. I think he's pretty easy, but I just want to be safe, okay? I don't really want to struggle at the end of this game. I just want it to go pretty smooth. Damn, get the fuck off me. Look at this, just leave me alone for one second! Oh. This bitch is tough compared to the others. Alright, there we go, so that's the final key. And look, you can do a fatality. Do it! There, there we go. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. So, you know, in the first video, level one, that's what you could have. That's what I could have done against Scorpion, okay? But I missed my chance. I fucked up. But that's what it looks like, okay? So be very careful here. Alright, this checkpoint will carry you through right to the next Quan Chi teleporter area. Okay, so if you die just before you make it there, you're coming all the way back here, okay? And you've got to do a lot of fucking... just legwork, okay? Going down these lifts. It's fucking horrible. Absolutely fucking horrible, okay? I hate this shit. If you plan on taking care of Shino... Oh! God, like I've said in... Ah! Ooh, that's a dead end. No, 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 no. Look at this environment. What a repetitive, bland, fucked up environment, okay? 
how lazy were they when they got to this designing this level? Like fuck, you know, you'd think it'd be epic or some shit. But it's just fucked. It's just as bad as level 4 in the sewers, okay? Horrible. Alright, no, that's a fucking dead end. Oh god, alright. Damn, fucking him up pretty good here. It's all the anger I have from playing through this horrible level. It's coming out against Quan Chi here. He doesn't stand a chance. Haha, <laughs> you can't duck it either, you fuck. Oh, you little sneaky fuck. Alright, so there we go. Alright, this was cryptic horseshit as well. I had to use a fucking guide to do this. So, I ran over here, freeze him again. Okay, now watch what happens. You hit him, it doesn't take away any damage, okay? So, he cannot be healed. Sorry, he cannot be killed by hitting him, okay? This is not the way to take care of this guy. Run through the teleporter, do it again, do a quick freeze. What you need to do is press L1. Like, like I've mentioned so many times in previous videos, how the fuck do you know to do that shit, alright? But here's his second form, alright? It's this big monster that rushes to you. If you actually want to take care of it, alright, you need to use this move here, Polar Blast. Forward, back, back, high punch. So I'll, sh I'll show you what happens when you do that. Alright. Okay, well, yeah, alright, whatever. Oh, I've got to start this part again. Alright, whatever. Run behind him, do a quick freeze, press L1 to grab the amulet. Oh, the amulet! Alright. Oh, shit, that's close. Damn, man! Alright, whatever. Okay, I finished the game. Alright, so that's the end of this god-awful piece of shit game, okay? Unfortunately, I just wanted to show you guys there when we were taking care of Shinnok, when he morphed into that crazy creature, okay, in his second form. You basically do the Polar Blast, alright? That'll take away about a quarter of his health. You pop an urn to give you full ability meter, you pop another, uh, sorry, you do another polar blast, rinse and repeat four times and it'll go down, okay, so you need four urns if you plan on killing him like that, and I think you get a bit, bit of a different cutscene, I'm not sure, okay, I've never done it, but basically you don't have to do that, like you saw, I just jumped in the teleporter and the game ended, okay, <sighs> this game is hard as shit, okay, I'd only recommend it to people that are fans of the Mortal Kombat series, okay, Mainstream gamers will probably really hate this game, okay? It's a mess. I got through it because I do like Mortal Kombat, okay? So, I pushed through, I persevered, and I did get through it. But, it's just, like like you've seen throughout this whole series, okay? The amount of cryptic shit that is in this game. Like, seriously, look. Pressing L1 plus high kick to go up a lift, instead of using the key for that lift. Who would think to do something like that, you know? Unholy jumps and just horrible pitfalls, okay? This game has it all. And you will you will get stuck, okay? If there is a person out there that has gone through this game without looking up a single guide, man, I want to know about it, okay? Because you are a fucking god at video gaming. That is amazing, okay? But for the majority of people, you are going to get frustrated and either stop playing the game very early on, or you're just gonna use a walkthrough guide to get through this shit, okay? It's the only way. It's fucking horrible. At the start, like I said, you know, in the first video, I said that this game was pretty decent, and it is if you play it once and once only, okay? Seriously, I'd strongly recommend that you just play it once and that's it, okay? Play through it, you might even enjoy it a bit, like I did, okay, through my first playthrough, even though it was fucking bullshit, but I enjoyed it, you know, the first time playing it was pretty decent, but playing through it a second time and a third time and fourth time, s just stop, okay? Don't. It's not worth it. It's just too stress-inducing. All these problems come out in full force when you play it multiple times, okay? And you realize how fucked up the game is and how much of a mess it is and broken. 
Look, if you want to play a Mortal Kombat platformer game, play Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. That game is fucking awesome, alright? And this game, although it's bad, it is nowhere near as bad as Mortal Kombat Special Forces. I'm not going anywhere near that game, okay? I will not be able to play through that game without just not going crazy the whole time. But anyway, that's it, guys. That's Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero on the PlayStation. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Alright, so this is Mortal Kombat 4 for the PlayStation. Now I'm just going to quickly go into options first because if I don't, we'll get another cutscene. You know, we've got new characters here like Kai, Rico, Jarek and Fujin. They're all fucking garbage, okay, for different reasons. Jarek is just a fucking Kano clone. I just wish they had him instead of, you know, Kano instead of Jarek. Uh, Fujin is alright, he's, he's an interesting character with interesting concept, you know, wind god or whatever. But his moves are just ass, you know, like trying to do them. Like he's got a telekinetic slam or whatever, so which is similar to Ermax back in the day, but instead of just following up with a slam, you have to input another combination to actually do the slam. So, you know, you'll start it off and um fuck I've got to focus here this is horse shit alright yeah so as I was saying with Fujin you know you'll start it off doing the slam but he won't follow through with the slam you have to input another combination of buttons and shit in order for, for him to do it which is just horse shit you know so this is fuck off alright Kai fucking hate this guy, he's such a shit character, I don't know, other people might like him, I just think he's an, an asshole, I hate him. Oh, that's bullshit. Fuck! Ah, asshole. Mm. You're gonna suffer for that, you fuck. Scorpion's classic fatality makes a return, okay? Scorpion. Jesus, look at those pixels, they're massive. Fatality. That fatality is a pixelated mess. Probably back in the day it looked awesome, but now it just looks like shit. I'm gonna stick with the Scorpion fatality from now on. Reiko, Jesus Christ, all the shit characters. Well, it's good, I'm beating up all the shit. Um, do the Scorpion fatality again, why not? His other one looks like shit, the flame fatality, I'm not really a fan of that in this. It, it starts off looking awesome, but when you see all those big pixels flying around, it just sort of ruins it for me. Holy shit, we are really fighting all the shit characters in this game. Jarek is next, Tanya. I haven't done this yet, but you can also do this. Ah, oh, fuck, missed. How can, how can that shit miss? It's a combo. Mm, damn it! God. Mm, combo my ass. Fuck. So you, you've really got to be cheap on Gora. I mean, I'm trying not to here. I'm just trying to do a few combos and stuff. But if it doesn't work out and I die, I'm, I'll just pick Raiden or Liu Kang and just fucking torpedo or fly kick his ass. Which is looks like it's gonna happen, he's blocking everything. Honest I'm not really focusing. Oh there you go, I tried to run into him and do a combo. And he just grabbed me and did that shit okay, so running into Goro and trying to start a combo will usually result in failure. Ninety five percent of the time, okay? So you've gotta you gotta beat him using cheap horse shit. Alright, continue. I, I love this continue screen as well where the character is just falling down the pit. If you don't press start in time, you know, you'll fall down into some spikes and die. Raiden's, uh... Oh, I gotcha, you bastard. Ah! Oh! I want my fucking hammer, you piece of shit. I'm going back for that. I'm getting it. Don't you fireball my ass. Oh, don't ground stomp. Ah! 
asshole. Ah, you piece of shit. Mm, damn, let me hit you with the fucking hammer. Oh, that's it. Torpedo shit. Fuck off, I'm done. Yeah, there we go. I wanted to hammer his ass a bit more and bring it out mid-combo, but I don't know. I'm just freaking out a little bit here. Shinnok is a shit character. I mean... He's pretty much just Shang Tsung, he can morph into everyone, but he hasn't got any unique moves, like at least Shang, Shang Tsung had a couple of fireballs, but this guy's got nothing, so I don't really like playing as him. He looks cool though, I guess. He's a fucking asshole to beat. Ah! Mmm! That shit takes away so much health. Yeah, fucking Hong Kong spin your ass, bitch. How do you like that? Ah. Oh. Mm. This is it. Ah, oh, you. Mm. Damn it. All right, now I'm fucking. I'm fucking pissed. Fucking combo the shit out of you now. Uh, one more thing I will say, this game, you know, has secret characters similar to Mortal Kombat 4, you know, you could unlock Noob, Sabot, and Goro, uh, but Mortal Kombat Gold here also has Sector as a secret unlockable character, and he is the fucking best character in this game, in my opinion, okay, he's, a, he's an absolute beast, his combos can just go on forever, you know, he's got that teleport punch, forward, forward, low kick, you can spam that shit Till the cows come home and you know the the AI cannot do anything. It's just fucking ridiculous. He's overpowered and I will play as him, but first Ah, weapon, forgot about that shit. I might bring out mine. If you give me a fucking chance, Jesus Christ. Mm! Damn it! Alright, he's also got that other move from MK2, we and you know, previous games like MK3, Ultimate Combat 3. Down high kick in the air, which does that fucking... that move, okay? But it looks like ass in this game, it's so slow and it just doesn't feel good, like it did in MK2 and the previous ones. Look, look how slow that is. I mean, it's still cool, but... you know, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right to me. Or I might even fucking die in Reptile here, I don't know. If he's being a fucking ass, which it looks like he is. <clears throat> God damn, what the hell am I doing? Fuck! Block that shit and you get stunned. Jesus Christ, what the hell? Fuck you! <laughs> yep, come on, just... Fuck me up, Bracker. Yep, run into that shit. Flawless victory. Flawless victory. Good stuff. What was I talking about before in regards to... <laughs> Maximum damage, love that shit. You're gonna be seeing a lot of that when I play a sector next, okay? It's just fucking crazy. Um. Kung Lao's moves. I was gonna fucking say something, but I forgot. Anyway. Alright, so. As you can see, I'm sector now, and I'm just gonna fucking tear the shit. I just wanna show you this. Okay, you can just fucking spam that shit the whole game and and you don't have to do anything else, okay? Sector is an absolute monster in this game. He is the best character, okay? Forget Noob Sabot. Noob, Noob Sabot is fucking ass, okay? I hate him. He's got lame moves and he doesn't even have any unique fatalities, which sucks as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Baraka. Alright, so... Do his fatality. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, that sounds a bit weird. What the hell? Can't see anything. <sighs> fucking. That fucking sucks. Alright, so Goro. <laughs> you know, Goro is a cakewalk with Sector. I'll, I'll stop being cheap for a second, I'll try and do normal moves and shit here. Fuck off! Oh my god! <sighs> Goro can really fuck you up if you don't resort to cheapness on him, okay? Alright, I'm not happy with this. I'm fucking over it. Max damage. Oh, that's... What the fuck? Oh, that's it. You're... You're done. That's it. No mercy now. This is all I'm doing. Even after I get another max damage. Yep. There we go. Sector is a fucking beast in this game. However, there were two things that really pissed me off about it. And the first thing was the fact that each character in this game only has one fatality. Now that is fucking bullshit because in the previous Mortal Kombat games, each character has two fatalities, you know? Of course, Mortal Kombat 1 was different, that was the very first game. But you know, Mortal Kombat 2, 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, each character had two fatalities. And then to scale it back down to one in this game, that was a real big disappointment for me, you know? And the other thing that was a real bummer was the fact that you couldn't do stage fatalities. You cannot do stage fatalities in this game. That fucking sucks because this game has some really nice looking stages, you know? Beautiful artwork, great designs, and to not be able to do stage fatalities on the stages here, that sucks, you know? One of my favorite stages in this game is where you fight in an arena and surrounding the arena is a pool of acid, pretty much like the Deadpool stage. Just a bit of a spin on that. And you know, to not be able to uppercut your opponent into that pool of acid, that is such a disappointment, you know? That is a big bummer. I hate that shit. And the new Mortal Kombat 9 didn't even have a conquest mode, which was really fucking stupid. I think they should have put a conquest mode in that game, because it's sort of become standard now, you know what I mean? It's it's so ingrained into these newer 3D Mortal Kombat games that they can't not put it in there now, you know what I mean? It's bullshit. It's like it's like taking away fucking, I don't know, Scorpion, Sub-Zero and all the classic characters that we've become used to in the Mortal Kombat games. You can't do that. Game options. So we will set it on medium. Anything higher is just Look, I can do it on hard, but I don't want to deal with that bullshit. It's not that difficult. I can actually get through it reasonably well, but once you start getting higher up in the ranks, you know, the fights do become harder. And by the time you get to Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, which are the final bosses of this game, it's just real bullshit, you know what I mean, for this game. And look, you can, you can actually set it on max. Fuck that shit, do not do that. That is out of control, you are an absolute masochist if you do that. It can be done, but it's only possible utilizing bullshit. I don't know, for me, okay? I'm not really good at this game, so maybe there are some godlike players out there that can actually complete it on max, utilizing normal combos and specials. I can't, fuck max, I'll be playing it on medium, I wanna have fun. So who have we got? We've got Shang Tsung. Bo Rai Cho, who is a fucking disgrace. I don't know why he's in this game. He's supposedly comic relief, but, you know, whenever I see this guy, trust me, I'm not laughing. I'm cringing. He's got stupid moves, like he throws up, you know, he spews on the ground, and your opponent slips in the spew. Sort of similar to how Sub-Zero's ground freeze works. He is just a mess. I fucking hate him. I wish he was never in the game. 
but whatever. Lee May, just, ugh. Look at her, it's like the most bland and boring character ever. What purpose does she have in this game? She's got nothing. You know, everyone has characters they love and hate. For me, in this game, I hate Lee May and this guy, Su Hao. Look at him! Just look at him! What is that? He's like a shirtless Chinese police officer or something. What the fuck is that? He is a disgrace. I hate him and I hate Lee May, so... Fuck them. Johnny Cage, yep. Kung Lao, awesome. Kano, yep. Sub-Zero, awesome. See, <laughs> with Kung Lao and Sub-Zero, you can see here the Kung Lao's main costume. He doesn't have his hat on. Why? How can you play Kung Lao without his razor hat? That is just unacceptable. Of course you can unlock his alternate costume where he has it, but you know, his default costume should be with the hat on. And similar with Sub-Zero, his default costume should be, you know, with his ninja mask on. I don't want to see this guy's face. I mean, look at him. He's got grey hair. He looks like he's 70 years old. Get the fuck away from me. Put on the ninja mask, for God's sake. Of course, I've unlocked the alternate costume for him, so when I do play as Sub-Zero, he will actually have the proper ninja outfit. Naitara, whatever, never really played as her, but it. Sue Hao, get the fuck out of here. Raiden, yep. Reptile, oh my god, just put on the ninja mask, look at him. It's a fucking lizard. <sighs> Don't even get me started, okay? To me, the ninjas will always remain the ninjas. When Reptile started making this transformation, you know, into a full-blown lizard creature, I started hating it. You know, in the new Mortal Kombat 9, I remember there were a few of the ninja characters, like I think Human Smoke, who didn't actually have their proper ninja outfit as their main costume. But the good thing with Mortal Kombat 9 is you can unlock the classic skins where you can, you know, wear their proper ninja outfits, which is really cool, and which is how I think they should be. They should stay ninjas. But even with Reptile's alternate outfit, he's still this lizard creature, you know? So, I hate Reptile in this game. Otherwise, normally I'd love him, because he's a ninja. Fuck off. Jesus. Okay, let's go, Reptile. You lizard fuck. Fucking hell, stop pushing me. See the thing... That pisses me off about this game. They can block throws. Throws should be unblockable, you know? Of course there should be the ability to tech throws, so to speak, but... You know... Oh my god, he's going crazy. Look at him, he's like a fucking... He's in crab style, it looks ridiculous. Look at him! They have just destroyed Reptile in this game. Fucking hell. Look at him! Look at him! Fucking blocking everything. It's starting to get really annoying now. Oh my god, reversal. So that's basically one of Reptile's specials when he presses R1. He's gonna kill me. Mm, I can do it! Oh, I can do it! Fuck! <sighs> you asshole! I'm much better with Scorpion. Scorpion I've mastered completely and totally. Don't fucking push me away. Fuck off! Oh my goodness, he's blocking everything! You know what, I'm gonna impale him. There we go, fucking take that shit. We're facing Bo Rai Cho here. Look at him, what a fucking mess. Get out of here, you fucking, fucking piss off. Look at his weapon, it's a, a walking stick. There is just nothing desirable whatsoever about this character, Bo Rai Cho. Fucking hell, piss off! Jesus! Let's go for a ride. 
if you can manage to get the AI in that acid, it does a ton of damage to them. So I'm gonna try and get Bow Raicho. Oh, you fuck, you got me in there. Fuck off! Yes, take it! Get out! Oh, hell yeah. That was awesome. I utilized the help of that acid Buddha statue there. And we'll take out Bo Rai Cho's skeleton while we're at it. 250 ruby coins. Okay, so here we go. We've got a test your might mini game. This is really cool. The further up you go, the harder it gets. You know, you start off breaking wood, and then by the time you get to the top, it's like diamond. Oh, fuck, look how high that is. Are you kidding me? Get up there. Wow, I can't do this. Uh, no! <laughs> I can't do it. That's impossible. I was mashing the buttons like crazy. I love how he just breaks his arm there. How are you supposed to do that? Maybe there's a trick to it, I don't know. But yeah, it does get harder. As you move up, you know, from wooden board to diamond. Oh, okay, so it's like that. Let me do that too. Oh. Out! Let's go for a ride. Fuck! Wow, he's going crazy. See, when they start sidestepping all your moves, that's when you know that the AI is going out of control. Fuck! No! Oh my god, wow! He did it again before I hit the ground. Let's go for a fuck off! Don't block the throw! That is unacceptable! How can you block a throw? <laughs> Fuck! Take the freeze! Just take it! Oh. No! Fuck! <laughs> Look, that's okay. Scorpion's my preferred character anyway. Let's pick him. No fucking around now. We're just gonna go crazy on his ass. Scorpion's combos are awesome. It's time to end this. Fuck off! That sh Like I said, the sidestep moves are great for dodging your opponent. Of course you'll block that. I don't know why I bothered doing it. Oh. Mm. Yes! That was a big mistake jumping like that. You suffered. Look at that. 13 hits. Oh, okay, yep, sidestepped it, I like it. Take the throw. Fuck off, just piss off. There we go. Now you're gonna suffer the full combo. Oh no, I fucked it. A lot of other characters have some really weird fighting styles, which I just don't care for. So that is why I tend to avoid those types of characters. Oh god, talking of shitty characters, look at this, Su Hao. Okay, Su Hao. Just look at this guy. Fucking get out of here, you fuck. You're a disgrace, you do not belong in a Mortal Kombat game. Okay, yep, sure. Oh. oh, just get away from me. Look at this. I can't move. All right, there we go. It's over. Yep, beautiful. Definitely doing a fatality on your ass, you piece of shit. Fuck yeah, you deserve that.
take it. Do it! There we go. Hell yeah. Fatality. This could be... Wow, what a combo! He just went through all his styles! What a terrible throw, that looked pathetic! Fucking get off me! Just get away, please! Okay, there we go. Now we're, we're making progress. Just get away! Yeah, Quan Chi is way harder to defeat than Shang Tsung. He's fucking bullshit. I hate him. He has the worst fatality in the game, and dare I say it, in the entire history of Mortal Kombat, it is disgraceful. If you haven't seen it, basically all he does is jumps up onto the shoulders of his opponent and stretches their neck up. It's just, it's comical, you know, it's pathetic. It's the worst shit ever. Oh god, fuck off, fuck off! Okay, 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 yep, okay. Yes! We will definitely do a fatality. It'd be awesome, you know, like I said, if they had multiple fatalities because Scorpion's already in the state where he's ready to do that fire breathing fatality. It'd be really cool if he had that in this game. Unfortunately, he doesn't, but that's okay. And we have to do a fatality to finish off the main boss, of course. Let me see that brain. Show it to me. Fuck yeah. Fatality. And there we go. That is basically the end of Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. 1000 Jade Coins. Beautiful. Sub-Zero is back now. Sub-Zero is good in this game, but his alternate costume is... I think it's unacceptable. And actually, you know what? I'm going to show you guys his alternate costume. So we'll do that quickly now. <laughs> it has to be shown because it's just... Let me go into practice mode. Alright, so you press start to choose the alternate costume. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to actually go into battle. Urmak. This alternate costume of Sub-Zero's is just... Look at it! Look at him! Alright, now, you can see in the top left corner, in my life bar, it says Sub-Zero. If that didn't say Sub-Zero, just looking at this character, would you think it's Sub-Zero? Tell me! Look at him! He's bald, he's got a ponytail, he's only got half it. What the fuck happened to him? Look at him! Look at him! Fuck! Disgusting! Absolutely unacceptable. I don't know what they were thinking when they fucking did that alternate costume. It is... <sighs> Get out of here. Bo Rai Cho. Ugh. Next. Moves. Dairo. He's like a mercenary. <sighs> Look. He's another character who I think could have had a lot of potential, but he's ruined by shit moves. One of his moves, I don't know, look, one of his moves is where he does a kick and a fucking star fireball comes out of his foot. I mean, come on, what is that? It makes no sense, like, Sub-Zero, for example, has an ice projectile which he fires out, and that makes sense because he's been trained by the Lin Kuei to do so. Raiden shoots out lightning, and that makes sense because he's a thunder god. Melina, she fires out her size, and that makes sense because, you know, her size are her weapons. So, you know, all these characters have projectiles, you know, like Baraka as well, he shoots out a blade. All these characters have projectile moves that make sense, and those projectiles are perfectly fitting for them. But Dairu here, where he just does like a kick and a star fireball comes out, what is that? 
It's fucked! I would show you, but I can't even be bothered. It's that fucking disgusting. <sighs> and he's only got two moves as well. Another wasted character. Cobra. <laughs> look at this guy. Just look at him. What do, you, what do you think when you look at this character? Look at him. The first thing that comes to my mind is Ken from Street Fighter. And look at one of his fighting styles. It's even gotten Ryu written there. What is this? Who is this? Look at him. <sighs> look, I've only played with this character for a short period of time. I've just got absolutely no interest whatsoever. I can't stand him. Fuck off, Bo Rai Cho, cocksucker. Oh, fuck. Yeah, whatever. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention there. Fuck you, Bo Rai Cho. <laughs> I love these characters. They're so fun to play as. They really complement each other, you know. Oh, fuck. Look at this guy. He's a mess. Fucking barfing and shit. Fuck off. Just did a combo breaker there. Okay. Now, here we go. This is cool. Fuck you, Bo Raicho. Take that shit. Yeah, if you manage to knock your opponent near them, they'll actually get grabbed by them. Which is pretty cool. Get, get in there, Luke Hang. Get there, get there. Get, 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 get. Get there. Up. Get there. Fuck. Ah, whatever. Just kill me, yeah, you fucking piece of shit. Whatever. Fuck you. Fuck, just do it to me then, you cocksucker. Do it. Just hit me in there, look. Ah, oh, see? They grab you. And it's almost like getting stunned. What the fuck's going on here? Mm. Fucking ducking my throws, I hate that shit. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Oh, Liu Kang. Oh, I hate you. You fucking asshole. <sighs> Alright, let's go the alternate costume. Shit. Get down there, you fucking asshole. Now you're going in that shit. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. One fucking... Oh. Okay, this round you're going in. Definitely. Just gonna do a kick and you're going straight in. Yep. What the fuck? How did he get me in there? Anyway, okay, fuck this. I'm just gonna kill him. I'm sick of this. And whatever. Just out. Bullshit. Fuck. Throw. Give me the throw. Okay, breaker. Now throw. Here we go. So let's try and fucking get Jade down there. Ugh, look at this. She's just ducking. The AI is fucking being a piece of shit at the moment. There we go. What happened there? I don't want smoke. I want... Look at this! Okay, you're ducking. I get it. Let me just do my fucking shitty crouch. Look at this! Fucking look at it! I hate the AI when you start getting up in the fucking later ranks, because that's all they do! Duck, duck, and duck! And Noob and Smoke don't really have great low attacks, you know what I mean? Look at this, I can't throw her, she's just... Okay. 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 This move. Take that. What else we got? You know what? Down. Get down. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Or oh, he could kill me. Ah, he threw me! Fuck! <sighs> okay. Ugh. You know, it's like when you start getting up into the higher difficulties, the AI knows when you're pressing buttons. So as soon as you press a button, they do too. You know, and they do a combo. It's fucking annoying. 
Ah, oh, this has a death trap this stage. It's great. Oh, a bit of slowdown here. Fighting in slow motion. Oh no, we're back to normal. <laughs> I think it's. Fuck off! Fucking asshole. Fucking hell, get away from me! Let's do that. Okay, leave me alone for a second. There it is. Look, there's a death trap and a weapon. Hopefully, I can get the weapon without. <laughs> I knew that would happen. Ah. <laughs> uh... Fuck. Fuck you, Smoke. Fuck, so we start up the top here again. Alright. Fuck! Alright, he knocked me down. I'm just gonna try and kill him here. Of course, and the AI knows when you're gonna throw when you're invisible. Like, get real, come on! <gasps> Fuck! Harakiri! Ah! Oh! I tried to do Smoke's Harakiri. Okay, now I'm fucking mad. I must always do a Harakiri if I lose. Always. Ah! Oh! One combo. Just okay. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. What the fuck happened there? I was in the middle of doing a combo! What the fuck happened? You... Press L2 when you're standing over the top of it. See, the thing is, I risk getting hit in the death trap when I pick it up. Fuck! Like that! <sighs> alright, alright, alright. No more fucking around. I'm just gonna win by doing combos and shit. I'm not gonna try and pick up weapons or go for death traps. That's it. We're just going to end this now. These guys are hard to beat. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm playing on an emulator, so that's why it occasionally has some annoying slowdown. Who am I? Oh, I'm this guy. I can just take a throw! Oh, what the fuck? No, there was a death trap on this stage. Fuck, that's actually the first time he's done that to me. Holy shit. That's awesome. I'm willing to put money on it though that there's no way I can do that to him. <laughs> As if the game would allow that. It'd be fucking cool though. But then again, it would make the boss fight way, way too easy, you know? Easier than it already is. If you let the fear consume you, then you're dead. Okay, that was good. Okay, that was good too. Wow! How fucking aggressive was he that round? I couldn't even move. This is a big fucking character select screen. Now, it's... I know I keep saying this, but the fighting engine is a bit poor because I feel like virtually every character plays the same. You know, air combat is pretty much the same amongst all the characters. There's no diversity here, I feel. It's a bit too familiar. Look at Mocap. What a fucking disgraceful piece of shit this character is. Fuck him off. Why is this guy even playable? Look at him. Fucking appalling. Disgusting. Striker looks absolutely disgusting in this outfit. If you choose him in his alternate outfit though, he does look a lot better. He's got like a balaclava on. He looks like a SWAT team member. But here, that's disgusting. He looks like Johnny Cage almost. Put the hat on for God's sake. Dyro, fucking disgrace. Jarek is back. You know, we've got the Mortal Kombat 4 characters like Jarek, Reiko, and Kai. I mean, is Kai really a popular character? Who likes this guy? I want to know who actually likes this character and plays as him. He is a character that I just simply don't give a shit about. At all. Not one bit. What is a redeeming quality of this character? Tell me one. I, I, I can't think of any. <sighs> yeah. 
Yep. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about this character. You all know my stance regarding this character and he is actually a selectable character in motor combat and he is a disgrace, an absolute disgrace and you'll see me talk about that in my motor combat playthrough. Fuck this character, he can go to hell. I can't believe he's in combat pack 2 for Mortal Kombat X. What the hell were the developers thinking? putting this character in a combat pack for Mortal Kombat X. I mean, really, what about Fujin? What about Rain? What about... Fuck, I don't know. Was Nightwolf a playable character in Mortal Kombat X? I can't even remember. What about Nightwolf? What about... I mean, look at... There's so many fucking characters to pick. Why? Why this character? Why? Who likes him? Who likes this fucking disgraceful, appalling, abhorrent. I'm not even going to call him a human being. He doesn't deserve to be called a human being. He's a shit stain on the face of the Mortal Kombat franchise and he needs to be eradicated as soon as fucking humanly possible. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I could make an entire video, one hour long, just talking about my hatred towards this character. I'm going to stop. I need to calm myself down because it's really... It's really just, okay, just calm down. Cobra, another disgrace of the Mortal Kombat franchise. Su Hao, another disgrace. Okay, he's got his classic lightning move, but, you know, 99% of the time, that will never hit your opponent. Watch, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually prove that yet while we've got a bit of time. Look at this. You watch, every time I do it, the AI will jump and avoid it. I'm not joking, alright? This is fucking bullshit. Why put a move in the game that doesn't allow you to actually hit the AI with? I mean, you might get lucky in the sense that if the AI is like, see what Sony just did there, a combo, you'll get lucky if you can actually get them while they're in the middle of doing a combo or some other move, anything really. But 99% of the time, it will not hit them which I think is bullshit. It's a disgrace. It's such a cool move as well, you know. He's only got two... Oh! <laughs> Fuck you, Sonya. I deserve that, I guess. <laughs> I was standing on the edge of the tracks. You bitch. Got a flawless victory as well. Okay, no bullshit now. I'm just going to focus and kill her. The AI is really going to... Give me the shits. Look, it's okay for the first four fights, but once you hit that fifth fight, like most Mortal Kombat games, or in the case of, you know, like Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, the third fucking fight, the AI gets fucking bullshit. It's not god... What the hell? Take a goddamn... I'm trying to... Look at this! All I'm trying to do... Okay. All I was trying to do is one launching attack. She was blocking every single time. You know, unfortunately, this is a Mortal Kombat game and you've got to play like a dumbass to beat it. Spamming the same stupid moves over and over again, spamming the same stupid combos. Okay, let's try this lightning attack. Of course not, that will never hit. What about some water? Take some water. There we go. Ow. God, I really want that lightning to hit. Just, what the fuck? Get down there, please. Oh man, okay, whatever. You don't want to? I'm just going to kill you then. Fine. Oops. Fuck that up. <laughs> Melina? What the hell's going on here? Where's the male opponents? It's a bit of a shame that Rain doesn't have his powerful roundhouse kick move here. Remember how in Mortal Kombat Trilogy, if you did it, it would send your opponent flying across the screen and back to you and then you could follow up with another attack straight after it. It was really good. It sucks that he doesn't have that move here. In Mortal Kombat 9 he had it, which was good. 
but here he doesn't, which is a bit disappointing. Because, you know, that's one of Rain's key moves. It's like not giving Sub-Zero's fucking freeze. What kind of shit is that? Okay, there we go. So I'll pick Fujin now. Fujin's a pretty cool character. I do like him. And, you know, if they included him in the combat pack 2 for Mortal Kombat X as opposed to Bo Rai Cho, I would have been a lot happier. I think a lot of people would have been happy having Fujin. Fuck! She knocked me down. Okay, Goro. Finally, there's a male opponent in the tower. Oh, come on, stop fucking blocking! <sighs> okay, Blaze is fucked. I hate him. He's bullshit, so I'm just gonna spam the 1 1 2 combo non stop. Might even throw in a special move every now and again. Okay, that's it, Blaze. I've had enough. Might take another attempt here. God, he's going roll crazy. Yeah, that, that, that really annoys me how they sort of go through your attacks. You know, you're in the middle of doing a combo and then the AI just punches you. How? How? You know, they must be pressing their button, so to speak, at the correct moment. Pisses me off. <laughs> this is all you do. There is no strategy, no thought, no nothing. I'm just doing the 1 1 2 combo. This seems to be a common occurrence. This happened in. My Mortal Kombat vs DCU playthrough, you know, this is all I was doing against Dark Khan pretty much. 1-1-2. One, one, why is this combo... Why are these sorts of combos so effective? I don't get it, you know, you try and mix up your game by doing special moves, you just can't win, it's fucked. Oh, that's right. If you spam that shoulder dash attack consistently, that tends to work quite well. Let's we'll see if I can get that going too. Nope. Fuck! Sidestepped and hit me. That is absolutely bullshit. <sighs> Normally I can defeat him pretty quickly. He's not that hard. Just sometimes I just can't, I just can't do it, you know, it's just, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. The first time I did a playthrough of this, when I started playing it a week ago, it took me about half an hour to defeat him. I was using Fujin though, and I was just trying to figure out how to defeat this son of a bitch effectively. And then I realised that if you abandon thinking, if you abandon strategy, if you abandon diversity, and just stick with staple garbage combos, you'll be able to defeat him. And, I mean, I'm saying that, but I still haven't defeated him. He's kicking my ass. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, there we go. Piss off. I've still got three breakers, which is good. This has to end now. It has to! I'm, I'm not even angry, I'm just sort of like defeated, you know. It's just, it's such a stale boss fight, it's pathetic, I simply don't care about it. It's not even hard, it's just cheap. Yep, keep doing that fucking roll, you love it, don't you? Yeah, you tell him smoke. Here comes Johnny Cage. I make this look easy. 
Johnny Cage pisses me off. He's such a cocky bastard. He's a great character, but personality-wise, he just shits me. You know, you just wish he'd shut up sometimes. Especially if you do the story mode of this game. He's very annoying. Where's the start? Ooh, that move, I hate it. Sometimes the AI can spam the... Yeah, see? I remember when I was playing the challenge tower. See, look at that. Whenever you play against Quan Chi... Come on. Give me something good. Yes, there we go. Straight into my x-ray attack. Just get away, Johnny. Stay away. Fuck! You're done. Okay. God damn it, that move. I hate it. Ooh! What the hell was that? He just charged up something. The blocking is out of control! How much How much are they blocking already? It's the first fight, come on! God, this is a bad start. Okay, very bad actually. Start off. Fuck! Okay, that move Sindel just did then, where she twirls her legs around, that is extremely fucking annoying because she tends to do it a lot on wake up, even on medium difficulty. And especially for the challenge tower when you face her. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> this is the. S okay. Look, I don't mind if I'm losing rounds, but if I lose a match at this early in the tag ladder, that is just unacceptable. I'm sorry. See how she just... See? That move, I hate it. Fucking hell, the blocking is just out of control. Stop it! <laughs> Fourth time lucky. Yeah, I knew she would jump. Oh my god, there it is again. Shit, missed the slide at the end. Actually, I should have done x-ray. Oh well. Ooh! He was so dead, I just missed the x-ray attack there. Fuck, I missed that kick. That's alright. Playing a little bit sloppy, but not too bad. Bastard. Okay, let's do a fatality. His other one, the second one. This one I like better, look at that. Just slashes the throat, cuts open the stomach, and to finish it off... <laughs> look at my face, look at my eye. I think I'm missing an eye. Fuck. <sighs> okay, this is getting a bit hard now. I've got x-ray. Okay, there's one. Oh. Did you see that? He did his reflect attack. As soon as I did my acid spit. Come on. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. That came out by accident, but... Could have been a blessing in disguise. Fuck off! Okay, I'm really sloppy at the moment with Reptile. Wake up, teleport. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, you can't reflect that, Nightwolf. Nice try. Shit. Okay, oh, I hate fighting Kung Lao. No. Fuck! Okay, jumping every time I do it now. What the hell? Yep, zap me. Here we go. Finally. X-ray. Oh, I missed! No, I did it too... I did it too soon. It's 
quite frustrating. Oh my god, Raiden! Stop! Shit, missed the punch there. Okay, that's fine. I've still got smoke on full health. Yep, that's no problem. Okay, shoot lightning. Oh! <laughs> How did I predict that? He's done. Ooh, I missed it! That's nah, alright, he's done. Oh my god, air throw. Are you kidding me? Fuck! Cyrex is going to be dropping those bombs all over the place. I can just tell. Air throw again. Look at this! Fuck! I have to win the first round, it's like essential. I just... I crack if I don't, you know, on the next round. And it just becomes a free win for the AI, okay. How many times can you block that? I cannot jump in and do anything. Block that. Throw, please. Okay, I have X-Ray, but... Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. <sighs> I need to kill them. I need to do this stage fatality. I can continue, but I'd prefer not to lose. How did that miss? Yes, take the throw. Okay, so we're about even, me and the AI now. Oh my god, cannonball and wake up, of course. I think Cyrax is a bit harder. Because he's got his... that teleport move and he's got an air throw. It's fucking bullshit. It's pretty much the AI. Just loving it. Okay, doing good here, yes. Excellent. Yep. We're good, we're good. If I lose after all that, I'm gonna turn the game off. I need to get him in like one combo. Volcano. Blocking. Fuck! Jesus! Yes, finally! My goodness. The blocking is becoming a bit out of control by the AI at this point. Goes. Don't get hit the top. Ah! Overhead attack! Get up. I need see, as soon as I jump away, because he's got like an air air throw, Cyrax, I hate it. <laughs> Alright, that's a good trade, I'll take that. Get hit, yes, it's done. It's done. God, I'm just Fuck. I'm pa I'm so nervous, like I'm holding block like you wouldn't believe. No, 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 I just... Too much delay on my part. I hesitated. Okay. Just stop jumping, Scarlet. Stop. Just... <sighs> okay. Give me something, Reptile. Your soul is mine. Your soul is mine. Jeez, how did I guess he would say that? Okay. Fucking hell. I haven't been able to like do anything yet. Oh my god, and I missed the only combo that I was given. I was given an opportunity, and I fucked it up. And that too. Ooh, counter. Oh. Get up! I hate how they delay getting up sometimes. Miss the slide. Ooh. Oh god, the telekinetic shit. Damn it! 
You can't block that, you've got to jump. It's like Jax's ground pound move. Okay. I've got X-Ray. Let me use it. <laughs> just the block it's just too much blocking going on. Okay, fireballs going crazy with them. Oh my god. Blocking. Okay, smoke. You've got X-Ray, you've got to use it against him. You have to. Fuck! My god! Look at this! It's fucking bullshit! I c He's blocking everything! I Honestly, I could not do anything. Okay, look, he's going to do a fatality. Oh, I like this. <laughs> uh, well, it was worth it, I guess, losing, just to see that fatality. I love it. Okay, let's try again, shall we? Fuck. I'm so angry. Round Okay. What if I do that? Okay, there you go. Again? Third time? Oh my god. Are you kidding? Look at this. <laughs> Alright, this is stupid. I'm taking advantage of the AI too much here. I'll just try and play normally. Oh, goodness me. Only he see he's mixing up high and low attacks. It's fucking hard to. <sighs> once you're in, once you're in the corner with Shang Sun, you're pretty much fucked. I should have kept spamming those damn teleport punches. Fuck it. Oh my god, a counter. Fucking get real. <gasps> Ooh, I didn't expect that to actually hit. He's got me in the fuck. He's got me in the corner. See. Come on, just let me win this. Fuck! See, the thing is, when you do an enhanced version of your special move, it tends to go through your opponent's moves, which is what keeps happening. As soon as Shang Tsung wakes up, he's doing like an enhanced move, and it's just going through whatever I'm doing. Get up! Very annoying, but he doesn't have super now, so he can't do it. That's really pissing me off. Like, as soon as he's waking up, he's doing an EX. Oh, sorry, what am I talking about, EX? I think, I think I'm playing Street Fighter here. He's doing an enhanced version of a special move. Stop it! How does he know to fucking jump whenever I do that smoke? Okay, there we go. Oh shit, he came down a bit fast there. See how the AI just jumps when I... Look at this. Always when I do it, just jumps. I'm getting the shits with this. Fucking had it. Okay. Oh god, I just threw it out there. I took a risk. I got him with it there. I'll take it. One more round to go. He just doesn't stop pressing buttons. Doesn't stop attacking. See? Non-stop. Oh, how did that fucking miss? Come on. Okay, I've almost got X-Ray. I'm in the corner, this is not good. <clears throat> I am making a lot of mistakes here. Take the acid. Ooh. Take it. Oh, fuck. 
just... Fuck! Okay, he's probably gonna kill me this round. Fuck! Reptile now. <laughs> I can't. Didn't even do anything. Ooh, jump! Oh, shit. Fuck! Oh! Alright, I'm gonna finish him off with smoke. Get the last hit. Oh, here we go. Look. Look how much damage this is gonna do. This x ray attack. Look at that. That is horrendous. Okay, it's over. There we go. I'll just go to Jason and press A. Would you like to purchase this item? Let's go to the Xbox store. I am playing this on the Xbox One by the way guys. I've also got it for the PC but I feel it just runs a lot smoother on the Xbox One. So look at this, if I want to play as Jason Voorhees, I have to pay $6.65 Australian. Fuck off, that is just ridiculous. You know, this is the way games are becoming nowadays. It's all this microtransaction bullshit. Developers are purposely leaving out content and then releasing it later as DLC, or in the case of Mortal Kombat here, extra characters that you can unlock and you have to pay extra just to unlock them. This is something that is really annoying to me. I accept this is the way games are becoming nowadays people are paying the price so why wouldn't they include it you know they're getting more money it makes sense from their perspective but look I haven't caved in yet I haven't purchased anything extra but I want to because <laughs> I really want to play as Jason Voorhees you know I'm a big horror movie fan a horror game fan so Friday the 13th classic movie I'd love to play as Jason Voorhees. I'm probably going to buy him. Look, I'm probably going to cave, but at this stage I haven't. And you know, if you want to play as Tanya, Predator, or Tremor, $6.65 Australian. I've already got Goro because he came with the version of the game I purchased. You know, I think I paid about 90 bucks for the game. But I mean, you could go crazy here and buy all these characters. You could buy costume packs, you know, which are, look, $5.35 Australian each. You can easily spend $150 to $200 on this game, you know, buying all the extra content. That is ridiculous. But, like I said, that's the way games are becoming nowadays. Microtransaction bullshit. So, yeah, costumes, if you want to buy some costumes, $5.35 each. Easy Fatalities, $1.35. This one's pretty funny. If you want to unlock all the crypt items, $26.95 Australian. Come on. How lazy would you have to be to do that? I mean, I guess it would make sense if, say, you had this game for both the Xbox One and the PS4, and you'd already unlocked everything on the Xbox One version and then you transitioned to playing this game on the PS4 you know and you couldn't be bothered unlocking everything again I guess in that sense you could go ahead and just pay the price and unlock everything but you know this sort of brings me back to the way games were back in the day I mean let's go back to Mortal Kombat Deception for example if you wanted to unlock a character you had to play through conquest mode and earn that character. Nowadays, it seems like all you've got to do is pay. What happened to, you know, playing the game through and earning the character, unlocking the character in the traditional sense? It would be really good if they gave people the option to either pay or unlock one of these characters in the traditional sense. So for example, you know, play the game on arcade mode on the highest difficulty without losing any continues and I don't know just making up some criteria here not using any throws then you would unlock tremor so include that somehow so that gamers have the choice don't just make people pay for it but 
you know, like I said, people are paying, so that's just the way it is nowadays, guys. Anyway, that's my rant of DLC slash microtransaction bullshit. Come on, stop, fuck, stop it. <laughs> this is just like a block fest. <laughs> Here we go. Happiness, ooh. Drop the combo there, big mistake. Yeah, the money shot I feel is just not really a good move, like this is it, whoops. Hang on. I just need Raiden to go away for like one second. Okay, let's do it. Come on, just piss off. Okay, he's not gonna stop. <laughs> he won't leave me alone. Oh man. I've just got to focus on winning. Final round. The gun is the best defense. Fuck! I hate how they block that. Looks like they're going to run to you, but they stop. Okay, there we go. I'm adaptable. Those you betray see it differently. Round one. Shut up. Oh, I love this stage. What do you think? This is gonna get ugly. I think you're an asshole. You're gonna get even uglier. Round one. <laughs> Fight. Johnny Cage. Fuck. This is unbelievable. Like I'm, I'm trying so hard here. I just can't get a hit in. Yeah, oh, I knew it. I knew he'd fucking wake up with that shit because he had meter. Alright. <laughs> Straight in the nuts. Alright. Yeah, I knew it. Come on. Looks like I'm going to get destroyed this round. Maybe. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, that's fine. Regather myself. Like your new holes. Like your new holes. <laughs> Happiness is a warm gun. Brutality? Hell yeah. I was supposed to do a faction kill, wasn't I? I keep getting carried away. You enjoy that one? I love how a bird comes down after you do that brutality and starts pecking away at the body. Pretty gruesome. Wow, come on, Kotal Khan. What the hell's going on? This is embarrassing. Oh, there you go. He went from doing nothing at the start of the round to ending up kicking my ass. Let's change that. Mm. This could be interesting. Goro looks like he's going to be tough, and I need to start doing some command grabs. Round two, fight! Oh, I hate that fucking move. No! Finish. Damn it! Okay, that's fine. I lost. Finally. It was inevitable. Goro and Shinnok are very tough on hard. Very tough. What the fuck was that? That's all he did, crouch jab like that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm getting carried away. I'm just trying to work out the patterns with the AI here. 
Okay. He's gonna have to... Yep. I need to build it up somehow, and he's gonna hit me to do that, unfortunately. Shit! Well, I better do it this round. I just lost on purpose there. You're kidding. Come off it. Make no mistake, Shinnok is absolutely ridiculous. And I just ruined a combo opportunity. Round two, fight. Final round. Look at that monstrosity. Look at it. Now this is where Shinnok is really tough to fight. Look at the amount of damage he does. Look at my life bar. I'm almost dead and I've barely done anything. I haven't even... Look at that. Oh yes! He's gonna do it! This is one of the best fatalities I've ever seen. Watch. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> oh my god. And just to finish it off, these gargoyle creatures start eating your guts. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. That was worth it, losing to see that. Oh my god, I'm so glad we got to see that. Okay. This must be where all my continues are going to go. Is he going to do it again? You're kidding. Twice in a row? Wow, he must really hate me. I've never seen him do this twice in a row. He barely even does it once. Man. Give me a break. <laughs> Bloody hell. Alright, he means business. He is not mucking around. That fire, which he shoots out from his chest, does absurd damage. Oh wow, look at his winning pose. Carries off my decapitated head. Disgusting. You know what I'm going to do? X-ray. I'm just going to throw it out there. I need the damage. I love how his bullet always has the opponent's name on it. <sighs> and Bo Right Show. Look, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I was actually thinking about doing a playthrough with Bo Right Show. But the thing is, I went into practice mode with him for about, I don't know, it was only like 10 to 15 minutes, but that's how long I usually spend in practice mode with whatever whatever character I'm thinking about picking up and if I'm not feeling that character I move on to another one but for Bo Rai Cho here I went into practice mode after 10 to 15 minutes you know what I thought I thought to myself this fuck hasn't changed one bit he's still the same mess he was when he made his debut in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance he still farts he still baths he still looks like shit. He's annoying as hell when he speaks. His moves suck. There is nothing good about this character. I... Uh, believe me, I, I tried. I tried, guys. I tried to like him. But every single aspect of him is just unlikable. You know, like, it's, it's really quite astonishing what Ed Byrne, what NetherRealm Studios, whatever, has managed to do with this character. They have created a character so fucking bad that he doesn't have one good quality, not one redeeming quality. It's... I, I think it's astonishing myself. Because the thing is, like, when I've been learning how to play as any other character... I've sp I've gone into practice mode with pretty much everyone, you know, just to get a little taste of how they roll. And for all the characters 
I found something that I've liked and I thought, you know what, I could learn this character. Even sort of like Tanya and Ferator, Devora, characters that don't really appeal to me straight off the bat. But even those characters, I've thought, you know, they've got something that I sort of like about them. So I've said that with every character, you know, there's something about this character that I like. But with Bo Rai Cho, there has been nothing I've liked. Nothing. It's... I'm just... <laughs> it's actually... Uh, I don't know what to say. It's, it's really quite a miracle of game design, what they've done. Fuck this character. You know. Borracho. Borracho, yeah. Look at his variations as well. This is the one I was sort of learning how to play. Bakitsu gains the spinning cane. More like that shitty little walking stick he's got. Flying kick and attacks utilizing his staff. Why are they calling it a staff? It's a fucking walking stick. It barely does anything. Look at the size of it. It's so small. Dragon Breath gains fire spit, up fire spit, and ground fire. Drunken Master gains head dive, spinning fists, multi slap, and drink. Fuck you. Fuck you, Baraicho. Look, the thing is, I could actually learn how to play as him and do a playthrough, but the problem is with Mortal Kombat X, it takes time. It takes time to learn a character. You know, it takes me about a solid week of playing with that character to get good. So I'm pretty good with Aaron Black and Leatherface. You know, I've spent the time learning how to play as those characters. But I find that I can only spend the time that week learning how to play as them if I'm enjoying playing as them. So I couldn't even spend 15 minutes, more than 15 minutes in practice mode. How the fuck am I going to spend a week playing as this guy? It's it's not fun. It's not enjoyable. You know, it's like if I was just to walk around my house and just start, I don't know, just breaking shit. Like rip my clock off the wall, break my pot plant, kill it. I don't know, just start smashing my glasses and plates all over the place. It's just, it's not fun. And in the end... All I'm left with is a fucking mess, okay? I'm not saying anything else because uh, there's nothing more to say. He's just... I thought he could redeem himself, you know? I thought I really had hopes that he could be a good character in Mortal Kombat X. But no, he's still the same piece of fuck that he was. Whoa. What's going on for this round? She's getting pissed off. Okay, yep, that's fine. That was a pretty hard round. I don't know what happened there. Out of control. I'm going to throw this straight off the bat. Throw it. Ah, missed. Fucking damn this teleport shit. Look at him. Stay still. <sighs> this round's getting a bit... I don't know. Oh, Bo Rai Cho. What a... Well, no, I was going to say what a pleasant surprise, but it's anything but pleasant. What an unpleasant surprise to see you here. You miserable fuck. Fuck this character. Your weapon is loud and useless. Shut the hell up. Yeah, take a drink. That's all you're good for. Drink, bath, and fart. I'm gonna take great pleasure in killing you, Barai Cho. Oh god. Ooh, okay. Come on, what are you gonna do? Oh, that's it. There's that stupid little walking stick of his. Good. All I'm trying to think of is what brutality or fatality I should do on this ass character. Look at him, he just looks so stupid as well. Look at that move, come on.
Good. Fuck yeah, take it. <laughs> Stupid little walking stick. Okay. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the pretty lady unique brutality. Wow, he may kill me on this round. Fucking hell! Who trained you? <laughs> that is it. That is it. Fucking taunting me. Now you're gonna take it. Now you are gonna take it, Fur Raicho. You're gonna. Oh shit. You're gonna wish you never said that. Chainsaw, good. Keep it going. Here we go. I'm gonna do it now. Ready? I just need that to connect. Okay, I'm just gonna throw it out. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm so fucking mad right now. I can't even... Like, you know when you're that angry that Your you just feel nothing? Useless. I don't know if you've, you guys have ever felt that, but it's just like... Round one. Fight. Man. This is... What the fuck? An x-ray? Are you kidding me? And it involves a bath to start off with. Look at this guy, he's kicking my ass. Oh, there we go, thank god. If I lose... ...again... I don't know, I think I'd have to just go kill myself. Losing to Bo Rai Cho twice. Once is enough. Once shouldn't even have happened. Okay, this is gonna be it. Stay in that corner. Throw. Okay, now I just need one combo to hit, and then I'm gonna do Brutality. Oh shit. This is the problem. I can just kill him, but I'm trying to do a brutality, you know? Ah, oh, fuck you. Okay, didn't get to do it. Let's do this fatality on him instead. This might even be better, actually. Hook him up through the mouth. And just cut him in half. Taunt him. There you go. Good. Poke your tongue out at him. Leatherface, Leather face, that's the way. Fatality. Nothing more I like seeing than a dead Borai Cho cut in half, hanging up via a hook through the mouth. That is the perfect image for me of Borai Cho.
Actually, the perfect image would be no Bo Rai Cho at all, but yeah, I'll take that. Wow, I can't believe he beat me. I'm, I'm still thinking about that. I think that's going to scar me for the rest of my life. Fuck. Alright. Back on track now. That Bow Rai Cho fight just threw me off a bit, but I think I'm back to normal now. Stay there. Oh my god. What the fuck, Leatherface? Do it! You should have been dead by now. Okay, brutality. There we go, good. That's actually the one I wanted to do on Burai Cho. Look how cool it looks. See how they sort of slowly die? They fall down to the kneeling position while the chainsaw's while the chainsaw's still going. That is fantastic. You can only do that one in his pretty lady variation. You have something to say. That's my weak point. Raw, that's what I've got to say. Fight. How many times can you block this? Let's see. Okay, you want me to just chip you to death. Fucking stupid AI, look at that shit. Fucking shits me so much. Blocking. So I've only died once so far. And that, regrettably, was on Bo Rai Cho. This will be a pleasure. That is going to haunt me for the rest of my life. Round one. I'm currently with the Black Dragon for the faction. Spe Special Forces was pissing me off. They suck. But I'm trying to get that achievement where you get, I think it's you get up to level 50 with each faction. So I'm just going through them all. Alright, he may kill me. He'll probably kill me here. Whatever. I don't really care about losing to Kenchi. That's fine. But to lose to Burai Cho, that's just not acceptable. And the fact that he did a fatality on me as well. Man, the game must know. That's for sure. That's all I can say. Armor through your bullshit, Kenchi. Because I know you won't stop. Back to... Armor through your bullshit, because I know you won't stop. Once again. Oh, and that fucking move as well. Little jabs for the win. Fuck you. Take the uppercut. Good. Fucking grab moves. Another one. And another one. See what I mean? He can get a bit too crazy with the grabs. That's primitive weaponry. Primitive weaponry. Yeah, but it gets the job done. As you can see, you know. Overhead. That fire move is unbelievable how much damage it does. Overhead, yeah, but see, I couldn't do anything. How can I know, you know, if he's going to do an overhead or a low? And there it is. He walks off with my decapitated head. Every time you lose. This is without a doubt the hardest fight. It's only one round though. Thank God. Jesus. Oh my God, armor. This is incredible. Overhead. Look at that, I couldn't even move. And he's gonna do a fatality. We've already seen this fatality. 
in the first playthrough. He did it to me twice, I believe. It could happen some more times here. I just have a feeling I'm going to lose even more. That is one gruesome fatality, that's for sure. Very gruesome. Final round fight. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna do a bit of zoning now in the hope that I kill him. Fuck. Oh my god. Mm! <gasps> Uppercut! Yes! Done. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Only lost a few times. 